Good morning to everybody. It is a wonderful Friday morning, which we've started a little bit late, but that's okay. My name is Cameron, and I'm playing Genshin Impact and finally going to those story quests that I've been meaning to do. It's been a lovely, lovely morning so far. My breakfast was some last night made pumpkin muffins with chocolate chips in them. Made by my dearest, which is a wonderful state way to start a Friday morning. <laughs> Unless you try to eat two of those things, which I did. And the second one was um, one muffin too many. But the first one was wonderful, delectable way to start the morning. I made a similar mistake a couple of days ago when I decided to eat an entire bowl of that cookie crisp cereal. Um, it's very chocolatey, it's very cookie-y, and maybe I would have been able to eat an entire bowl of that in my youth when I was frantic about wanting to get all that sugar in my body. I really wanted the sugar, but in my elder years, I was like, wow, I can't finish this without feeling completely sick. Oh, that gave me the chills just thinking about it. That's just too much chocolate. Just too much chocolate. This was too much chocolate, too. That was the source of my shudders from the... Um... Oh, come on, jungling. From the muffins. It was just one muffin too many. What are you doing? D girl! Girl! Girl. Girl. <laughs> jungling, what are you doing? Stop. Um... I don't know what was going on just there for a moment. That was very interesting. Very interesting pose there, Shangling. What are you doing? I'm climbing on the mountains! I'm practicing my crane pose. Or what pose could that have been? The lunge. The cr the the lunging crane. I call this one the lunging crane. In any case. Beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day outside. It's actually a little... The blinds are closed. A little closed. Which is unfortunate. I don't know why it is. It's strange. Welcome, friend of child. And congratulations on the first day of your illustrious... Friend of child! With career with the Fatu... Excuse me? Uh... You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Interesting. Remember... Keep talking, <laughs> and I'm gonna open the blinds a bit more. Are fluid like water. Only that Tsaritsa truly has a will as soft well, sorry, as a frost. But back to the matter at hand. Uh, sorry, Child sir. tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. Child! What agreement? Agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. We're gonna find Child who killed that Rex Lapis guy. The stalemate. And the harbingers do not forget we'll do it and we'll do it good. Ah, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Leoli! Oh, Tell me more. Paimon knows this one. Oh, do you, Paimon? Damn. There are two styles of cooking in Leoli. Known as Lee's style and your style. They have been competing for Liyue. centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. Oh, okay. The flagship restaurant of the Lee style is the Leoli Pavilion. The owner is fresh. And how do you know about this, Paimon? Oh, maybe because you're an absolute so food junkie. Face face the kiosk, which is nice. The flagship restaurant of the style. Liuli and Shinue. Nice. Don't talk to Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's, Paimon's always hungry, but I don't think I've—I I think I've yet to see Paimon actually consume any food. Farewell, Archaic Lord. Rex Lapis is dead. <laughs> Time to find me a child. Where are you, child? Come hither to me. <coughs> Goodness gracious. One muffin too many. One muffin too many. It's been a very productive week so far. I've done work. I've made progress in my Minecraft world. Because that, for some reason, is important to me. And in addition, I got my 3D printer to work. I'm really happy about that. Aha, you made it. 
Hello, child. Hi. Hello, child. As promised, I Hello, Anna. Can help you. Hey, child. Someone who can solve the mystery <coughs> by the Liyue Chi Sing would hide the Geo Archon's best. Now I have water. Leole Pavilion? Pavilion. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner as per the Liu custom. Liu. Love that. Now time for a fancy restaurant on behalf of Child. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Lee is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Please allow us through, yes. I want nice food. Anna, will you make me a five-star dinner tonight? <laughs> We're having Domino's. We're having Domino's pizza. That's a That's five-star like dinner to me. Oh, food. now, Whitney, who is this hot stuff? Your next ex-boyfriend. Mr. Zhang Li, my, new, my next ex-boyfriend? I never had an ex-boyfriend. My first ex-boyfriend would be Glenn. Who are you, sir? Introduce Mr. Zhong Li. Zhong Li. An organization known as Wang Sheng and a trusted associate of the Fatui. The Fatui, is it? Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business. Oh, with friends. those who walk in the shadows are friend to the Fatui. Like vampires. To meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. I know this voice. I feel like I've heard this voice elsewhere in the game before. Is Wang Sheng some kind of business involving dealing with people? <gasps> dealing with people? It is as you have guessed. <sighs> the Wang Sheng funeral parlor organized. Something makes me think that this is Rex Lapis and he's not actually dead. I have I have this feeling that this is another like God walking on earth type thing, like Venti. <laughs> A.K.A. Sort of Barbados. The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Not ostensibly. We ostensibly. Still, uh, I don't know. I don't remember what ostensibly. Eh, ostensibly. Case, brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because. because Define I ostensibly. Bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? Tell me, Google. Here's the of <laughs> so Stated or appearing to be true. Oh. As in something that may trick the eyes. Ostensibly true. Many adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. There are multiple Rex Lapi? There, anybody could be the Rex Archons go by many names. The god of contracts, the god of commerce, commerce the god warrior. of Morax. Morax? Lapis. Is the idea that he also has the title of Adeptus so strange? As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. Time of mankind? Like when mankind becomes the adepti of this world? Memorial service be held to mark the passing of every adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Sacrilege. <gasps> what do we do with it? Somebody killed an adeptus. The concern of the Wang Sheng funeral parlor is this. When the ritual to receive you know, this, this Zhang Li guy gives me a lot of Xiao vibes, except he's got a orange aura about him instead of a bluish aura about him. That and he's got significantly more clothes on, it seems. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, help me prepare the Geo Archon. I accept. I accept. A wise decision. I'll help you out. It's the story quest. That's exactly why we're here in Liwe. Which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. I want to see. I want to see the red la re Rex Lapis. Speak of the details. Show me the Rex Lapis. Show me the Rex Lapis. Here's done. Turned out well, didn't it? 
short and child. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. Couple more drinks and these things they call chopsticks. Come to think of it, why the term chopsticks? Like, come to think of it, are they sticks that's been chopped in two? Actually, that's that's most definitely why they call them chopsticks. Because, like, it's a stick, right? But then you chop it in two, and now you can use it to pick up grains of rice and sushi and many other different types of cuisine. Instead of using my fingers. I could use my fingers. I do oftentimes eat my sushi with my fingers. I do like sushi. Really love sushi. Really love sushi. Uh, has the internet gone dead again? Hmm, very interesting. Things seem to be loading. Ah, very odd. What's going on there? I've been having internet problems today, too. No idea why. Talk to me, Zhongli. After Zhongli? Zhongli. Zhongli. To the land of the absentee Archon. As in the one who doesn't lay on his throne. <laughs> Li Wei's the... I, I like Mondstadt. I spend most of my time in Mondstadt. I see. I'll be perfectly so honest about that. Person. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> you were but that I kind of person? What a shame. What a shame. Nearest three thousand and seven hundred years of divinity. <laughs> Organizing the right Dude, you seem a little uh should prove to be an seem a little stuck in your ways there. Liyue is the most prosperous of the seven nations, defended by deities. And ruled by the Chisin. As such, the diplomatic. I see. Yes, of the, of the seven nations. It's actually quite a, kind of interesting considering that there are seven nations. Like I've only seen two of them. I played this game for hours. I wish there was like a. I wonder if there's a total playtime thing that I can see. Because honestly, I would love to know how much time I've actually spent on this. Oh, whoops! Skipped your dialogue. Sorry, Paimon. I just don't care. The Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only will Liyue's traditions to endure. Endure, Liyue. These are the advanced funds the child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Thank you. Wow. Well then, let us be wow. off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Get some jade. Bring me some jade. All right, time to find jade. I will find you your jade there, Zhang Li. I will. I'll find your jade. You gave me some mora. Hello there, kitty. I cannot crouch. Fuck you, crouch. I suppose not. Getting my controls mixed up with other games. Do, 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 do. Wow, I can see that my game uh, my game is incredibly choppy today. I'm unsure as to why. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try doing a an OBS restart over here, cause uh, that may be what's going on. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, it's not actually getting up to the full FPS that I want it to. It's probably because my computer's still doing a backup. But let's do a. Restart on that anyway. Where is admin? There we go. It was rather odd, too. All of a sudden, my internet just dropped today, too. Like, in the middle of everything. It was really, really odd. I'll try changing my graphics down. In case that's giving my computer some issues. Turn that off. Maybe that'll be better. Let's hope. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I don't know. Anyway. Child needs some jade. Gotta get some jade from this guy over here. Walked right past him. What kind of guy am I? What's up with that? Let's try that. Alrighty then, pal. Give me some jade. 
Welcome to the Jade Bastard. Oh, I see you're gonna speak. Betting on Jade. It's cheap on, and who knows? You cheap and it's fun. Rich. Really? Hey. Sounds like a scam. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a big old scam to me. Um, what was it again? Nocta Lucas Jade of radiant grade at the very least. Very radiant grade. Radiant grade, Nocta Lucas Jade. I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. <laughs> I'm not here for your perusal. The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't Look at the wonderful quality of this Jade. Do not enjoy this Jade. Take a look at this Jade. It does not look like Jade to me. Not my version of Jade. My version of Jade is like a creamy green color. I don't know. Hey, Zhang Li. Yeah, you tell me what to do. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And oh. That would be. I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. <laughs> I don't have to choose. Oh, I'll just take all of them. Wait, boss, that would be Surely Rex Lapis would like one of these, especially the counterfeits. Counterfeits? Two times? Oh, Mora. Hmm. Uh, money's not an it issue. Is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular. I forgot about the fact the that we have to pay for these. Huh? How do you I was just going to steal them. If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is by Mora. Uh, mm -hmm. What? Be careful oh, with your money. You must make these considerations. What? He's loaded. So loaded that he doesn't even bother hunting for a bargain. Wow, what a guy. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. My limitations of Mora mean nothing. This jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern. I suppose so. Jade, I'm like... Jade. I suppose Only a ruby or a I sapphire, which may be jade has taken shape, more gemmy-like in quality. It is up to par or not. If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafty bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. I suppose any creator like that might give some sort of excuse for a bad crafter. To truly evaluate this jade. And evaluate it. Would know evaluate it. Love it. Sees the pointer and misses the moon. What nice proverb. If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. The patterns, the facade. These are all. Oh, I get it. Like if I take my finger and I point at the moon, and now my finger's blocking the moon. Does it look like I'm pointing at the moon? No, because I've blocked the moon out with my finger. I suppose is the is the point of the proverb here. Very interesting. I see you're one who abides himself by his large, flowing pockets and wallets of money, as well as the quote-unquote wisdom from your affluent pasts. Affluent past descendants. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. The priceless now, secrets. Oh, all buy them all. That's my secret. Priceless, huh? Paimon's just sad that we might never be able to use it again. Use what again? The jade? Well, back to buy some rocks, boss. But <sighs> can you let us burn them first? Burn them? Burn the rocks. You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? <laughs> then I'm not buying any. <laughs> I want to burn your rocks, come, dude. Come now, my good friends. We can still discuss this. Negotiation is key to trade, wouldn't you say? I want to burn your rocks. I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> Don't, worry. Don't worry. I know the rules. 
As long as we can prove that it is good jade, we will not take a loss. <laughs> I'll take... Oh, we're burning it to see if it's good jade or not. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. So thin. Too thin? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are Very impressive there, sir. <laughs> oh, you, you have to be gentle. Like you have to I slice have to off a little sliver of the jade and then burn it. See what the kind of quality you get. A bit more, it, it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, very the interesting pieces, observation there, Zhongli. Slices will serve. I suppose if it's a good jade, it's While not going to burn? High temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. I see. Oh, We're using elemental sir, magic to test them. You were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. You're a very learned man. I'm very Still proud of speaking. you. Asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Lyra must be based upon fairness. If we're not fair in our transactions, can we be fair anywhere else? Well, I mean, how about Jog League's kitchen? As long as we do it when she's not in. Why not just ask her? She's so nice. It is a place where people come and go. They would be endangered if the elemental reaction were to get out of control. Oh yes, oh yes. Fire plus water is bad. Fire plus water reaction could be dangerous. Goodness forbid the, the water, instead of extinguishing the flot of fire, decides to explode spontaneously, you know, as science tends to do. We'll see. Now make a move. I've got my samples. Noctilucus Jade sample. And another one. And another one. Onwards to way over that way. Let's go get them. Time to go adventuring again. <laughs> Hopefully things don't crash on me again. It's odd how things just seem to happen. Especially with the internet stuff. I blame my internet company, to be perfectly honest, because they've been sending me emails about, Oh, well, we upgraded your internet, but then we're going to upgrade it again. And, oops, your internet security is not working right now. And, oh, your internet security is working again. And I'm like, dude, pick a side. Is it working or is it not? And fix it. That's what I pay you for. I mean, I understand the confusion and must... There must be attempting to provide internet to so many people, but I mean, I don't know, man. When the internet just all of a sudden goes dead, like, I don't know, maybe there's some rats biting the fiber lines. Or, uh, some people hanging in the internet tunnels. You know, the tunnels under the ground, the conduits that hold all the internet connections and stuff. Maybe some rats down there being like, oh, I want a piece of the Fortnite. They're hogging all the internet. They're like, all the rats down there are watching Netflix. All in HD. All at the same time. All stealing passwords from each other. As rats often do. Like, we want our Netflix. And then I don't get my Netflix. All my streamies. That, and this is also very possible. This streaming computer might be a bit overloaded, as it always tends to be. But alas, it work will work with what I got. It work with what I got. Usually it's not a problem, but then OBS just straight up crashed. So that's okay. I guess what I should start doing on Twitch is there's like a little thing that I can do where I can put like a little video that pops in when the stream goes down and I have like a few, like a couple minutes, I think, to bring it back online again. I should consider doing that because apparently this happens more often than I'd like it to. So that might be a good way to, that might be good. Hello the boar, I'll attack you. Yes. I've killed you. 
What will you do about it now, dear boar creature? Now that you're dead, yeah, I should change up to Noel so that she can swing things around and heal up my parties on the way. There's a couple of Gila turtles over here on a big old cross in the sky over on a dragon spine. That's cool looking. Oh, hey there. Leave it all to me. All right, let's do some heals. Whack, 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 whack. Whoppa! Ha ha, I will kill you. I will destroy you. People try to communicate with you, but I will let them. There we go. Light a fire first to cook stuff. But I don't want it. Ooh. Ruin guard. Hunter. I don't know what the ones that walk are called. Got some things on them. What are you called again, sir? Sir, what do they call you? Hello? Come here. Come here there. Ooh. I cannot tell. Can't tell. Whoops. Are you gonna do the bounce? Yeah, I'm gonna swirl you. Swirl time! Swirl time! Swirl? I swirl, I say! No, jeez! I want to swirl! I want to do the swirls! Beware my swirls. Whoop. Might as well just, uh... Let's go on and do the overloaded power of doom. Oh, yes. Oh, that was exquisite. You drop some stuff? You drop us some stuff. When imposter drops sus. It's been a while since I've played Among Us. Last I played it with a, was with a buddy of mine. Actually, that was the only time I've played Among Us, but it seems pretty fun. It was pretty fun at the time. I really enjoyed it. I couldn't seem to take the game seriously. Neither could he. We were just dicking around. It was a good time. It was a really good time. See, sometimes it's not about the winning or the losing or whatever. Just having a good time. And I was having a very good time. Just absolutely dicking around. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was good. It was very good. I can't remember any of the specifics. Otherwise, I would have gone into detail. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, that looks fun. Um, Woba. Oh, I cannot see the change my character. Alrighty then. I feel an internet oddity coming on again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it came back. Curse you, Comcast! Messing around with my internets. I hate you. I'd call and ask about the internet stuff. Be like, hey there, service provider. What's up with my interruptions? You'd probably be like, oh, it's not our fault. You should try resetting your router. Well, I already reset my router. So, boo-hoo to you. Or I guess boo-hoo to me. You make me sad. Life flows on. Go to Monstead Adventurer's Guild and talk to Catherine. Really? Is that a part of the event quest? Really? Why would I... Is there something else going on? An event! Oh! Wishful drops! Wishful drops! Investigate inquisitive end rod to capture oceanid creatures in designated areas increase area exploration progress. Oh! Did that just start? That just started today! Now look at that! Complete the quest, life flows on to obtain the event gadget Inquisitive Endora, equipped to explore designated areas and use special skills to capture things. Well, well, look at that. Well, I was anticipating on doing world quest stuff, but I suppose I'll split my time between some event things too. Into the fire! Out of the frying pan and into the fire! My pal. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Fear my pole arm! Come here, you. Ha ha ha. Ha cha cha cha. Ha cha 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 cha
Graphics quality, low. Some graphics will only be applied after the game is restarted. Alrighty then. Well, I'm not resetting it. <gasps> oh, water bat thing. Ice bat thing? Water bat thing. Hey yo. Uh, swirl. 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 Swirl gets him every time. Fire. Give me this ice flower. Mist flower. Excuse me. Running across the water. Oh, there's a there's something down there in the water. It appears. What could it be? I guess I can investigate from here. Oh, Geo Sigil. Nice. Oh now what's it going on over here? Hi, uh, hello everybody. Let's just take care of you guys the easy way. Oh, I've been frozen. Oh, it seems that that's run out. Electro charge and and swirl, swirl, swirl. Slice you with my electric ability, and bam, push, bam, bong, bang, bee, bang. You're dead. Da da do dee dee dee. Yeah. All right. All righty then. Very nice. Very nice hits on the anime. Look for the meaty tribe's giant cooking pot. Oh, is that so? Oh, I know exactly where that is. Well, I mean, not off the top of my head, but like, I recognize that. I've been there a couple of times. Like, man, that's a giant cooking pot. Indeed. Oh, hello, Whopper Flower. Fire time. Now burn you with fire. Burn you with fire. Burn you with fire. Oh, burn you fire. Burn you with more fire. Melt. Melty, melty time. More enemies along the way. On my way to the quest area. Hello, the children. Swirl attack. Swirl attack. Swirl. Whoosh. Whoosh. Swirl attack. Whoosh, whoosh, swirl attack. I must continue. I must leave no stone unturned. Allow me to bash your skull in. With this club I found. Berry, berry, berry time. There we go. Nice. Very nice hit there. Ah, swirl. 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 I just can't stop talking about the swirls. Come here, you. Think you can hide by cornering yourself you can't you can't hide you could run but you cannot hide all right what about you are you a geo churl or honestly i don't know what you are i i don't i know not what's going on over here but you know what you're a your boss and i will kill you there do that and then that. And then let's overload you. Power that ended Pychon! I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I wish I knew. I'll overload you. With all my power. All my power. All my powers. 
All my powers, all my powers. My electric powers, my other powers, every powers. Woo, hello. If I switch to you and set this ground on fire and bring you over here, I can swirl you. Swirl! Oh no, it didn't swirl like I wanted it to. Oh, it did swirl, yes. There we go, and now you're dead. Nice. Took a couple of your heavy horns from you. Oh, it seems that I missed an item over here. Let's go grab that. Oh, there's a thing on the map. Give, the, give me my arrowhead. My arrowhead. My arrowhead. Give me arrowhead. What's in here? Ooh, hello there, you. Is there something on the ceiling? It's definitely up above. You're dead. Swirl. 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 Oh, hi there. No stone left unturned. Absolutely none. Alright, and then probably thing is up there somewhere. Uh oh. Well, it's definitely on top of there somewhere. Oh, there you are. Aha, there you are. Nope. Come on. Nope. Oh, dear. There we go. Or rather, rather I can do this. Click that button. Oh, can I zoom in? There we go. There we go. Oh, it seems that I'm crossing Dragon Spot. What's going on over here? Oh, was a little challenge. Ooh. Let's see if I can take on this challenge. Oh, what is this? Huh. I will investigate that. I start your challenge. Defeat all the enemies within six seconds. Where is the enemy? Hello there! Come here, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Stay together. Whoops. Hmm, I don't know if I'll be able to defeat them within these 30 seconds. I'll have to increase my elemental abilities. And then try again. There's only these two. If I prepare myself, though. I'll prepare myself for next time. Okay, now I need to fill up jungle. Oh, stop that. That's up now, and jungling ability. Oh, stop. Jungling abilities, jungling abilities. It's fire. Can you hit one of them? Okay, well, let's try it again. Oh, come on. Come back to me again. Both of you come back to me. Then I'll use Noelle's ability to hopefully take out both your shields. I must leave no stone unturned. As a dutiful maid would. As a dutiful maid would. There we go. Let's take down those shields, shall we? Maybe, maybe both. Maybe both. Please. Ah! Fire! Fire, fire, swirl! Fire, fire, swirl! Oh, come on! No! No, stop! Ah! There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. There we go. That's that's going well. I can do that. Oh, yes! There we go! Not too bad when we combine everybody's forces together. Perfect. Perfect! I like that. Cool. Hope that captured okay. I was very into it. The Hidden Palace. Good morning to you, Dez. How's it going? Things are going well for me. It's been a little rocky internet so far. Not sure why. No cryo and party. Perfect. Let's do that. But it's great. I started my day off with muffins for breakfast. I love that. That's the perfect way to start a day. But like it was one muffin too many. I had two. They were rather chocolatey. Made my made my tummy not so happy the second one but the first one was perfect just goes to show you temperance everything in moderation including the good stuff probably a spam color stupid spam colors 
I love to answer my spam calls with my Google Robo. Only for them to tell me, Oh, we're calling you about your car's extended warranty. And I'm like, Joke's on you if I really use my call. Final courtesy call before my warranty expires. Oh, that's spam. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, the caller you've been trying to reach is not available for anything else. And I'm glad your day's going good so far as well. <laughs> You're the boss too. You eat a bunch of those muffins. Honestly, we got plenty of muffins. Got plenty of muffins over here. Why don't you come across the pond a bit? It'll probably take you a few hours and we'll give you some muffins. I'm sure you, uh, well worth the trip, I'm sure. Be well worth the trip. That or, uh, I could probably ask Anna to just send over the recipe. Good pumpkin muffins. Unless you're allergic to pumpkins. Or chocolate. I've, I've seen it both ways. I, I've seen it definitely both ways before. It'd be really unfortunate. To all the people who are like, oh, I don't like chocolate. I get it. I understand. <laughs> I would not be the person who goes like, <gasps> You don't like chocolate? What's wrong with you? Like, oh, we all have our own subjective personal taste. Like, is it is it that surprising that, you know, one person wouldn't like chocolate in general? Like, it's a, it's a very valid thing. Like, it's like when people are like, what? You haven't seen that movie? Like, yeah, in a world of literally infinite consumable media, you're not, you're so somehow surprised that I didn't see this one thing. Honestly, I'm shocked that you're shocked. For people who are like that. I mean, understandable, but like crazy. Anna's doing well too. She actually just had class this morning. I was helping her out with it. That was another thing that made my morning rather well. I was able to help her out with class. Like, because uh, we've, uh, we're we both in quarantine right now. We got the COVID last week. So we've been staying indoors. We feel great now. But so she's been doing her uh, lab classes here and she needs a body to practice on for her physical therapy stuff. And I'm that available body to practice on, and it's, it's cool. I'm, I'm your what? Manual muscle movement stuff. Oh, and your friends treat you the same way when you never watch Game of Thrones? I've never watched. I mean, okay. I watched the first couple episodes of Game of Thrones with one of my college roommates. And we were like, we're going to binge this whole thing. Because at that point, the finale just came out, and we're like, we have to catch up. We got through the first three episodes, and I never watched it afterwards. And I'm like, it's, it's, it was okay. A little raunchy. But yeah, I mean, even still, that's not really a problem. It's just, that wasn't the type of thing that I was into at the time. Then we started watching a different series, and we completely forgot about Game of Thrones. But, uh, I've heard it's pretty good. I've heard it ended terribly. And events, like, one day... One day I plan on watching it. Like, to the people who are like, oh, I can't believe you've never watched that. Like, I hope you realize, because of your reaction, I will watch it. One day, but not today. Because I'm not gonna draw... You've, you've never watched Game of Thrones? Well, yeah, I haven't, but I'm not going to drop everything right now to watch it and then let you know how it was. For example, another one of my friends... Um, when the show Westworld was coming out, he's like, I'm obsessed with the show. You gotta watch this show. Like, I think you'd really like it. I'm like, and I'm sure I will, but I'm not going to watch it right now because I just don't want to. Also, I didn't know where to find it because I didn't have that subscription service or whatever. Then, months later, I'm talking a year or two after, he totally obsesses about it to me. I'm talking about it with my fiance's parent, uh, uh my fiance's, uh, family and her older brother is just like oh you want to you want to show that you think you're not able to watch i'll get it for you i'm like oh and how are you gonna do that he's like i'm gonna pirate it i'm like okay i'm not the one pirating it and so he got it for me and i watched all three seasons of it and i rather enjoyed it and i was like should i go back to my friend and let them know how much i enjoyed watching that show that they recommended to me over a year or two ago and i thought no not going to we're a bit estranged now anyway he was always kind of, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. What well, rubbed out my other friends the wrong way too. But I do like the show, and it, you know, I got around to it. Or um, let's see. In terms of the anime world, people being like, oh, "You've never watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure?" Like, and I said I'd get around to it. It's been on my list for a long, long time, and I eventually watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Not all of it, but most of it. Same thing with literally all of Dragon Ball. I had one of my fraternity brothers is so obsessed with Dragon Ball. He's like, it's the best show ever made. I'm like, okay, I believe you. 
and eventually I will watch all of it. And I watched all of it. I watched all of the original Dragon Ball, I watched all of Dragon Ball Z, and I watched all of Dragon Ball Super. Over the course of like a year or two, I got around to it. I never watched GT because it wasn't canon. Uh, but I will get around to I will eventually get to it. Let's see. Your dad watched it. He was like, why the heck everyone got it? Everyone into old age kinky stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, for Game of Thrones. It's like, it's like, I don't, I don't know. Like, <laughs> and then you hear about that from the people that you know who have watched it. And you look back at your friends and you're like, and why are you obsessed with this show? Why do you also want me to be obsessed with this show? Do you think I'm into that kind of stuff? Like, it's almost the kind of, like, when your friend gives you a recommendation, like, it's a bit of an experience for them. Like, they're putting their reputation on the line by recommending things to you. Like, if I looked at you and I said, hey, I think you're really gonna like this genre of anime called hentai. And if you didn't know at all what this was, it's pornography, by the way. You'd be like, okay, well, I guess I'll give it a shot. Now, me, I am in this unique position where my reputation is on the line. I have said to you, I think that you are going to like this thing that I am recommending to you. Now, this is you getting the impression from me that I think you might like this pornographic form of media. And if you check it out and you're like, what the hell is this? What did you just recommend to me? Now I have to defend myself. I'm like, well, well, I, I thought you'd like it. Now I'm the one who looks like a doofus for thinking, oh my God, I thought you'd totally be into pornographic anime. Why are you discussing her? Well, I'm talking about how if you make a recommendation to someone, you're putting your own reputation you on the line. could have gotten anything else. Yes, but hentai is a very polarizing example. See, now if I recommended hentai to my fiance, she'd be like, why the hell? Why'd you, would you recommend this to me? That would go over well. And naturally, she has before. And I'm like, you know, anyway, that's the example. When you give it, remember, be careful when you give it a recommendation, because it's your reputation on the line, too. Because because if somebody were to recommend, for example, again, case in point, like, Game of Thrones, like, y'all should watch Game of Thrones. Oh, you think I'd be, like, totally into, I mean, I get it. I love mythi medieval stuff, but, like, what's with all this incest? What's with all this incest shit going on? Like, I'm not into- You thought I'd be into incest? What's yes. up with you? <laughs> Des apologizes to you for having, having me brought up, uh, hentai. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. This is totally on me. I'll, I'll apologize for you. Sorry, baby. Sorry about talking about hentai. By the way, I have this really awesome anime that we I should tell you about later. It's called... It's called Yaoi. <laughs> she screams no from the other room. Yeah, she's a little too knowledgeable about the... She knows about Yaoi already. Yeah, get him. Electro guy. Anyway, that's my spiel on... <laughs> if, you were, if you were considering recommending hentai to your friends this might be how it goes god i can still feel that second pumpkin muffin i can still feel that second pumpkin muffin just going for it in my my throat it's like you like you like that pumpkin muffin didn't you I'm like it tasted wonderful but my goodness i am paying the price for it and i hate these electro guys jeez i hate you i hate you i hate you i gotta get warm oh god i gotta get warm here hang by the fire Oh, look at that. Recruiter's insignia. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Nice and spicy. Nope, stop. Nope, stop. Stop. All right. No, well done. Stop. Enough of that. There we go. Crazy, crazy. Oh, my goodness. I mean, what kind of media are you into? Now I want to feel, I feel like I want recommendations now. Or I want to feel the opportunity to put my own reputation on the line to be like, you know what you might like? I think you might like this. Based, based off, I, I'm that machine learning survey that tells you based off of your answers to this question, I think I'd recommend this to you. Like, there's a shit ton of services now that I keep seeing advertised by like people on YouTube about like, oh, take this little quiz here and we'll tell you what kind of coffee you'd like. We'll take this little quiz here and we'll tell you what kind of whiskey you like. Tell me this kind of stuff and you'll get wine. What? 
Oh my god, you remember Club Cool? Club Cool? Yeah, the soda. What about it? They're gonna soda bring place. back something like that in Epcot. I'm so excited. Wait, what, did they get rid of Club Cool? Yes, they demolished it when they demolished like base. Oh, you haven't been. I there. didn't realize that they got rid of Club Cool Epcot. You haven't seen. I like, just thought I haven't been there because, like, no, I haven't. Okay. I just thought that we just hadn't been there. No, destruction world. Oh, you haven't been there since they like started. I down I really there. haven't. No, you haven't oh, taken God. me to Epcot since then. I mean, yeah, with the state of the world and all. So they're bringing back Club Cool. Yeah, so they're bringing back a new form. It's called the Millennium Shop. The Millennium Shop? I believe it's... Oh, no, the Creation Shop. Creation Club Shop. Cool will be uh, added into it so that you can experience all of the fun that was all your of favorite. The, all of the fun. Uh, your fan favorite experience that invites you to explore tasty drinks around the world. Oh, yeah, because I, I most definitely wanted more Club Cool experiences. Yeah, you got to give Beverly to everyone you know. Beverly. My Beverly. That's a really good song. Actually. I have met, like, two people that like it, and I'm like, what is wrong I with I mean, you? did I like Beverly? No, you did not. I did not like Beverly? No. I wish you I remembered what bad. Beverly was. Maybe with my new enhanced flavor palette, it'll be better now. Oh, let's find where the Sealy is. Where are you? Oh, are you? Are you way over? Here, let me find you a nice direction? overview oh. picture of the demolishing project. There you are. Here's like a very out scale. One moment, please. Oh, is that what they were doing? Yeah, they were taking out the whole of like. I mean, I I'll be honest. I completely forgot that like Epcot's the place that's gonna get the updates next. Apparently. Yeah. See, like they're just taking things out. Because I forgot they had that whole. They had the whole pavilion. Like this is what Epcot's gonna be like this time. We're gonna have a Moana yeah. world and a Here this you go. world and a. There's your Epcot. Yeah, that's concept cool looking. Art. And there's like them taking things out. I like for the concept art. Here, show the folks. Show the folks watching at home. Oh, should I send? Show the folks. Do I send? No, oh, like, put it up against the camera. I don't know. Like, yeah, show the from pictures. Ooh, Have the world experience concept. it with us. I don't know. Destruction. Other destruction. I don't know if you guys can see this. Well, I mean, you can you can oh, look at go, the camera here, right? Yeah, Destru yeah. You're trying your best. Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> Just look up Epcot Destruction. Destruction and creation. It's a natural okay, process. All right, have fun in lab, baby. Uh, Am I going to need to help you with this one? I have to make it up anyways because I have to do this in person because it's all laying heat packs. Uh, oh, okay. Crypto uh, not cryptotherapy. Cryptotherapy? No, uh, cryotherapy, thermotherapy, Bitcoin and currency? Then ultrasound therapy is what today oh. is. So I'm going to have to go in and take it all out again anyways. I just have to go for the uh, intro for the warnings. Okay. And I have to go for the case studies at the end. Well, I'm sure you'll do great, as you always do. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do Noro in between. What is Noro? Oh, Noro, like the brain. Yeah, ah. Yeah, you said Noro, as in like I, honestly, I don't even know where to where to begin thinking of what Noro is. Nora. Well, that's pretty cool. Apparently, they're updating Disney World, Epcot. Epic the Cot. I did that. I I really do enjoy the Epcot area. That's a, I think that's one of my favorites. It's like you just walk around the world. I like walking around. Walking around's a good time. Especially during, like, the, the different festivals that they have there. They've got, like, the wine and food festival and stuff like that, and that's pretty cool. One time, Anna and I went all around the world in Epcot and spent a ton of money trying one dish from every single, uh, every single oh, stall. Oh, we showed my grandma off! Oh. oh, yes, we did. She said we couldn't do it! <laughs> she said, we, she, her grandmother said, no, 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 you can't, you can't do one There was, like, over 60 stand. pavilions. There was a lot of pavilions. We actually had to take with us dietary pills well, to speed up digestion so, so that we could eat faster. At the time, so we had, like, digestive enzymes, because, like, I can't digest You said you needed to go to class. Oh, well, we haven't started yet. It oh, starts okay, at 11 okay. But so, like, I needed digestive enzymes because uh, I'm actually lactose intolerant and I wasn't handling it very well and I was still trying to change my diet around. Sorry, let me just, like... No, I was trudging the camera down. Because I, <laughs> I, I changed my camera angle when I have party hats on to see oh. the party hats better. Yeah. So I tilted it downwards. Continue, continue, please. But so, like, my gra I was like, yeah, Grammy, I'm gonna, me and Cameron, we're gonna, like, go around and we're gonna eat something at every location because this is before we're 21. And I'm like, I'm not drinking around the world. That I absolutely hate. I mean, like, I'm not gonna drink around the world if I was under 21. Like, that's, well, I also, that's illegal. I also just, like, I, I really hate the whole, like, environment of people being super trashed and then going around like, hoo, 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 hoo. there's, like, five-year-olds here. That's, that's indeed how people do act when they're drunk as fucking Disney. 
Stop. Yeah, they're they're Stop. horrible. Stop. I'm like they're literally Stop. like this oh whole experience is for a family, and you don't need to like ruin it for one family. Like literally, I've seen like grown adults push kids out of the way just because they wanted a drink. Like it's horrifying. Well, Ever, that's, like, that, I don't places... think that's a problem with necessarily alcohol in Disney. I think that's a problem with that particular person uh, well, being yeah, like, "You're just a, an asshole. Why would you push kids out of the way?" Of them now. So basically, we went around the world and we ate something at every location. And I remember the second to last stop, I dropped half of the meal, and we were just like, "Oh no!" And then threw it out. That was probably the <laughs> one like, rich person moment oh I've my had God. in my life. Like, that was probably the richest I've ever felt in my life. Like, <laughs> I'm a Disney World and I'm eating everything. My stomach is so full. Look at all my money to purchase all we these little trifles. We 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. straight. I loved it. Straight. It I loved horrible. it. I was like, I... <laughs> that was my one rich like moment. We spent over, like, 300 for... We went... Uh, between 300 and 400 dollars just on that day mm -hmm. and like that don't get me wrong i you could drop that easily on a gaming console but like that oh, felt yeah. rich to us dude i want to do it again but rich. i need to grab a whole group of people so that me and cameron are not the only time yeah so instead of splitting every single dish in twos we, we split, split them in, in threes, like fours four, or five. fives yes. it's like you could then get a spoonful of each thing and it would be great and then you can split the cost and we don't have to spend a spoonful of each thing makes my tummy go ah <laughs> i'm in pain i think they've decreased how many currently just a spoonful of everything makes my stomach go ouch okay i'll, I'll actually go to class now okay have fun baby have fun for realsies this time. Don't fake fun. Don't fake fun class. Big funny. <laughs> Big funny. What are you looking for? Pink board. I don't know. Okie dokie. As, I mean, as shown before and as continues to be shown. My fiance loves Disney, and I like going to Disney with my fiance. I wouldn't go out of my way normally, but she seems to be rather obsessed over it. It's her happy place, and it's a psychological thing. It's a psychological thing, and I'm totally cool with it. Also, I kind of, you know, aside from the whole, oh, I promise to be betrothed to you to ever, to forever thing, like the whole betrothal and proposal thing, I also may may not have said once upon a time i promised to take the disney I, I i bargained with her i said to her we were taking ballroom dance classes at the time and i said to her i don't want to do this anymore so i'll make a deal with you if we don't have to do this ballroom dance thing every week anymore i'll take you to disney every single year at least once and she was like oh, i love you yeah get let's we don't have to do dance anymore and well now I have to take her to Disney every world every year, but I don't have to. I don't have to feel like I'm being trained to be a dance master anymore. Like I couldn't have the the other problem with that particular dance school was the fact that I couldn't feel like I was having fun. I felt like every time I went to class, I felt like I was just being like like um, what's the what's the term like nurtured or crooned to be like a young dance prodigy and like i dude i'm a tech guy i am not much of an artsy kind of person uh, i'm known more for my brain than my artistic ability though you know i like to do art stuff every once in a while but like that's not i need a i need a uh, need a warmy thing but, like that was never something that i was going to be interested in and so the fact that they were kind of like like preparing us for like that kind of life and competing and stuff also i'm not a very competitive person like, I don't really like being super competitive for things. And, like, because this is some people's, like, livelihoods being, like, this is some people's livelihoods to be able to be good at what they do dance-wise. And I did not want to do that. So, and, of course, coming by every single time, you're like, you have to dance to perfection. Like, no, I don't. I'm dancing to have fun. Just a difference of philosophies, I suppose, on how you're supposed to treat the arts. I wasn't into that particular philosophy, so I wanted to leave. And I would use any bargaining chip that I had at my disposal to do so. And I did. And to be perfectly honest, I'm happier for it. Disney makes me happier than that dance class ever did. And I'm sure Anna feels the same way. Oh, please, Zhongling, stop. She did like those dance classes. She yells at me through the, to the, through the doorway. Oh, come on now. Zhongling, please work with me. Don't work with me. No! Stop! 
Well, this is not gonna work the way I want it to. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, stop. Ah, no! Oh, jungling boy. There we go. Guess I'm just gonna deal with that now. <laughs> it's... Oh my god. Let me go back up this thing. This is a point where, like, if I were just not stubborn and, like, would just teleport, then I feel like I wouldn't have a problem. Come on. Get up to a ledge. I see a ledge over here. Just accept the ledge. I see a ledge. There we go. That is most definitely a ledge. Okay. Man, you're... Oh, your Achilles tendon must be in pain, Zhongling. Look at those feet angles. Ouch. Nope. That looked painful. Why am I climbing up this cliff? Like, I just want to get to the side. I just want to get to the other side. On the bright side, it doesn't seem that my internet's having a stroke again. Makes me happy. Oh, but that means I'm going to have to stitch together videos again. Ugh. It takes forever for that stuff to encode on these computers. This is terrible. Ugh. But alas. When your router starts going fucky-wucky, what do you do? Because I, cause I bet even if I called up the internet company and said, Hey, my internet's having problems! They'd be like, is it having problems now? You've been on hold for the past hour and a half. Like, well, the problems are gone now, but... That's how they get you. So they have those long hold lines, not because they want to, but maybe because they do, perhaps it's by design, such that by the time that you actually get connected to an agent, the problem's already fixed itself because your routers have a chance to error correct and stuff like that. Like, it's dastardly. How could you do that to me? Then again... I'm sorry, I got an email from Drexel saying that I have summer term housing info. Our records indicate that you do not have an active agreement for this summer term. I'm graduating! No, I fell! Oh my god! Okay, well, there I, down I go. Bye, Zhongling. Alrighty then. Um, Alright. That's... Well then, Zhongling's dead. We're gonna use... This is, this is teleport time. I'm not... But there's so much... Now, you know what? I see it. I see a little thing over there. I can go over here. Oh my god. I was so busy talking and checking my phone. That's what you get for being distracted, Cameron. Don't game and f don't text and game. No, stop. Please just climb up this one thing here. To the top. Don't die, Noel. Or, or do die. I don't know. It's really your. It's whatever your prerogative is. Let's bring let's bring Zhang Li back to life. Egg. To that fried egg. Stop! Why would you fall like that? Why must I fight against the climbing? God! Climb better! Alrighty then. That was annoying. Oh, was there a challenge down there that I could have been doing? And I'm getting cold again. Oh my god. Switch to you. I'm almost to the top. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right, fire me up. This is my last one. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Go, 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 go. Come on, go up the up the ledge. No! Come on. You got this. You got this, Beto. You've got this. Come on, pirate girl. Pirate sailor captain. You've got it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Yes. Yes! I don't know why that took so much effort. I had time to defeat some enemies. I see harvest. A try. Of course things gotta be crazy on me. Anyway, back in action. My computer decided to do that blue screen of death thing. That's hilarious. That's never happened before. Wowza! 
That's never happened before, ever. That's crazy. I cannot believe that. Anyway, welcome back. <laughs> I'm still playing Genshin Impact. But my stream computer is not a happy camper, it seems. Get up the, get up the wall. But no, stop. And I'm climbing again, of course, bane of my existence. Cannot believe this. It's crazy. Crazy how things keep on happening. Honestly, the thing that I feel the worst about, about these, uh, these little internet blips, is the fact that I know for a fact the go live notification keeps popping up on people's phones. And I feel terrible about that. Like, I, I hate the fact that I know that I'm accidentally spamming people. Like, that makes me feel terrible. Like, I know that that is that is just a terrible thing for me to do. Because I know I'd be annoyed. Like, if somebody kept spamming me with go live notifications, I'd be like, you're annoying. I am not going to watch you anymore. Stop that. That's exactly what I would do. And if you were to do so too, I totally understand. <laughs> I totally get that. It's not the kind of broadcaster that I want to be enjoying content with. Oh, time to open your key. Yeah! Open up. No, stop! Get out of here! Jeez! Let me collect my goods. There's so many good things. So many good goods. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And then run away. Uh, I need to go this way. Stop. There we go. And of course, it seemed to happen at like the worst possible time, like in the game, too, because it was in the middle of trying to get myself the hell out of Dragon Spine. Like, jeez. I guess I can't even blame my internet for that one. I can just blame this shoddy piece of hardware. I don't know why it's not, why it's doing a thing. Maybe it's getting hot. Perhaps it's just getting hot. Time to go to the big old pot of doom. I play pot of doom, which allows me to, oh God, I'm out of things. Oh, and somehow I'm not dead. That's incredible. Oh, viewpoint. All right. Add it to the archive. Heal, 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 heal. Well, that wasn't a lot of heals, but that was good heals nonetheless. Ah, I love these good heals. Oh, stop. Da, 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 da. Could just eat a bunch of these fruits. Someone needs assistance. I feel a little under the weather. Time to eat all this food. Raw meat. Oh boy. And I did that thing that I told myself I would probably consider doing. I have disconnect protection on now. So if things go messed up, hopefully it won't just kill the stream. I have that on now. Because it, it seems it to be a necessary. Since I last set foot in the nation of Wind. Oh. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Lirat. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Snake wine? That's the hell is snake wine? It looks like the hilly churls are Defeat the hilly churls! It's a bit delay, but we gotta cut the line! Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Allow me to heal. Let me heal. Let me heal the fire and the flames. Must swirl them. You must swirl them, good sir. Cause we're gonna swirl them, swirl them, swirl them till I just can't swirl them no more. Yeah, swirl them no more. Swirl them! Anyway. Approach the big pot. There's still soup in here. <gasps> soup! The sure have big appetites. Hmm. It's our lab now. Cause we killed them all. Uses our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. Nice. Hydro level protection. We're just gonna throw the the, the lapis samples in there. I look forward to your assistance, Paimon. Okay. Shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. Alrighty then. 
Okay, so am I gonna have to jump into the pot or use pyro to heat the pot? Gotcha. Boba, get him, Woba. All right, that was one, and I will wait for that to do its thing. More fire. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's true. Hail the Chills are coming back! What are we gonna do about it? What the f- Oh, we have to- I have to actually defeat them first. Of course it was gonna be a Hill Trail quest. Of course it would be a Hill Trail quest! What else could it possibly be? These silly, nasty Hill Trails. Coming by and messing up my shties. Get off your pillars. Off your pillars. Well, I wanted you off the pillars. If I swing myself around like this, I am invincible! Don't make your towers again, you hear me? Don't make your towers again. Or I'll get you. You're, oh, you were the one overloading me because you were shooting your lightning arrows. Classy. Classy. Again. Another flash of light. Oh, that one went up. Alrighty then. Here we go. Fire! Everybody dies. Everybody dies sometimes. Everybody gets that way. Hope they kind of got dead. There we go. Everyone's kind of getting healed now. What are you doing? Not appreciated. Oh, because your thing's on fire. You set everything on fire. Incredible. Use pyro to eat the cool more. More pyro. Yes. They're all shining. Okay. That was the third one, wasn't it? Sure it is. Alright. Okay. Should I should I should I grab it? Can I can I grab it? No, I guess don't jump into the boiling pot. Don't jump into the boiling pot. I don't want to jump into the boiling pot. Sad boy time. All right, then. I guess we're going back, then. Going back on the adventure. Got to climb mountains again. On the bright side, I won't be climbing as much mountain as I did before. Jump. Up the mountain. See what we may find. Jumping up the mountain. Yeah. Mountain time. Come on. There we go. One last blup. Now, what could be over here? Is it another, like, little area to go fight some monsters, get some ascension items? Anytime I see bosses on the way or those little dungeon areas, I like to go to them because, you know what? Never know. <laughs> You're back. Sorry, internet died. I'm back. I'm sorry. My internet was acting all crazy, too. And my, uh, and apparently my stream computer blue screen. so... You came back at just the right time. I was gone for a little bit, too. Defeat the monsters and save the dilemmas. Oh, God! I don't want to have to go all the way back down there again. I'm not doing it. No. I'm not letting it happen. I'm not going down there. I don't want to save you, reckless pallid. I want to go here. Temple of mm, something or other. Started with an L. This gate. Oh, elemental trials. Oh, these are no. Well, these aren't very really happy rewards. First completion rewards. Oh, I've never done this? Have I never done this? Really? I feel like I have. Hmm. Let's do it. Why not? Oh. Well, I'm glad to see that people are... People have come... Come back. 
because oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying before, like the worst part I feel is if I go live again by accident, I feel like the go live notification comes back on. And I feel so bad for people who have to be like, oh, he's live again. He's live a second time. He's live a third time. What is he doing today? Like, I'd just be totally annoyed at that. I'd be, like, super annoyed. I'd be like, stop at the notifications. I remember seeing a post of that on Reddit. It's like, ah, like, you gotta, like, I remember seeing a post of that. And somebody was like, can you guys stop going live multiple times a day? I'm annoyed by your notifications. And then everyone on the Reddit was just like, you realize you can turn off notifications, like, right? Like, what if you come back? Hey, what's up, Harry? You popped in on stream number three. Because it stopped working every other time. I don't know what happened. My computer was acting all messed up. Challenge failed. What did I do? Oh, let's do it again. I blame Jake. <laughs> I break the internet. I didn't break the internet. I did not break the internet. I certainly did not break the internet this time. Try to. Defeat defeat enemies in that many seconds. Okay, I see. I see. I have to be careful. I have to go after the big guys carefully. Now you're all electrocharged. Okay. Big guy. Where's big guy? Oh, where's big guy? Oh, big guy's dead. No, stop! Oh, it freeze! Aha! There we go. Where's the other big guy? Any other big guy? The challenge is to defeat them all with 15 seconds in between. I am often a person who breaks shit. It's it's true. I'm done the kind of person who breaks shit often. Now I have to defeat you within 15 seconds. So let's let's do that. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yes! Speed seven opponents. Number of times frozen can't exceed five times. Go get him. Get him. Get him. I will not get frozen. Oh. Ciao there, Harry. Thanks for popping in for a little bit. Before breaking things again. Don't, don't, don't freeze me. I have not been frozen once yet. I'm very happy about that. Nope, stop. Don't Oh, you're the bubble guy. You can't freeze me if you don't have the bubble ability. I can just take my time with you. Yeah. Yes, I have no idea what goes on. My computer breaks every once in a while. Then again, it is not necessarily designed for this stuff. It's definitely not designed. It, this was never... This computer, you was a general use computer at some point. Then when I got a new computer, it became my gaming computer. Then when I built my new gaming computer, it became the streaming computer. And no, It's had a good run. This computer's had a really good run. Like, if it crapped out on me tomorrow, I would not be surprised. I don't want it to. Challenge completed. Oh, nice. Well, I definitely never did this before, so... I get to collect my rewards and go. Leave? Yes. Wonderful. So much was happening. Wow. So much was happening. Anyway, that's completed. Time to head back to where's my quest marker? Where is my quest marker? Back to story quest. Farewell, Archaic Lord. Calm the poor storm. Wasn't there another one? Life flows on. Oh, that's the event thing. You know what? I'll do that. I'll go off and do event thing. That'll be good. That'll be a good thing to do. Because apparently there an event just started today. Like, go figure. I had no idea. And I'll stop by the Archon statue, drop off some Animalculus. It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. So long as things don't break again. Maybe my computer just needed a restart. Maybe, maybe that's what I needed. Maybe that's all I really needed. Guess it just didn't like being doing its thing this morning. Cause now things to be working. Fl things seem to be working flawlessly. I'll catch up. Statue? Heal me. Heal me, statue. I worship.
or ship thee. Oh, for all of them. All right. Cool. And then we continue. Windwheel Esters. Windwheel Esters. Back in the Munchstead. Bring you back in the Munchstead. There you go. I defeat you. I defeat you, slimy monsters. Ew, slimy monsters. You're gonna kill me. I'll kill them first. I'm gonna take your slime and I'm gonna... I'm gonna slowly put my sword into it and try to break you to pieces. Let's see. I don't get how you kill slimes. Like, won't the sword just go right through them? They're not exactly solid. What's in here? What kind of challenges are in here? What have we got in here? Windy Cliff. First completion rewards. Recommended party level. I guess I've never done this before. I don't know. if It says first completion rewards. Like, does that mean I haven't done it before? Actually, did I get another one of those keys? Did I get one of those keys? Take a look at my inventory. I did. Okay, so that if it shows up, then that must be. So let's do another dungeon. More dungeon! Start. Recommended fire. I have fire. Let's go. Dungeons and elements and stream failures. Oh my! Lots of stuff going on. Alright, let's do this. First completion quest. Recommended elements. Fire. Well, that's pretty fiery. What do I do about that? <laughs> do I need lightning too? What'd you say, dear? You don't. I don't? Yeah. Oh. How was class? Class makeup stuff. Well, I got the first 15 minutes, which is warnings. Warnings? Yeah, we're working with cryotherapy and thermotherapy. Oh, okay. Yeah, you wouldn't want to freeze somebody. Freeze their butt off. Yeah, well, you have to have a certain amount of precaution, the like layers in between things, depending on how cold the objects are, how hot you keep them. And then ultrasound stuff, it was kind of like, you have to use gel in order for it to be utilized properly. Can I break this thing? Should I break this? So basically, right now, I can't do any of that. I have to make it up Whatever. eventually. Alrighty then. As you, as you clearly popped in on, I was having stream troubles. Uh, my stream computer for the first time, blue screen of death. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's never happened before. Well, you broke my computer multiple times. I didn't break your computer. What are you totally talking about? I did. My internet was not working. I didn't break... That's not me breaking your computer. You broke it! <laughs> that's... N I can't take fault for that. I refuse to... I take... I take... Anyway. I take the blame. I take the blame. I take the blame definitely my fault. I, I didn't know what else to do about it. I'm as helpless as you were. Climb up the wall, damn it. Climb up the wall. Wait, what'd you say? Weak ginger tea? No, I only want the strong stuff. Okay, so do I have to... Oh, did I need to click the button? Whoops. Oh. What in the? Care what I have decided? Back at ya. The no palm then... orange juice at that is like whole markets. The like great value of like whole foods is just as good as Tropicana. I believe that. Which is great because Why can't I, don't I like go the up other this? Why can't I climb? But I don't know which one's less expensive, so we're gonna have to find that out soon. Can I change my party? I can't change my party here. What am I supposed to do about that? Put the lion diet I gotta get up there, but it's providing me no means of doing so. Aw. I'd have to shoot those barrels. I can't shoot those barrels. Because I'm not tall enough. I'm not tall enough to shoot those barrels. Oh. If I had arrows, I could shoot those barrels. Come on, climb. climb. No! Oh, and I can't die either can i climb up on top of here and no okay T uh, hello i cannot climb i want to climb all right i guess i'm not doing this then challenge failed that's correct i guess i'll i'll come back with venti so i can shoot did things with arrows i did feed the plants today i did i did the mythlin always looks dry never 
I'd never leave my plants dry. I wasn't trying to be weird. I just happened to be weird. And I'm weird often. Ginger tea. Ginger tea. Thank you. I have a new drink to consume. Much appreciated. Hot. I like hot stuff. I just gotta make sure you drink ginger tea so your tummy doesn't hurt. I thought the solution was to eat more muffins. No, that was not the solution. Yeah, if I eat more muffins, then that's good. All right, Barbara. Lead the way. Well, yeah, it's really extremely weak. Sorry about that. It's okay. Not gonna get any better. Well, now I'm over here. Right. So I need to destroy things. So I'm going just going to... Boop. Yeah. Now they're all exploded. I don't know what that does. That's broken. And now I need to destroy that. Yeah. And now it's unlocked. Yeah, that was it. I needed to kill those barrels, but I could not. Unless I could have done something with Electro. I don't know. Door resurrection activated. Swirl ability! It's my swirl arrows! Yeah. Yeah. Brace nice. Let's get you all fired up, too. Now your shield's on fire. Whoopsie daisy! Get all wet. <laughs> wet powers! Who's that? Frozen! Submit for judgment, Submit for judgment says Jung Yoon. Feel the beat! Feel, feel, feel the heat. Feel the heat or feel the beat? Why not both? Nugget. I don't like you. Vaporize. I get you with water. Okay. Well, I did that. So, may I move on? I can. I see. If I defeat them all, they will all have... There we go. That worked. Hey! Hey! I suppose when they say recommended fire, they actually mean they recommend just Amber and only Amber because she's Fire Arrow Girl. Oh, hey there. Brace yourself. Whoops. Shred until I'm dead. Loving that. Whoop. Let's dance. Fa la 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 la. I sing songs for you such that we will always be healed. I was attempted to use words there. Words happen. Words happen to you. And you're broken. I've broken your spirit. Time for takeoff. Bye bye. Bye bye. Time for takeoff, cause I'm a plane. I am an airplane. Ciao. I did it! You got my stuff now? Yes. Yes. Leave domain! I've left the domain! I did it! Yes! I am. have succeeded. Anyway. Oh, look, monster. Let's switch my party back. I like this party, but I like the other one better. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Oh. I have hot drink. There we go. Hot drink has to be within reachable range in order for me to drink it. Otherwise, I just have to go all contorted-wise. That's, that's crazy. Monstad! Why am I back again? More events in Monstad. I have to talk to the Adventure Guild lady. Someone needs assistance. I didn't even know there was an event happening. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Traveler. How have things been? Has something strange happened again, Catherine? <laughs> 
compared to previous major incidents. I don't know. Bodies of water have turned bitter without any warning. If it persists, the wine industry will be wiped out. Talk to Connor at the winery. Do I have any adventurer guild ranks? No, guess not. Goodbye then. Now I gotta go to the winery. Oh. I wanna talk to the people at the winery. Here, what's up there, pal? Wagner? Make more stuff. I need you to make me more hot vials. Yeah, those ones. Oh, it seems that I'm totally out of fire things. Look at that. I need more. What's up, doggo? Goodbye, doggo. Oh, this hydra thing is blocking the door. Can I get rid of it by doing fire on it? I wonder whose place this is. I'm gonna guess it's Barbara's, because she's the only person I know to use water. Hydro, um, hydro elements. That's what I'm guessing. That or it's Master Jean's place. Cause, Cause who else would use magic to lock a door? Who wouldn't use magic to lock a door? Jeez, such a good idea. <laughs> then when people try to reach it, I wonder what the effect of attempting to open the door would be like for somebody who's not a magical user like Oh, I'm gonna try to open this door that looks like it's blue on it. Like oh my hands wet Why? Why have my hands become wet? You just look at me your like, hands are like soaking wet like that, but the door is dry I'd be surprised I'd be very surprised Fishy, fishy, fishy! Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fish. Come here, fish. Yeah. Come here, fish. Oh, hey there, you. You've seemingly come out of nowhere. Welcome! Let's crystallize. Eyes on me! I'm going to slice you with my electrobility! Huzzah! Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah. Oh, hi there, Fireflower. What? I guess I'll go around with the other party for a little bit. I can collect some more Firepower. Fireflowers. Fire. Fireflower. You and I were fire. Fireflower. I think that's a Fallout Boy song. I had a Fallout Boy day. Uh, Fall Out Boy time in my life. Listen to a lot of punk music. Listen to a lot of punk music. I still listen to a lot of punk music, but it's not Fall Out Boy anymore. Other bands. Fall Out Boy's cool. I'd fight you, but I have bigger fish to fry at the winery. He's way over here. Walking through the wilderness. Traipsing along as they go along. That is really hot. That's really hot. Wow. She made it very hot. When she said your tea is hot, she wasn't kidding. That's crazy hot. Ice. Pyrotechnics. I hit you with my pyrability. Um. Ba -da 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 to the winery. Oh, look, there's another shrine of the depths over there. And I have two keys now. I should. I should have two keys now. Lovely. Check that out. Don't forget, Scammerman. Boop. Fall to the ground. Oh, yes. I just, this winery over here is reminding me of the wine, the, the gardens that I saw while I was playing Black Desert. Speaking of Black Desert and thinking of my friend Matt, in case anybody is interested, later on tonight I will be playing Soul Worker with Matt, Anna, and Glenn. The gang's coming back together again to do some more raids, so if you're interested, stick around. I updated my my stream schedule to reflect that because I found out that I could do that about a week ago. So I'm 
updating things properly now. So that's what I do. This water terrible. Water is terrible. That's the situation. Here's the situation. Bits of every nation. Nobody telling me the same way that you do. Bah. You know my motivation. Given my reputation. Please excuse me. I don't mean to be rude. But tonight I'm doing Genshin Impact. But tonight I'm playing Soul Worker. Butter. Butter. Tonight I'm playing Soul Worker. And that's my concert. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> I remember the 90s. Nah, I just kidding. I don't remember the 90s. I was three years old when the 90s ended. Saying that I remember the 90s is like me saying, Oh yeah, I remember being born like... <laughs> no, you don't. Although, I've heard there is actually an affliction. An affliction? But you can technically remember your birth. It's a thing. It's a scary thing. I don't know if I'd want to remember that. I imagine it's a lot of screaming. A lot of screaming and a lot of pain, followed by awkward silence. And a lot of panting. Probably. I don't know. I don't want to imagine. I'm not imagining it. I'm not imagining my own birth. Nope. Not imagining it. No. I shan't imagine that. Shrine of the Depths! Open for me! Open sesame! Thank you. A luxurious chest filled with luxurious items. Surrounded by monsters. Run. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ah! I missed him. That's okay. Boom, 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 boom. White iron chunks. Got some chunks of iron. That's always good. I need chunks of things. And of course, there's the dandelions. Yahoo! So, Yahoo! Oh, what are these? This feels important. Oh, do I break them? I guess I'll... I guess I'll break them. <gasps> Rock slimes! I should have known! I should have known you'd be behind this the whole time! Oh, I spill it. Then you die. Come on, fire, fire, power. Fire, fire, pyro. Oh yes, a chest. What you got for me? Couple of trinkets. Thank you. I do like trinkets. Little trinkets. I've always been a fan of little trinkets. I wouldn't go out and buy them myself, but, like, if somebody bought me, like, a little trinket, like, I'd put it on my desk and be like, ha, ah, trinket. I'd enjoy that. The chest over there? Yeah. So we're gonna... You're ice dude and water dude. So fire seems to be the way to take care of y'all. You'll pay. Bubble boy! Nice boy. I guess they're kind of... Oh, yeah, see, see, see. I can use... Brace yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> no, don't heal him. No, stop, don't do that. If I destroy you, it'll be good. Shred till I'm dead. That really didn't do a lot, did it? Get that. Now you're frozen. Now you are frozen from the Incredibles. That's what you are now. That's what you are to me. Yeah, you can heal your friend. It's fine. It's fine. You can heal your friend, but you can't heal yourself. That'd be pretty broken. Come on. Come on. Die or something. Get some heal action going on here. Yes! Why would your shield go? Your shield keeps coming back up. That's crazy. Here, swirl ability. Because now it's fire. No! Ah! Flash Frost. Freeze your friend. Actually, I'll freeze your friend. What am I doing? I'll freeze your friend. Yeah, 
and now you're dead, right? Please be dead. No! Why aren't you dead? Die now. Die now. Stop. Don't hear your friend. Now you're dead. I don't like you. Now I'll kill you. Fire, 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 fire. Where's the fire? Where is the fire? Water. Now you're wet, but you wasn't frozen. Why is you not frozen? I don't like that. Come on, make it fire. Make it fire. Yes, fire in the ground. And then, no, you froze me. Stop that. Let's do that. Venti power. Get swirled. Why aren't you swirled? Why aren't you swirling? Go to Swift and merciful. Submit for judgment. I don't like how difficult this has become. It's just taking a while. It's not difficult. It's just taking a while. That's doing a lot of damage. Just keep shooting you like this. I don't like it, but it's working. Oh, slowly but surely. Make you melt. You do that thing where I stab you with ice symbols again. Yeah, I like that thing. Do that thing. Let that thing happen. Oh, maybe I shouldn't coat myself in water. Oh, I actually froze him! That was woefully unnecessary. Oh, drop up here. Give me the drop. I've got the drop on him! No. No, I do not. Dun 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 Now I have to go this way. This is kind of bringing me closer to Liwe. So. Nice. That's good. I think I see a chest down there. But I don't care enough right now. Stone gate. Oh, I have to be over here. Alright then. I consider myself here. What is down there? What is that? It's a swan! It's a blue swan thing. Bitch you with my frozen ability! Alright, I did that. Where'd the swan go? Look, there's something inside it! Ooh! It's cute! Andorra, no water! Dying! Andorra, is that your name? Bitterness, an enemy! It will kill Andorra! Well, um, so what can we do to save you? Need! Sweet water must go to spring! Andorra! Need water to move! No water, no move! Well, I got a bottle! Andorra can endure, but not for long. Guess we can't afford to hang around then. Let's go get a fresh water real quick! Still, it's kind of interesting how Andorra was able to make it this far off, off the back of a Hydra Slime. Kind of like our relationship. Oh. Are you a parasite? A bottle you received from Connor contains the key to resolving this incident. Return to Springvale? No. I don't want to. I want to do the Leeway's West. Moonfinger! I'm continuing on my quest. Continuing on my quest. Going on my quest. Going to continue on my quest. Grabbing this flower. It's a lotus head. Continuing on my quest. Continuing on my quest. I gotta get over this hill thing. So let's go. Go over the hill. Over the river and through the woods. Hey, look at that a chest. Hey, look at that. Isn't that fanciful? Yup, 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 hap, yup, up the mountain. Hello there, unsuspecting young ones. Die, all of you. I want you all to die. Use the power of Venti. I'll swirl you. Let's do that. Everyone come to the center! You're all a big massive ball now! And now you're dead. That was convenient. Man, that's a pretty, uh... That's a pretty good Venti ability. 
venti ability. A vent ability, if you will. Panka. Oh, I didn't grab the panka. Hey, how's it going, Neko? Anna's in class right now, but I will say hello to her. Hello to you. Actually, she's probably in chat. She's in chat somewhere. Anna Neko says hi! She says hi back. I do have Venti, yeah. I got a, I got him during the last event. I was like, it was one of my first pulls for the Windloop Festival. I was like, oh, yes! I love that! It was great! And you stopped by a bit before work. That's so nice of you. What do you do? What is your job? I'm curious. If you don't mind me asking, of course. I used to work as an engineer. I'm still studying to get my degree, though, and I'd like to go back to working as an engineer, but the world is in chaos right now. So now I do freelance work and streaming. Because it's fun. Taking me back to my theater days. Taking me back to my theater days. Streaming really does remind me of the theater days. Just the whole act of putting on a performance and whatnot. You got Gene yet. I haven't gotten Gene yet. That's cool, though. I've heard she's pretty good, too. Ah, between jobs. Ain't no shame in that. Swapping. Swapping between. That's all good. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, I gotta go over there. Nice. I have to find Shito. Trying to leave Red Robin. All right. Do you usually do a lot of, like, stuff in the service industry? Moving to a high-end retailer. Nice, nice. Retail and service. I've never actually... Well, I mean, let's see. I've never been, like, waiter or waitress or anything like that. But I have done, like, retail stuff before. I used to work as the welcome attendant at my college's, um, uh, gym. So I'd take calls and, like, get member- uh, help people purchase memberships and stuff like that. And, I mean, technically, my customer service position I do now has a bit of a retail aspect to it. We sell servers and game hosting services. Hashtag SparkToes! But, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. I had a, a, fr a good friend of mine, Glenn, who sometimes pops on here. Uh, his girlfriend used to work. Um, she would usually do, like, um... Oh, crap, enemies. He, she would usually work, like, as a janitor or um, the welcome attendant at this motel that's down the street. Like, that's a little while away from where they live. And then for a while, because she's really into gemstones, she started working at a jewelry store. But the environment was just a little too toxic and whatnot so she's been trying to get herself out of there trying to go elsewhere she loves gems customer service seems to be your thing a lot so you're a people person yeah i get that i totally get that i've been told that i'm a people person but i just retail's not really my preferred industry because you know i'm going to get my engineer and stuff I'm a big tech guy i love doing tech stuff so that's where I've tried to pu push myself. But alas, I have actually really considered, like, I've been seriously uh, considering going and getting a job as a bartender. But I'm waiting until, like, bars and stuff actually open back up again. Because I know a lot. I I'd say I know a sizable amount of cocktails compared to the people around me. So I'm like, you know what I've always wanted to do? I've always wanted to bartend. Because I think that would be really, really fun. Because I, I have a passion for that kind of stuff. And if you got the passion, you go towards it. So I've always wanted to try that, but I've never actually tried it yet. I took a couple of bartending classes like a couple years ago, and then that kind of fell through. And I called them up again, and they're all doing their stuff remotely for like COVID and stuff like that. So I, there, there really hasn't been an opportunity to go back to the, like the actual classroom or anything. So I just, I just haven't been doing anything. Oh, I got a loach pearl. Where did I get that? I've never gotten one of those before. Interesting. <laughs> But I've always wanted to try that. I've always wanted to try that. And there's a bar literally right down the street from here. So when things finally get a little better, like, that might be the opportunity to do. I'm going to wait until I complete college because I'm very, very close. I will be completing college within the next couple months. So it's been a long time coming. So that's what I plan to do next. That's what I plan to do next. Because it seems like... Cause I, I don't know. Apparently, the world's not really looking for engineers right now, but the world is definitely attempting to drink their sorrows away, so the world is most definitely looking for bartenders. Maybe not as a whole, but I want to give that a shot. I know what engineering is like. I want to try new things. I always like the idea of attempting to kind of make yourself more versatile and stuff. And trying to try things that you haven't done before. 
like bartending has always been kind of something that kind of st stuck out to me because it's uh, there's a bit of a performance aspect to it like that you're mentioning the tiktoks like i've seen that stuff too where it's just they look like they're having such a fun time in the way they're like they throw the shaker around they're like garnishing things real cool like i know a couple of really awesome cocktail tricks that i just love to put i love to put on a show for people as well i love that i've uh, if you if you check some of my past videos on when i play the game Valhalla, i've done a couple of trick things i think it might have been the second session I lit a drink on fire at my desk rather dangerously. Don't try that at home, but I didn't burn anything, so that was cool. That was all fun. There may be a clip of that somewhere. You know what? There, there's probably not a clip of that somewhere. I should I should make that clip. And to, to for longevity purposes, but, like, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's a really fun time. Naturally funny, high charisma. I was always told that if I was going to be any D&D &D class... It'd be a bard. And I <laughs> wouldn't be the first time I've played a bard, let me tell you that. I've played bard many times. Oh, there's a community quest up there. Or a daily quest up there. I guess I'll do that. But I love I love the performance aspect of things. I like to put on a show, put on a bit of a performance, use my... And I, as at one time or another, I was told to... This is when I was going through a rough patch with a friend of mine. They He told me, he's like, you have an accursed silver tongue. And I was like, the fuck does that mean? He's like, you know how to use your words to attack people. I'm like, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't consider it attacking. More like self-defense, especially with the way that you're treating me. But yes, I think I'm good at talking. And of course, when I said shit like that, he was like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You, you turned it against me. Like, I, I, I don't know what to do. And it's funny you should mention a rogue too. Like the two classes that I love very much are rogue because sneaky boy and bard because performance. Performance and making an absolute fool of yourself. I just love the idea. Of, actually, one of my favorite D&D &D characters that I ever played was a character named Taylorus the Swift. Named after Taylor Swift. And so Taylorus the Swift, the funniest thing... The funniest thing that happened with Taylor's the Swift is we found a gender bend belt that Taylor's the Swift decided to put on the enemy guildmaster, turning them into a woman, then flirted with them, had a child with them, and then left her and child for two months while they went on another adventure, which is <laughs> asshole thing to do, but totally a Taylor's thing to do. It's crazy. Crazy. And yes, I will confirm, my friend was totally overreacting, and that was going through a very rough patch, so we're past it now. Everything is good now. I'd still say that I have that accursed silver tongue, but I, I use it more so as self-defense. But you know, you know, if somebody's gonna start, like, I developed that when I was in middle school, because I was bullied rather incessantly in middle school. And because of my short stature, because of my long hair, because of my interesting personality. And I think the best, one of the best ways to combat ne'er-do-wells and bullies is to grow a backbone in your throat or in your mouth as i'm putting it and by that i mean like you know grow a backbone get tough but get tough with your words use your words my mother always told me kill them with kindness and i always did and bullies stopped bothering me after i developed my sense of wit to fight them with my words it was great and you've been considering making a DD campaign NECA. that's cool if you ever get it in the works we're invited <gasps> yes i love that i'm actually in a couple of DD campaigns right now i love I love playing D and D, so I'm totally in on that. I am, I'd be happy. I'd be happy to do something like that. It'd be great. I've been trying to plan a campaign too, but it's it's been in the works for like two years. I've been attempting to fill out a pantheon and just don't have any ideas. So I'm working on it. I'm definitely trying to work on that. I was trying to flesh out my gods the other day. Just. I, what I really want to do is I really want to build a world from the ground up, like from the beginning of time to wherever the players develop. And my idea was, hmm, what if I have a campaign that actually allows the play, like the first campaign is actually the players interacting with the gods as they're creating the worlds. And as they do so, they actually influence how I complete the world itself. I have no idea how I want to like actually pull it off but that's like the kind of rough idea it'd be really really cool and really difficult so i just haven't had the time for it but absolutely anna and I, anna where are you would you be interested in another D, D campaign obviously between work and stuff it'd be cool okay 
Okay, okay. So it's a may it's a maybe. It's a maybe for Anna. She's got a lot of schoolwork and stuff Anthony to do, but I'm awkward. totally I'm totally signed up. Anthony He offered you to play in his DD campaign, but he didn't offer me? He said he could make the campaign for you, me, and Glenn and then Oh he did say that. Oh you did say that. And streaming D and D sounds like a really awesome idea too. Actually, one of my other buddies who comes on quite uh, often is uh, Matt, and he's always wanted to do a streaming D and D type thing as well. Like he, he and I were kind of he like so the the four people in my group that kind of got into streaming kind of all around the same time, like within the same like year period. Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy, Matt, and Glenn, we all stream, and then as a part of a different as a part of a different group. You are queen! Come hither, come hither, queen. Come hither, queen. You're queen. You are queen. You are queen! She is queen! Queen Slay! Anna, give me my queen slay hat. Do you have a queen? Yes, I do. I do have a queen slay hat. It's uh, probably below where my hippo onesie is. Oh, Chong Yun's dead. But yeah, so we uh, we all kind of started streaming stuff similar at the same time. I'm the one who streams the most because I apparently have the most time on my hand. So, I'm into it. I did not leave it home! I don't think. It's okay. If you can't find it, don't worry about it. I know you've got better things to do than <laughs> just enable me. That's it. I'm leaving that stuff. What was that, dear? Oh, you found it! Yes! Yes, Queen Slay! Yes, Queen Slay! Yes, Queen Slay! Let's see, let's see. My hat is... Am I still in a battle? I'm not in a battle anymore. Oh, I am in a battle. Hold on. Let me take care of this first. Oh, oh Venti's dead. Oh my god. Everybody's dying. I killed him. Right, got my yes, my yes queen slay. Yas. Yas queen slay. It's Yas queen slated. So, you gonna fight with Barbara. Well, that's because it's Disney, and Disney can't copyright the world. That's true. That's true. They can't copyright the world. Yas queen slated. Slated queen. queen, you queen, slay queen. That first. Yeah, yeah, I clean the thing. It. There we go. I slayed it. Queen has been slayed. This is my this is my Yas Queen Disney hat because it's the it's the Queen of Hearts. Yas Queen slayed it. Yeah. I gotta go back to doing work. I'll do my hat style for a little bit. Do a hat style. Do my hat style for a little bit. Oh my god. And Neko, we are so happy that you popped into our community. So of course you're always welcome to hang around. Me too. Welcome to a part of our lives, as I'm hoping that we are welcome as a part of yours. I, I hope so. And if we're not a welcome part of your life, I get it. Cut us out. I'm not He's a very good. Talking. I'm not a very good example. <laughs> I have an accursed silver tongue. I'm a terrible example. Yeah, he is. He says whatever he wants. I Whoa. speak my mind, and you know this world could use less people like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You hit level sixty in Soul Worker. Oh my God! Congratulations! We're so close. I am. I am ten percent away from level uh level 58 so i am like i'm climbing up that ladder and in case in case you think i've forgotten about about burning soul worker i'm still trying i tried installing burning soul burning soul worker on one of my computers the other day and i it, it wouldn't even load it wouldn't even download the files i don't know what's going on like there's more there's more tech stuff i got to do to make it fit to, to make it work and i will make it work i promise i will eventually be a burning soul worker as well I have that as my goal, but I, I'm working on it. It's in the works. I'm work I've been working on so many. Uh, I've been working on so many things. It's it's great. Oh, 12 levels away from the max level. So the max level is 72. Interesting. Somebody just popped on the other day and asked about that. Like, what's the max level? And we're like, honestly, I don't know. Here, Barbara, Come heal people. We can do it. We can do it. Yes, we can. We can't do it. No one can. I love that. Barbara's so... She's so... She's got a lot of spunk. I love that. I love that. Barbara, you're so pure. You're so pure, Barbara. It seems my desk is all wet. How did my desk get wet? There's all this tea everywhere. Why did my desk get wet? Oh my god. Uh, well, I don't feel like cleaning that up. So I'm just going to leave it. I'll probably take a little break soon because I gotta... I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta clean up my desk. You probably give my headphones a little charge. That's a good old thing to do. Hello, Geoculus! Return to Leeway Harbor. I'm returning to Leeway Harbor. That's what I'm doing for my mission as of now. But that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We'll be playing some Soul Worker tonight. I don't know what time you work until, but if you want to pop out then, like, 
As always, feel free to. The party doors are open. Could you imagine if somebody who was streaming was like, yeah, I'm gonna stream later, but like, you in particular can't come. Like, who would do that? It'd be terrible. I'd feel terrible, but if I was on with somebody said, they'd be like, wow, you're like, you're not very nice. You've got one of the highest uh, cards last night, too. Ooh. What tier is that? Is that like a five-star card, I guess? I don't know. I can never seem to remember. That's pretty cool. I wish I, like, I need to, I guess what I should do is I should take a look at the gallery of Akasha cards to see, like, which ones are out there to know, like, what type of build I want to go for. Because I think I have four passive cards on right now and one active. And the one active card that I have summons, like, this stone colossus that will come around and mess things up. And all the other passives are, like, I think there's a passive stamina bonus, there's a passive health bonus, and maybe a couple other things, but, yeah. You're working a double today. Oh my gosh. Props to you. I, I'm guessing a double is double considered, uh, I guess, eight longer than eight hours. Well, let's see. At the one place I worked, when I still worked at the gym, a double would have been an eight-hour shift. But, like, in a regular, I, I say regular job as if it's regular for everyone, but no. Like, at a regular, like, salary job. Stop saying regular. In my salary job, not salary job, hourly job, I was working as an engineer. That was an eight-hour job. So if I worked a double, which I don't think, because we don't have shifts, so I guess a double shift would be eight hours. Or perhaps maybe if they were like six-hour intervals, like maybe a 12-hour. I've heard I've heard of 12s, 12s before. I've had friends who work 12s and whatnot in retail business. And it is a five-star car. Lurfen. Lurfen? Lurfien. Lurfien. I'm going with Lurfien. It's pretty cool. Double's just two shifts. But then, how long is shift? I wonder. Four hours? Six hour? Five hour? I assume it depends upon the business that you're in. Well, lunch rush and dinner rush. All right. I guess that, yeah, I guess I'm trying to assign um, hourly numbers to them, but, like, I guess when you're working in, like, a restaurant, like, like Red Robin or something, you just kind of, you go until the shift, I guess the manager lets you go, because you don't know how long exactly that the dinner rush is supposed to, you know, go for, and you wouldn't know how long the lunch rush is going to go for, too, so it's, like, one of those, I don't know, that's kind of, like, a, it's foreign to me right now, because I haven't experienced it myself, like, I've always been in positions where it's, like, you work your hours, and then you're done. Like, you go home. And if the next guy doesn't show up, you stick around only until they get there. But, like, in the service industry, like, for a bar or waiter waitressing, like, I suppose you kind of wait until, like, things die down enough for you to stop what you're doing. Because, like, you can't just, I assume, you can't just leave in the middle of servicing a table. I mean, I, I think I've had servers switch before, which I assume is the end of their shift, so I wouldn't wouldn't be crazy but i don't exact i'm sure it depends on the restaurant if i if i had to guess and your first shift's 11 30 to 2 and then 5 to 9 ah okay later than your off times for most weekends that makes sense i suppose yeah it just depends on like you know it's service so you are there to serve and you are at the whim of your customers you're at the whim of whoever's there that is going to be the one that puts the credit card or cash on the table after the dinner is done so like i get it but it, it, you know it's a little that's touchy because like the whole idea of like the customer is always right like what if what if the customer is an asshole they're not right what are you supposed to accept it like no get out of my restaurant you're gonna be an asshole to my employees like i don't need your money go don't treat my people like that. If I were the manager of a restaurant, that's how it would go. But I don't think anybody would trust me with that much responsibility. And frankly, I'd be worried if I had that much power in my hands. So. Be a bit of a force to be reckoned with. Hopefully the power doesn't go to my head and I become some power-hungry manager who's like, Oh, the money of the service business. I'll exploit all my employees. They mean nothing to me. That'd be terrible. Like, there's people behind those counters. There's there's people behind those service eyes, those service personas. So, like, care for them. Be nice to them. Love. Love your people. Don't get me wrong, though. Like, if, I, I'll, I'll definitely say this. Like, I can be I can be that difficult customer sometime. Like, for example, Anna can be a little shy when some food comes to the table that isn't to her liking. And it's okay to not like things, and I totally understand that, but you shouldn't feel afraid to ask, like, hey, 
I'm really not liking this. Can I send it back? Now, I think there's a line between, like, saying this feud is disgusting, I want to send it back, that's just rude. But if you say, like, you're like, excuse me, sorry, I'm not really into this food, is it possible, can I have the menu back and maybe choose something else? And oftentimes, I feel like they'd take it off your bill, because that would be like, oh, I didn't realize you didn't like the food I put on your table, so obviously, if you're not enjoying it, I don't want you eating it. If I were the chef, I'd say, I'll make you something different, no problem, take it off the bill. But if a restaurant was going to be like, no, we're not taking it off your bill for you, I get it. My fault, I guess. Oh, right. Granted, I would expect I some sort of taking it off the receipt because, see. you know, it's I thought, that just goes I partly to the whole... It's a bit of a... Anyone? The whole customer's always right thing. It's a bit of a double-edged sword My there, apologies. right? Because if they're I'm mean to you I'm as a service, a servicer, like, be, be rid of them. It's That's not that's not fun. Like, they shouldn't be there. But on the other hand, too, like, if you're not being treated the same way as a customer by, like, a service representative or, like the restaurant then like you deserve to have some i think you deserve to have some level of comfort there like i go out to eat not just for the food but for the comfort and the atmosphere too so like i would ever think so and yeah i'm sure people all the time all the time people always be like oh, this isn't it's to my liking like just yeah, it makes sense though to be honest it'd be all right even yeah, if, they, if they've even got a button on your on the on the the little pad that you got a little button pad that you if you don't got a button for it then like where we plan to hold the right naturally it's going to happen and it's going to happen often i mean i don't think there's any shame in that i was mentioning that anna's a little sheepish about it she's a little bit of a picky eater my, my youngest brother is also a little bit of a picky eater and i totally get that i'm not a picky eater but i understand where they're coming from and if you don't like something you shouldn't continue with it like, my big thing when I'm mixing a cocktail for somebody is I'm like, do you like it? And if they're like, mm, it's not really my thing, I'm like, no problem. You don't have to like it. Just let me know and I'll make you something different. Or I'll just put you back on water. No problem. Put the natural jade in place. I have to go up here, apparently. That's wonderful. Sometimes guests don't realize there's there's blue. There's blue. Cheese. Oh, blue cheese on the wings. Blue cheese on the wings. <laughs> so you're making it with the, with the, with the, the other one. Nice, nice. No, I get that. Blue cheese is polarizing. I love I love blue cheese, so if somebody put blue cheese on my stuff, I'd be like, oh, thank you. I praise the chef, but, like, I, I get it. I know for a fact my youngest brother does not like blue cheese, so it wouldn't be the first time we'd be like, yeah, we're actually not really into this. And, I, and you know what? I hope, at the very least, that, like, customers are just, just whatever you're doing, just be kind about it. Like, you don't know what kind of day somebody's going through. You, you're being a little passive aggressive about the fact that the meal wasn't, well, the meal wasn't what we were expecting it to be. Like, you could totally throw someone's day off like that. So like, I can't say don't cause I'm not an authority figure, but like, try to be nice, I guess. Cause you don't know what people are going through. And that's what I was saying. Moldy cheese. Oh, moldy cheese is delicious. Love moldy cheese. Swiss cheese is good. I had a, one of my roommates, uh, I was chatting before about one of my roommates, we tried to watch Game of Thrones together, that same roommate of mine, he and his family have an obsession with cheese. Like, he will, for his birthday, spend all of his birthday money on various types of cheeses. And in Philadelphia, we've got a market um, that you can go to either at Reading Terminal Market or a place called De Bruno Bros, which sells a bunch of different types of cheeses. And so he would buy all these cheeses. Some of them smelled, they smelled and stunk up my mini fridge when we yes. lived together and it was terrible I to the point where i was like we're getting two different mini fridges you're keeping your cheese in the other one because this is disgusting but i like i like cheese i love cheese and even some of this moldy stuff i was like but then again and i'm the kind of person who i see a new flavor or i smell a new smell and my immediate thought is oh i want to try that if not just to be exposed to it one time just to see what it tastes like so i could like it I might not like it, and if I don't like it, whatever, I I learned. I think that's a wonderful, I think that's a part of being a connoisseur. I like to describe it as I've been trying to update my palate, because I took, I think six months ago, it was probably six months ago now, I took a class on wine, and the biggest thing that the chef was telling, uh, or chef professor was telling was, was like, just try new things. The only way that you're going to know what you like is if you try things and you start to, your palate starts to get refined. And by but refined, all I mean is you begin to recognize things more readily. So like, 
something that used to taste like, oh, it tastes like fruit juice that I used to have as a child, now tastes like cranberry, because I know, oh, that juice box that I used to drink when I was younger was a cranberry juice box. I didn't remember it at the time, but now I know it to be cranberry. Or, or um, let's see, like the taste, uh, I'm trying to think of something. Think of something specific. Oh, you know, there was that, um, and I guess that's not a good example because I didn't know what the mystery was, but there were the, these Airheads mystery flavors. And those Airhead mystery flavors had a certain taste to them. I still don't know what that flavor is, but I've tasted it in three different candy instances. I've tasted it on Airheads, I've tasted it in gum, and I've tasted it elsewhere before in some dish that I only had once. But I... I'm attempting to figure out, like, what is... Actually, I think I remember what the flavor is now. I want to say it's the, actually a currant berry. It's a black currant berry. So, like, these things, the mystery flavor, as I found out later on... I might be wrong on that, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Oh, and the other thing, it was they Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie also did the same exact mystery flavor. So I was going for that. There is no need to apologize, Neka. You got work to do, so go for it. And I hope... Do, do your best! You got this! You'll survive! I believe in you! So go get him. We'll see you next time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Continue next with this, we but any, but so like, details, right? black currant berries are, I, th I think, that mystery them. flavor that appears in Airheads, this this gum, as well as the Oreo mystery flavor, and I, th I think that's exactly what it was, because I've tasted it many times before, and eventually somebody was like, I tasted a black currant berry, I was like, oh my god, that's exactly what this is. So like, I would say in that instance, my palate was refined, or expanded, and that's what I mean by it, like you get to... You have better word, better words to describe what you're eating as. It tastes sweet and salty. Well, that's pretty basic, right? There's nothing wrong with basic. You can accurately describe things as sweet and salty. So, you could totally do that. Peace out till next time, Neko. Hope to see you later. Perhaps, if not, it's cool. It's all cool. I need to go under the... Go and buy silk flowers. Under the dock? I need to go under the dock? I need to- Oh! There's a market Whoa! There's a market down here! Hey there! Oh, it seems like my headphones are a little- A little weird. So, actually, on that note, I'm gonna take a quick break, charge my headphones for a little bit, take a little pee break. I will be back in just a moment! Please don't go anywhere! I'll miss you.
All right, time to get back at it. I'm back. Pee break over. Clean up my desk. It's no longer wet. Google's trying to talk to me. I don't want to talk to them. Do you sell silk flowers? Silk flowers? We certainly Absolutely do. do. I could have Which just been going around and picking them up out of town, Which but alas, kind? guess not. The, uh, the good kind? What, what kind of what kind of flowers are the good kind, Paimon? Kind of no, unravel my stuff. Ugh. R.S. Calv! Welcome to the chat. I know who you are. Hi, Mom. How you doing? How's your day going? My day is wonderful. I had pumpkin muffins for breakfast this morning. I'm having a great time. My goodness! And I'm playing video games, so it's a good old time. And I got my ginger tea, in case you'd be wondering. I made myself some ginger tea. I had it coming. You don't even know who I am, dude. You know what I just remembered? Uh, yes. I haven't accessorized yet today. Met before. One ring Sorry, for the engagement. I shouldn't have spoken to you Another ring for now prosperity. Please this is actually my promise ring. My uh, my dearest Do gave me, me a promise ring. Promise. And a bracelet that I got Silk for my 16th birthday that is actually breaking. It is almost completely broken. I will no longer be able to wear this for a little while. I'm going to have to take it to the jeweler to get that fixed. But it's a, it's coming detached at the sides, the so I gotta I gotta get that fixed. I gotta get that fixed on. Oh, there's story stuff going on. Look at that! Oh, I got completely distracted. It's not really interesting. But I allow I, I let it continue. I let it continue. They're talking about flowers, I think. Various different types of flowers. I don't have any flowers in my apartment. Flowers wither and die. But you know that what continues to thrive? My mint, my parsley, my uh, basil. That's the other one. That's the tall one. And I have strawberries, but there's no strawberries on them. Not yet. I think I need bigger pots. It's also a little... Got a couple of bugs over there, so I set up a little vinegar trap, vinegar and dish detergent trap. Try to get them. And, uh, there's been significantly less bugs over there, but now there's bugs over by my computer. They're all distracted. They're, they're just trying to come to my screen. My screen gives that light that bugs crave. Ugh, oh, it's crazy. True connoisseur of flowers, you are. Most of that was news even to me. Really? You're a flower guy and you don't know all that about flowers? A shame on you. Oh, you know what? We, we as people of the trade are learning new things all the time. For example, I love learning new cocktails. I learn, I have newsletters that give me cocktails that I put into my little recipe book. And I got, I got a little recipe book on my phone. It's, it's great. It's this app called, what's it called? It's this app called Recipe Keeper. And I actually paid money because I loved using it so much, so I wanted the support. And I've got 77 cocktail recipes in here so far. 48 of them I have not tried yet. And of course, I've got all these other books and whatnot over there that also are full of cocktail options that I have yet to try. And I would love to make and try them all. It'd be, it'd be so cool. I'm inspired by people on the internet that I watch for other cocktail recipes to continue to try things. And I, I love it. It's a whole, it's a whole thing out there i don't know anything about the history of cocktails and whatnot so i was considering doing like i mean i, I make some cocktails on stream sometimes i like doing that some people make cocktail videos for youtube and whatnot and i i don't know if i'm a i don't know if i'm a video creator currently vod and stream creator and, but, you know, maybe maybe it'll expand who knows i've played with the i've toyed with the idea in my head it be cool there's this guy that um, somebody else, one of my buddies, uh, let's see. Oh, wow, I hemmed at the same time as the game. <laughs> nice. But um, he recommended me this guy on YouTube who, he's, he's his name is Prescott Van Meyer, and he's sommeliers from home. It's called The Unemployed Wine Guy, and he's hilarious. And he's always trying things, beers and wines and liquors and stuff like that. I just watched his rum chata video today, and it was really, really funny. Check out Unemployed Wine Guy on YouTube. It's really, I'd really recommend it if you're, if you're into, like, sarcastic comedy. I love sarcastic comedy, and it's exactly what he does. Little, little off-put sarcasticness. It's it's very enjoyable. They're short videos. They're they're short little takes. Some of them are like two minutes. Some of them are up to like seven maybe. So won't be take, taking too much time out of your day. And if you're if you're a person who likes the longer form stuff, might I recommend my good buddy Lycos Lore? That's Lycos L Y C O S L O R E. 
on YouTube as well. He just posted a video of Sonic of Sonic him playing Sonic Heroes today. And I watched the other couple and I actually I really enjoy watching the videos. It's like when you when, Glenn, when are you coming out with the next one? Like, it's coming out end of the week. I was like, oh, I look forward to it and so I can't wait to watch it. it actually just came out while I was streaming. So check that out. As of Roth tribe. Okay, more emails from Dexite. No problem. And there's still story stuff going on. Thank you, boss. Thanks for telling us about flowers. We love flowers. Thank you for talking to me about flowers. Why would I buy flowers from you when I could pick them up there? I don't know. Maybe you've got a special breed for me. I don't know. Flowers. How do we make the perfume? We're making perfume? Interesting. For Rex Lapis. Ideally, with the help of an expert. I guess we need an expert alchemist. None of my acquaintances have the art of deco decoction? decoction. 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 I've never heard that term before. Interesting. Try the common folk, especially women. Well, why don't I ask some of the alchemists that I know? They probably know perfume. <laughs> Paimon, dude. Paimon likes this job. Let's go walk around and talk to nice smelling ladies. Like. Nope, you're not the person to talk to. Nope. Now, nah. ooh, no, I, I shouldn't be talking to you. Like, oh, we're gonna talk to you. <laughs> you smell nice. Oh, book. Master of the Leeway Branch. All right, let's go talk to this fine-smelling woman. Rex Incognito the Second. Oh, I think there's an achievement for collecting all the Rex Incognito, uh, books. Speaking, of, I gotta read some of those books sometime. I have. Books. On top of this ship. On top of this ship. On top of this ship. Going up. And I have to talk to you. Seek Land's advice. Yes. Who I'm sure is a very wonderful smelling woman. I think my fiance smells nice. Just kidding. She has actually incredibly bad body odor. But that can be our secret. Nah, she knows it. She knows. She knows she smells. I smell bad, too. That's why I put on deodorant. I put on deodorant daily, and I shower daily. I used to use antiperspirant, too. My middle school... It was interesting. My middle school health professor... My middle school health teacher would tell us, Don't use antiperspirant. They'll give you cancer. Because of the aluminum trioxide and stuff in it. I was like, alright, I believe you. But it prevents me from sweating, and sweating makes me feel disgusting, so I'm utilizing it for the purposes that the product was designed for. And after a while, I actually noticed that antiperspirant was causing me to rash underneath my arms, and it became even more uncomfortable than sweating. So, I decided, you know what? I'm done with antiperspirant. Not gonna use it anymore. Now I just use regular deodorant. Because, like, I'm the kind of person where if you tell me not to do something, for whatever your reason may be... I will probably continue to do it until I find my own reason to stop doing it. Which may or may not be the same exact reason that you told me not to do it. Like, oh, don't go to this area. It smells bad. Like, well, I'm gonna, I'm really interested in going to this area, so I'm gonna go anyway. And then I'll be like, wow, this place smells terrible. You were totally right. Like, I will now not go back to this area because it actually smells bad, just like you told me to. Oh, but like, but like, I warned you, like, I told you so, like, and you got me. That You're totally right. You did tell me so. You did tell me so. And for that, kudos for you. Clearly it matters to you. Such that you would say, I told you so, because your pride was so hurt. And now I've repaired it for you. Good for you. Yeah, you know what? You can take that one. Go ahead. You told me so. <laughs> Shame on me. Right? But, like, I ha I'm the kind of person who I really have to experience things myself before it really clicks, so to speak. And I don't think there's any shame in that. I mean, that's a bit of a double-edged sword now, isn't it? If somebody says, hey, if you do this, you're gonna get cancer. Well, perhaps if I continued, it would have been a lot worse. But I found my own reason. Ah, I don't like to have to scratch my armpits in public. That was reason enough to stop using antiperspirant for me. So, I went with it. Old Spice is my prefers. It makes me smell manly, which, you know, manliness and womanliness is totally subjective. And this whole arbitrary gentrification of products that have smells to them, I think is really stupid. Like, bitch, if I want to smell like lavender, I'll smell like goddamn lavender. I, I did for a while use lavender soap, but I switched to a different scent because 
Lavender, lavender's the smell that bothers Anna. So I don't smell like lavender anymore. But bitch, if I want, what do I use right now? Bitch, if I want to smell like shea butter and aloe, you're damn right I'm going to smell like shea butter and aloe, and nobody's going to tell me that it's womanly. Though, perhaps that one has a more manly connotation. I really don't know, and I really don't care. I like pretty things. Pretty things are wonderful, including pretty smelly things. I think, let's see, at my fly. Gotcha. But um, at my fiance's parents' house, when I use their shower, like they had this strawberry smelling conditioner. Bitch, I love strawberries. I'll smell like strawberries. I want some rando on the street to walk past me, manly figure as I am, be like, "Have you never heard that smell like strawberries? Wow, that man smelled really good. I want that." And then now, 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 I hope it doesn't make him. I hope he's not so hurt. His manly pride hurt by another man walking around smelling like strawberry. Like, well, if I hurt your pride because I smell so damn good, maybe your pride was worthless anyway. Why don't you go try smelling like strawberries? I'm sure you'll love it. And your lady will too. <laughs> anyway, arbitrary gentrification. I think it's pretty stupid. Pink tax and all that stuff. Whatever. I'll buy. I will have women's conditioner. Frankly, quote unquote women's conditioner, I think works better for my hair than any man's conditioner and whatnot. Dude, I use Dove all the time. It's good. But I feel like people are, that's not really a stigma anymore. Like women's conditioner. Like, I don't think that's a big issue. Like Dove isn't for women. Dove's for anybody who wants it. Anything is not for women or for men. It's for anybody who wants it. Though I suppose there are some... There are some products, specifically, that would cater towards a particular person with certain biological features, like personal care products and whatnot. But, like, I mean, I suppose if you don't got it, maybe you've got a different use for them. Who am I to judge? I'm not here to judge! I'm not here to judge you based off of your purchasing habits. Yinger, tell me about perfumes and scents. Well, hello. You found me at last. <laughs> shop assistant, scent of spring. I suppose that's the name of your shop. Are you a seer? I heard a rumor about a couple who was snooping around town. I heard a rumor that there was a cut that you smell people to see if they're worthy to talk to. You're right. Did y'all ever watch the Umbrella Academy on Netflix? That's a good one. One of the superhero's powers is. She can, the power of suggestion, like, she can say, I heard a rumor, something, 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 and it'll happen, and it'll be like, oh, spooky. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? Why are you saying this so weirdly, so sensually? You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? Yeah, I do. Three in one go, my goodness. Three in one, stop! Yinger, stop! Maybe the rumors I heard were true. I don't like the way you're talking. Yeah, Ma'am, you are making me very uncomfortable. Ammunition? Is that it? You're on the prowl. Sweet smelling ammunition. Um, yeah, alright. Uh, war jokes aside. Um, uh, yes, it absolutely was the best that I could come up with. That doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Three at once. Yeah, I'm a- I'm adventurous. Call me adventurous. I- I need three at once. Remember this tradition anymore. Okay. As one of my favorite poems goes. Oh, oh cherry, cherry tree, begrudge, begrudge not, not thy blossoms, as they are, as they are deflowered, deflowered in the spring. In the spring. For, come For come winter, winter even thy sturdiest wood, wood shall wither. That was sexual! That was definitely sexual! <laughs> in short, deflowered! Wood! But you'd better make sure so. <laughs> that was sexual. I've got two sides of my of my. What's the term? I have two sides of my brain. One is the oh side, and the other is the oh side. They they sometimes fight each other. They were they were at war. They were definitely fighting then. That was that was a that was a oh and oh. Kind of moment. Tell me more, Ying Er. I've had a word with Chef Mao. Oh, have you? Start work now. <laughs> Chef Mao, 
Can we use your kitchen? Yeah, yeah, you can you can use my kitchen if you want to. It's fine. Oh, thank you, Chef Mao. You're such a doll. Like, we don't need the theatrics. You can just come and ask. It's fine. Fetch some water. All right. Where where is the water? Uh, I guess it's out back. I can. I definitely played. I played a D and D character like that who was intended in, incredibly sexual all the time, and then people were just like, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. Like you don't you don't need you don't need to act like this. Like we get it. You don't need to be all sexual all the time. Like, don't patronize me. I can be as bombastic and flamboyant and sexual as I want to. Like, all right, dude, make it a bit of a scene there, but uh. It was, it was, it was okay. It was okay. I tried to play my character and the DM wasn't totally into it, so we dialed things back a bit, and I didn't play that campaign again. I hope to bring that character back someday, so that she will have new life. Because I think it'd be beautiful. Take hold of the Northern Pestle. Gently does it. You're still going. But now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Um. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Now Stop. take these and try it out on your I didn't own like that. using a nearby crafting bench. I, I didn't like that. It was weird. Don't forget to do all three. Oh, they look visually identical during the. Mm, you're still going. But I will put them into separate containers. Why must you be so sexual? It's oil! Oh, but oil has sexual connotations too! Alright, I'm gonna go grind flowers. Oh, grinding has sexual connotations too. Oh, jeez. Ying or why? Earth, wind, and fire. Yeah. Oil. Grind it. Oh, it's been ground. Oh, you've been ground. Oh, let's grind another one. Back to the loop. Yes. Grind it again. Oh, goodness. Don't, don't I need another? Oh, and then I have the other one. Yes, and then that. That was... That was... I, I don't know. I don't know if I really like that one. It was so crazy. And I can apparently make the... Animocula search stone. I should make that. I should make that so I can find the animoculus and stuff. Apparently I have enough for it, so cool. I can make two? Why why need more than one? Craft the animoculus resonance stone! Crafting completed. I got one. Stone that can be used in Mondstadt to search for nearby animoculi. This man-made stone plate possesses a certain characteristic similar to that of the Animo statues of the Seven, giving it the power to resonate with Animoculi. Oculus resonance stones are crude imitations of the statues of the Seven, constructed by the ancients, but it is precisely this crudeness that gives them, makes them crave the power of elemental oculi, thus providing devout worshippers and adventurers alike a prime opportunity to collect oculi. Lovely. Well, now I've got one of those. I don't know why I'd need two, but... Give the silk flower essence to Yinger. I really hope you don't make a big... You know what? No, 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 no. You know what? I will not judge you. I hope you make a big deal about it as you always do, Yinger. So, go for it. Give it your all. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. You're damn right it's equi exquisite. The stage, the most, important one of all. most important stage. The essence is placed into water and okay. simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. All right, all right. It's quite simple instructions. Controlling my heat. Yep, I can do that. Oh, not too high, not too low. I will try to focus controlling the heat. Don't waste the drop. I will not. With a little help, we did it. sweet perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. Don't patronize me. To the lengths you will go to for romance. Thank you. So so rare to see people like me nowadays. Have we done? Shall I give you a I'm grinning and bearing it. Each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. All right. Yep. Wants to hear this. 
Cameron doesn't want to hear this. this one is sweet as candy, candy. Out of a fairy tale. <laughs> that was wonderful. Younger women will love it. I'm not gonna go after younger women. That's creepy. I'm 23. Any younger? Any younger than that? Younger women to me are illegal. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent. Okay. Mature women. Okay. My my fiance. That's that's all right. I like that type. Of, like the mist that captures the light of dusk. Don't get them mixed up now. Oh, was there? I I thought I only heard two. Good. Be sure, be sure to come to, come to the. Visit All right. If you ever need help with anything, okay? Yep, I'll, I'll be sure to. With some parting words. I'll be sure to come back if I ever need help again. To sail three boats simultaneously. Should be careful not to go overboard. I appreciate the way you said that. The sentiment was beautiful. I really appreciate it. I do have to go. Come hang out. Nope. I don't think I will. I'd love if, unironically, I never talk to this character again. <laughs> be really funny. Like, <laughs> come visit me again sometime. Like, I won't. And I can't even control that. <laughs> I can't control my inability to come visit you. Oh, hi there. You know what? What happens if I talk to you? Looking fetching today. Care to take a look inside Scent of Spring? I'm sure you'll find something unforgettable. Wait, is this a... Of course, as you would expect. The real deal. You didn't know? They let us open our own little hideaways, nothing to worry about. Just imagine the warmth of their bodies, the smoothness of their curves under your hands. Pretty as they are, you can't have them out and about. It's not appropriate. I have to get them baked for 12 hours before I can even open shop. Wait, do you mean baked? We are not talking about prostitutes? Of course, I mean, not as intensely as those other places, but I've got them ready. They're just as good as anywhere else. All our best are, as I described, full of and elegant bodies, thinner up top, but curvaceous further down. It's what everybody is talking about these days. The clients that I have come and pick their favorite, and then off they go. They're always so glowing and satisfied when they're done. I understand that this is the sense shop. This is not a brothel. But it sure as hell seems like it is. Like, you'd be very uncomfy. I'm playing as Barbara right now. I'm a poor, innocent singer. Like, oh, curvaceous bodies? Thin at top? Curvaceous when necessary? Um. I hope you never f I hope it is never you and I in a dark alley. Because you are going to lunge at me, and I will not know what happened. Instead, I hope it's me in my powerful form so I can fend thee off. <laughs> away, thought! Stay away from me! <laughs> Silence, wench! <laughs> I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. As I put my sword back into my sheath, I walk away, tears in my eyes, thinking... I have overcome temptation today. I am a stronger man because of it. Anyway, this is what I get for doing story quests, I guess. <laughs> All in the name of Rex Lapis, our dead Archon. Did my elemental resonance just... I didn't do anything. Interesting. Apparently that can recharge on its own. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, on to the rest of the thing. I'm actually feeling a little hungry. Might need another muffin. Probably a cereal bar. Too much chocolate. I need something different. <gasps> I have no bread for sandwiches! I'm panicking! <sighs> I have no bread for sandwiches. I never put together the shop order. Oh. I don't get a sandwich. <gasps> Wait! I have an idea. I have lettuce. I have all the fixings of my sandwich except for the bread. I've had a revelation. What if I take the romaine lettuce that I would use inside the sandwich and use the romaine lettuce itself as the thing that keeps the cheese and the meats and the mayonnaise together? <gasps> I think this is going to work. I will now fantasize about my new sandwich creation until my next opportunity to do Enjoy it. <gasps> lizard! Come back, Lizard. Come back, Lizard. Lizard, come here. Thank you. Give me the Lizard. Thank you, Lizard. Much appreciated. Radish. 
Give me radish. Sweet flower. Give me sweet flower. And now I will sacrifice this to the Geo Archon, who is probably dead. What's this plant? Sweet flower. Nice. Zhongli. What next? Offer some perfumes and stuff. We've brought the perfumes, Mr. Zhongli. Zhongli, indeed. Too long. You were just staring up at the statue. I was just admiring. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. I'm telling you, this guy's the, one of the, the archons. The Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liyue. This I was bet. a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is. You're true. right, Paimon. Well, have you brought the perfumes? I want to smell perfumes. beautiful for the archon. And not one less. <sighs> Thank I, you. I feel like he's he, he, guy's definitely the Geo up. Archon. I'm telling you, I feel like he's got to be it. Let's offer them up. Offer a golden house maiden. This is the first kind of perfume. Ah! Miss Yinger said that it's sweet, sweet as a dream. And it's Liked by and younger it's ladies. This is the second kind. It's and the next one, it's elegant. Well, daughters, oh, daughters of high society. That was the one I missed. Okay, and then the next one is something for mature ladies. So these are perfumes for all types and all ages. Of ladies, they're gonna love the smell of this statue. They'll come crawling to the statue like you were being incredibly creepy right now. That's disgusting. That's the one older ladies like, right? Maybe I don't know. Does is actually an older lady? Potentially. Perhaps. Perhaps she is an older lady. That, or I don't know. She just likes the smell of perfume. Perhaps that really was one of them. I don't know. Taking my slippers off and getting hot. The unicorn slippers. Let's hope the chasing can catch the real. Oh, excuse me. We can leave that tea coming up to get me. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. Bye, Rex Lapis. Well, our tea. Yeah, child in the Kishing. Want to know? Well, do we see the Exuvia? We do need to see the Exuvia. I don't know. So we finished. All right. Now what? Now what do? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. The cleansing bell? The cleansing bell. At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping. Madame Ping! Ah, the Yujing Chair. Yujing Terrace. Let's if go get her. She will know what to do. Alas, helping sure, more people, and accomplishing more her? with favors from other people. Ah. I have certain reasons why I can't reasons I can't be there in person because the Geo Archon's gonna appear and I can't have the Geo Archon and myself appear in the same room at the same time. Kind of like the Batman situation. What do you mean a Batman situation? Like Batman and Bruce Wayne? Yes, exactly like that. So then, are you the Geo Archon? All right, time to talk to other people. Time to go running, 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 running back to the Leeway Harbor. Do I need any heals? I don't need any heals. But I want this apple, and this carrot, and this, uh, the radish. <gasps> Salamander! Come here, you! Come here, Salamander! Yes. I got another lizard tail. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Well, this is a beautiful little pond over here. Did I run through this the first time? Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses. Or the lotuses. <gasps> fish! Fish, 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 fish! Alright, well... Fishing. If I want to go fishing, I should go back to Black Desert. They have fishing in there, apparently. It's one of the skills that you can do. Seems cool. I still need to, still need to let Matt know. I'll, you know what? I'll let Matt know tonight that I tried out Black Desert. He probably doesn't know. I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. But it'll be on tonight! When we play some Soul Worker with the gang. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Oh, God. I, I love, I love this. I think, hopefully... Hopefully, I'll be able to play some games with Lycos this weekend as well. Because uh, Sea of Thieves was on sale the other day for 20 bucks, and I grabbed it. I grabbed it because I was like, you know who really loves this game? Glenny Boy! So therefore, I'm going to see if I can play it with him. Because I know he was playing Sea of Thieves last week, and I was like, I want to play with my buddy. I want to play with my best buddy. So we'll see. We'll see if he, uh, if he allows me to be graced by his presence. Or allow me to grace his presence, his almighty lordship. His almighty lordship, Lycos underscore the lore on Twitch, or without the underscore on YouTube. I bow my head in respect. 
Oh, good buddy. Good buddy. Let's see. I have to talk to Madam Ping. Ping, ping, ping. It's the sound. Ping pong. Madam Ping. Is there a mess up? Monsieur Pong? There's a Madam Ping. Is there a Monsieur Pong? I wouldn't be surprised if this game did that with the names. I've seen it. I've seen... I've seen similar. Let's see. Talk to Madam Ping. It's higher. Taking me higher, higher, higher off the ground. Taking me higher, higher, higher off the ground. Yeah. Yet another tune from my years of middle school. Early 2000s music. I was going to say 90s music, but that's, oh, that's not 90s. I remember when that came out. I remember when that was a middle school dance song. I'm so old. My cheeks are getting all wrinkly. Anyway, hi, Madam Ping. I, you are uh, much more wrinkly than I am. Must change. How do you do? Are you okay? Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. I just thought Such it a, a great shame that so many of these glazed, the glazed lilies, lilies are wilted. wilted. What do we do about that, Madam what Ping? To them? Tell us Back more. In my day. People said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. I mean, that's not so. That's not so out there in this type of world where magic is clearly exuberant all over the place. Singing, they would you told me a flower could read my heart. Like in this life, I'd be a little skeptical. But I would more or less entertain the thought because that's what we're on this earth for. That's what I think. Stop and smell the roses. Stop and smell the roses. Stop and let the roses read your heart. It's pretty much the same thing. It involves the same action of sniffing. Probably. I don't know. Do you read books by sniffing them? Because I certainly do. Nothing like the smell of a nice good book. Let's see, do I have any books around here? There's a book. Cyberpunk book. Yes. It smells like a book. Spot, smells like the downfall of society. Smells like well, dystopian me. futures. Yes. Grown too old and naggy. Naggy. Did you have something to say? Something to say, youngster. youngster? Can I borrow your bell? Ah, that old trinket. Hey, can I borrow your bell? I ah, yes, you can borrow that little old trinket thing of mine. That's oh, no. totally fine. I'm too old to use it anywhere. Where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. I, I had a yawn, so I figured I'd make it entertaining. He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. So I, lo I love, there, I love you, Madam Ping. You are really, you're just so into your own inner monologue, and I'm, honestly, I can totally get behind that. It you're like, you have the reminiscence, the nostalgia that you must be feeling right now is just, it's, in, it's incredible to be able to watch. Still, though, I can't Beautiful recall when. It started. But I can't it's remember where the bell is. Came here for nothing! No, I'm just kidding. These old bones. These old bones. So it's it's fine. I'm a, I'm a Knights of Favonius certified lost them. property find. I can imagine him saying, like, my, the main character saying exactly like that. I'm a Knights of Favonius certified lost property ha finder. I'll find your lost property. That's what I was saying. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. I didn't place it very far away. It's okay. You can come back and find it again next time if you wanted to. But this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. That must be pretty expensive. An old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic See this teapot? Can you tell that I can't afford to live in the city because of this teapot? The bell is all you own? <laughs> in you go, Paimon. There's no way Paimon would fit in there. You disappear at a moment's notice, Paimon. You're telling me you can't fit inside of a teapot? Come on. It's my genie in a bottle. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot. And you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. Okay, it's somewhere inside the teapot and I have to find it. This feels very riddly. 
Time to touch the teapot. Am I going to be sucked inside? Is it a dungeon? This is where she lives. <laughs> she's definitely like a G, like a like a GD person. My goodness. Maybe she's the Archon. I knew I was going to get sucked inside. Now I'm imagining like the when you get inside like the secret areas for like um Super Mario Sunshine like the do 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 Freaking love it. This is where I keep all of my things inside of here. It's a little cobwebby and there are spiders that try to kill me every single time I come inside, but whatever. This is her teapot. That's beautiful. Did I miss any treasures? I probably missed some treasures. This is beautiful. I love the, the leeway dungeons. So many cobwebs. It seems I really haven't cleaned it. You see, time works differently in here. Time to kill you all with the power of fire. Now you're overloaded. What will you do about that? Fire, fire, burn. Fire, fireworks. I don't know. Get identified. Get, get ventified. This isn't your real kill. You're, uh, 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 here. Super good dots. I'll get you with my chunk. Super conducts. Let's do here. You come over. Everybody come over here, right? And then I'm gonna get you all at once. Come up. Come over. Yes. Jump towards me. Yes. Jump towards me. Come on. And I, oh, whatever. Whoop how? Yeah, that worked. Super conduct overload. Oh, there's a big old flower thing over there. I forgot. Those things can hurt me. Come on. Come here. Oh, you're dead. Cool. Well, now to get you a different way. Here. Get get ice on. I get ice on. Get a get ice you. Ice them. Maybe Zoot uh, Zootopia. The little the little voles or whatever. The mob group. You come you come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. As trying to ask me a favor. Ice him. I love that. Very blatantly a Godfather reference. I've never watched The Godfather. I will though. I will though eventually. When I was hanging with some of my buddies a few months ago, we decided to finally tackle some of the uh older like Italian gangster movies. So we watched like the Sopranos. I'm sorry, not the Sopranos. What's it called again? Maybe it was the Paul the Soprano. Oh, Goodfellas. That was it. It was the Goodfellas. We watched Goodfellas. We watched, like, The Irishman. Good stuff like that. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> then. Wow, you're dead. Can I just use my fire ability? I feel like I should be able to burn this with my fire ability. Wait. Wait. Fire ability. Yes. Okay, you're not on fire like I thought you would be. Alrighty, man. Whatever, we're just gonna sit there. Fine then. Activate wind current. Let's go. Jump into the doom. Hey, a tree. You know, I hope you can find my bell in there. I actually put it all the way at the end of this elaborate ruse so that you would have a hard time finding it. Thanks, madam. Maybe she is an adeptus. That's what I would think. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh dear. Okay. Well, that's fine. I almost almost died. I almost done did the dead thing. Get overloaded. Maybe she isn't a death just that or this is merely this is perhaps this is just merely a magical item. You've been overloaded and my headphones are being all wacky weird again. Okay. What I'll do is I will put the headphones in. So I got me a little bit more time. I wish I had a counter for when my last break was. Maybe we should add that. Um, okay, okay, that thing's gonna attack me. So instead what I'll do is it can't attack me from over here. I will take another quick break, but like make myself a sandwich and I used the wrong ability. I thought that was the pause button. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich because I'm hungry. So I will be back in a little bit. So don't go anywhere or do whatever you want to do really.
take my meal cold to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Jinshin infused water with ice is the most effective. Take my meals cold to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Jinshin infused water with ice is the most effective. Exorcism uses thaumaturgy and martial arts to conquer evil. There are other means to the same end, but they are not the true way.
exorcism uses thaumaturgy and martial arts to conquer evil. There are other means to the same end, but they are not the true way. Take Benyo's coal to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Jinshin infused water with ice is the most effective. Heart be pure, evil be erased, mind be purged, world be... Um, I always forget that last part. Heart be pure, evil be erased, mind be purged, world be... Um, I always forget that last part. Take Benyo's coal to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Jinshin infused water with ice is the most effective. And we're back. Guys, let me tell you about this sandwich that I just had. Awesome. Awesome sandwich that I just had. My goodness, the plan totally worked. Who knew that... Whoops, lights are on. Who knew that I could instead take two pieces of romaine lettuce, slather mayo on one side of each of them, and then curl up some turkey in little rolls, put them in between, the lettuce roll and take a piece of cheese and slice it down the middle a little slice and put it up long ways and put the other piece of romaine on top of it my god wow that was awesome that was delicious it was a delicious sandwich it was just so tasty oh wish i could do that again but now i'm out of cheese so here we are if only i am bubbled and frozen and bubbled and frozen my goodness a lot going on over here anyway but so that was my sandwich and uh i wanted everybody to also join in the joy that was me consuming my sandwich because i was a very happy camper during vaporize oh i can use these ah i can use the lotuses stop 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 oh my god stop you're gonna kill her you're gonna kill her oh my god venti come back uh, here, Barbara, do your heels. La, 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 la. Let's play. Oh my god, stop. Get curled up in a ball. And then, I don't know, use your fire ability. Yeah, everybody get it. Everybody get crazy. And I'm gonna die. Just kidding. I will not let him die! I will not let you die! You will not die on my watch. 
Oh, I've been frozen again. No, I want to fight you. I want to fight you so you will die and explode. No, stop. Stop. Barbara. All right, water her up. Water up. I'm um, iced. No. Woo. Here, come over here with the fire thing. Yeah, bounce over here. Bounce over. Aw, come now. Come on. Yeah. Oh, dear. Not fun. Gotta get out of that. Gotta get out of that icy cage. You've been broken! I will break you. Break you with fire. Break you with fire. Oh, the sun seems to be coming out. I can feel it coming from behind the clouds. Who's shooting at me? What? It, it's a spider. Where'd the spider come from? This stupid, stupid spider come from? Hi, babe. This, this stupid, stupid spider. No, stop! Don't do it. Do ah! it. Do that thing where you really die. There we go. Do that thing where you, you die and never come back to life ever. Like permanent death. No, stop. Don't freeze me! Just ice it. Ice him. Oh god, don't. Oh, there's a chest back here. You led me to a chest. Oh. Thank you, actually. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Stop doing the icy thing. Why won't you die? There we go. And there's more. Oh, oh there's... Huh. Seems to be quite the thing back here. Oh, I was supposed to go over here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? Oh, look, it's all of them. Let's superconduct. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, superconduct. La 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 la. Let's do some venti. Ventibil. My venti abilities. Swirl it. <laughs> Swirl it good. Da na 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 na. Da do 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 do. So swirl it. Swirl it good. Do, 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 do. I want to increase. I want to wait till you're up. You got your thing up. Yes, and then I will use vent abilities. Get him! Get into the hole! Get into the big bubble! And then boom! With the big old... Yes, everybody. Everybody. What a combo. What a combo. You're still not dead. Absolutely incredible. Nope, stop. Super good. Boy, my lane. Alright, well, at least the, the electro guys are out of here. This is not my fighting party. I need to upgrade. The, it's probably because I don't have their artifacts, like, optimized. I do for Barbara, for maximum healing ability, and the heals don't seem to be a problem. For the most part, if I just do it correctly. Touch of frost. Touch of flame. There needs to be more. Let's play. No, you put your ice thing back on. You are exactly why I can't have that. Here we go. Come on, do the thing. Yes. No, why doesn't it persist? Ah! You're up in the air. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. From whence you came, a touch of frost. No, stop! Stop it! Ah! I'll fight you with my bubbles. And I've been frozen. Don't do it. No! You put your shield back on. You suck. You suck. I take this defeat. Swing, swing around. Just keep on swinging. Just keep on. No! Stop! You don't need this. You don't need this. Oh my goodness. Die, 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 die. Stop. Die, 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 die. Yes! Oh. 
I found the bell now. Did I find the bell? Activate wing currents. Up we go. Where's the bell at? Whoa. It's still going. Oh my goodness. Is the bell up there? Was that not the final gauntlet? I can't leave the domain because I can't switch characters. Hey, look! All my belongings. So you telling me that Graham, the Madam Ping, goes through this all the time? Oh, you found it. I do. So quick on their feet. So quick on their feet. Now, Is that it then? Let me set this. All right. All right, that'll do. Come on out now, children. Come on out Navigate. Now, children. How, do, how do I leave? Leaving in whatever many seconds. All right. Yep. Can I? Yeah, I'll leave. Now, I'm out of here. Ooh. My eyes have been affected by the sunlight that has not come through. I must adjust my eye holes. Oh, my eyelids. Please excuse me for that display. Oh. Ho, ho, ho! In and out in no time because you're young, really are quick. You're an adeptus, man. An adeptus. I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a Tell me, I want the answer. Time. Give me the answer, woman. As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely, Surely you already understand. understand. So, so I suppose you are. I'm again to know what you mean. But it's also kinda of confused. I need I need an answer, Granny. Granny, I need an answer. Don't you think it's weird? Something just happened to Rex Lapis and then we come running up. We're coming up here, we're asking you for it. Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless adepti. But no oh, all right. What, well, glad you're chill about this, because apparently nobody else is. Parting first before any other matters. Right of parting. Ah. Uh. Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That oh, that is wrong-headed. Oh. What is I see that. Now that you have come to borrow the bell. I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take take matters into their own hands. That must be Zhang Li. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't return? Oh. <laughs> well, if it came. Find a certain old lady knocking at their door. Nice. In that, in that in a way. Freaking well, chat. Oh, and that going through. There's a lot of. There's a time, lot of dialogue. For tea. I don't have much I'll to let it offer, happen. but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. A pot of tea. Thanks, Granny. I like to I like to make tea. I love to drink tea. Tea is good. It's bigger on the inside, the pot. Oh, these there's no flowers over here. Hey, where are my flowers? Oh, whatever. I put the perfume and the cleansing bell in place. Oh, look at this, the glaze lily. Ha! I found the flower. I found one of those flowers that the lady was talking about. And another one. Yes. And more silk flowers, which I think are essential materials for some characters. Come to think of it, I wonder if there's like a... An inventory limit. Excuse me. For collectibles like that. I'll eventually run out of space. Li. Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Hmm. <laughs> In good condition, it's in too. Good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Place the perfume we've prepared inside. Feels like a bit of a tongue twister. From Madame of Ping. Course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. We won't pry, but we will pry. That old granny asked us to tell you something. She could have told you herself, but it's about a couple thousand feet away, and I will. Like about a thousand feet away, it's not good. Maybe 300, I don't know. I keep, I always get confused on the scale of what a foot is. Like a thousand feet is like a fifth of a mile. Like that's, a mile is pretty damn long. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives. Suitable for time arrives. <laughs> yes, her tea is very good. Her teapot is very good. You're totally right. Let's ignore the fact that there's a giant gaping dimension on the inside of it. Go on kite flying? Go on kite flying. Go on kite flying. <laughs> no, no. Like, like the, the lantern, right? Yeah, yeah, I get that. Ah, the chef knows me. The chef told me. 
Shadow's caught me up to speed on that one. You, but our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Purchase kites. Oh, sure. Curiouser? Curiouser. That's what Alice from Alice in Wonderland would say. Curiouser and curiouser. Alright. Now what? Where to next? Am I level locked? Don't tell me I'm level locked. Am I level locked? Character is currently involved in other quests. Oh? Madam Ping is an adeptus! Who knew? What other quest? Snapshots. Snapshots? Well, I guess I'll do snapshots then. Deliver the picture to her customer. Okay. Guess I'm doing that. Ooh, I fell in the water. I didn't realize that Madame Ping was involved in such a quest. Well, that's the way I gotta go anyway, I think. Alrighty then. We'll complete that quest. I guess I kind of like the fact that they have the whole, oh, this character is involved in other quests thing, so you can't complete it. Like, I get that. I stopped. So there's a picture of your customer. What, what customer? Uh, do you need a picture? So, no? Can I, no? Can't talk to you? Uh, what about you? No, wait a minute. That looked like Madam Ping over there. Madam Ping? 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 Can I talk to anybody, really? Oh. How about you? You need a, you need a snapshot? Is there anything good to eat? Uh, I don't care. A confirm button. What about you? Do you want a picture? Want a, want a picture? Do you have anything besides uncut rocks for jail? For, for sale? Yeah, what do you got? What do you have for sale? Chunks! I have 25 of those. Let's make... I don't know. Let's, let's buy more. Yeah! I'll buy all your stuff from you. I'll buy you completely out. That's commerce, baby! Buy all your stuff. I have tons of it already. Apparently you're not the person who needs the thing. Uh, perhaps it's y'all. Granny? About the camera. Yes. Ask them to come to you to take a picture of me. Yes! Camera. Alright, so that's done. And uh, now for the other one. Take the camera over to you! Let's see how that goes. Take the camera to you! Unsuspecting citizen! How about you? Camera? Camera? No. Your adventure from the Adventures Gale is so wonderful. Ah! Adventuring! Adventuring's so fun! How about you kids? How can I think I do for you? Uh, what are you selling? What are you selling? <gasps> Cheese! I can buy all these potatoes! I will buy all of these potatoes. I have bought all of your potatoes. I will buy all your sugar. I will buy all of your cheese. I will buy your core lapis. And I'll buy your electro crystal! Now you've got nothing. What about you, Yizu? Camera? Who are you? No, let's not. Not in the mood for conversation. We are in the mood to complete missions! Fortune Teller? Keeming? Antiques? Tell me more about antiques. Living fortune charm optimal. Okay, what about you back there? Ling, -li Ling Lang? Got a, got a camera? I like to buy some antiques. What do you got? Oh, I don't need those. Nah. I won't buy you out. Those are lame. Millilith. Yi Chang, do you need. Loud rumbling. Can I help you? Loud rumbling. What are you doing? My tummy rumbling. Oh, okay. Because. Are you sure you're okay? Dude, eat food. I ate my sandwich, now it's time to eat yours. Oh, okay. Is it you, waitress? Can I get... I haven't booked. Can you squeeze me in? Most popular restaurant. Guess not. Wait, can I buy something? I'm gonna buy stuff from you. What do you sell? Are you food to go? Certainly. Ooh, a recipe. Get some shrimp balls and that and that and... Yeah, food stuff. Food is good. 
I like food and food is good and so we will eat together so we will eat together so we will eat together That was a song I sung for choir one time Good stuff We will eat together as we march along It's called marching to Praetoria I don't think Praetoria is a real place But alas Okay, guess not there Um, can I talk to one of you folks? And you guys want a want a picture? Want a picture? Picture? Sir, might I know your name? Sir? Oh, you don't need to be here. Aya! Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Fan Aya! Ah, yeah. Nice. I'm the boss of the tea house. Everything to your liking? Sure. How about you, tea master? Camera! 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 Alright! Yeah. Camera picture time. Yay. Now report back to Shu. Now time to report back to Shu, a man with a camera. Yes, I did order a picture taken of me. How did you know? Oh, you talked to Shu? What a nice guy. Nope, I want to talk to Shu. Just where has he gone wandering off to this time? Honestly! Oh, my apologies. How may the Feiyun Commerce Guild be of assistance to you, good sirs? About the camera. Have you managed to deliver the pictures? Done. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry for troubling you, but we're barely keeping our heads above the water here. Ah, yes, please take this camera as thanks for your help. I, I really couldn't. I already have one. It's no problem. I mean, did you you did help us, didn't I? It's not an exceedingly expensive object. Just a sample. Something be enough for your needs. Advertising. Take the camera. I already have a camera. But I already have... Now I have two cameras. D do I not have two cameras now? I definitely have two cameras. Camera? 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 I have two cameras. Oh, that's a special camera. Okay. But now I got two cameras! And some achievements. Ooh. Wow. Smells divine. Bigger on the inside. Nice. Alrighty. Now time to continue on with my quest. Oh, were that were, was she involved in two different things? Oh whoa. Okay. For well archaic lord. Uh well this one's closer. Calm before the storm. Ooh! Pretty cool. Sleepy. Shu! Oh, Shu is involved in another quest too. I don't know. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. This again. Again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Don't mind me. me just speculating. I'm the kind of guy who's a bit of a speculator. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests. You, you were using a lot of long words, Shu. You weren't using those long words with me earlier. Okay. Please rest assured that the matter rest assured has been you'll be okay. You'll be we just, just need fine. Some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Oh, I get to hang in the pavilion again. Hey, tasty snacks! Tasty snacks! Oh boy! I want a tasty snack. We treat visitors with the Seriously. utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. We have fruit snacks. When honored guests grace us with a craving presence, for fruit snacks. Far be it from us, please. This way. This way, I say. Come. Come with me. I have things to show you. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Paimon thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. Ooh. Paimon didn't think Guho Akik had so much clout. Clout. You use the word clout. I love it. What's up, Shu? Yeah, Shu. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome for your patience. Ooh. Ah. Uh, he must feel for himself uh, the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Chang the Ninth. Gentry Malkai's business. Gentry Malka. Oh, that's this mission. We simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. We'll buy up all the lapis. They don't have nothing to buy. That would be unable to make their product. Yeah, that'll be sure to mess things up. <laughs> that'll be sure to mess things up with them. That's what I want to do. Let's mess up commerce. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of core lapis in the harbor? With the time sure we can. can. It is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated, yeah, we can buy up all the lapis. I mean, I did just buy five from one of the local vendors, so first, shouldn't be that much more difficult, right? City you will need to buy from. Shouldn't be that bad. Mark their respective locations on your map. There is also mark it on the map. Go to the mark. On the map, buy some lapis. Let's do it! 
Finally, Do that. There's Damn. The ninth batch. Energy. So three in the city, yeah, let's buy some lapis. God. Stimulate the economy. Right yes. Of course, That's what we can do. We are not expecting you to cover the cost. <laughs> I'll give you all of this money. Well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just part well, of the course now. It wasn't the first time we've had to manipulate the economy. The Feyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased trifling all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feyun Commerce Guild warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan Come, unfold. Watch this plan unfold. You'll learn. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in the <laughs> Obtained huge bag of Mora. Nice. Incredible. Can't believe it. Yeah, go buy up all the lapis. We're gonna mess up the economy. Oh, it's not the first time we've done something like this. It's not? That's scary. Go to the store, buy cool lapis. Hey, I bought stuff from you. Give me all your lapis. You want all my core lapis? Well, that's sad. None are in writing. The buyers are incredibly indecisive. The buyers are being incredibly But the Feyun Commerce Guild will help you with that one. Here's all this money that you definitely want. Thank you for your patronage. You're welcome for your patronage. You're welcome for my patronage. Alright, there's others. Then they're down there. Down at the lower levels. Thank you for your patronage. You're welcome for my patronage. What's the legitimate way to get down the little marketplace? Cool down there. Good day, my friend. Hello, Ivanovich. My apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. No, I think uh, no. Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnayan products. No, that I <laughs> no, sir. Oh, I want your cool lapis. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Does we'll take it all still count as retail? What? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but I want all of it. All right, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. <laughs> That's no incredible. Shortage of cash flow in the end. No, clearly not from the Feyun Commerce Guild. Naturally. Is there a, like what's the legitimate way to get down here? There's like a no, I fell in the water. Here, cl climb that. Climb? No, don't climb. All right, can climb, climb, please. Can climb on the boat. Yes, yes, climb on the boat. Yes, and then we're gonna go up and yes, thank you. Well. Talk to me, baby. Keep your voice down. Oh. All of it? Though my oh, business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so I love how, legitimately. I love how it's the... Best you I, I love how it's the flower money. seller who's the shady one. All of it would be far more than you actually want. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. It's for the Commerce Guild. The Feyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? Yeah, if don't you know that they're the trying to stimulate the economy Guild, again? Haven't you heard? The economy needs stimulating. And the best way to stimulate right the economy is with two fingers. <laughs> with money between them. Preferably coins and gold. I want to talk to you. What do you actually sell? Do you actually sell something? This is from Yijang. Oh, I was supposed to do something? Interesting. Long with it, so you don't actually sell anything. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, is there a chest back here? <gasps> da da da. I'm beneath the harbor. I gotta go up to the harbor. Oh no, I didn't want to be over there. Oh no. I'll just climb up this post. Ma'am, what are you doing up there? You could use the ramp. Oh, she's gone. Go to the chasm and buy core lapis. Excuse me? Can't beat the atmosphere here. Well, I mean, let's go. What, what about this other quest that I've got going on here? The other big one. Downtown. Downtown, Mora. Downtown, Kite. Woo! Da 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 Let's go buy some coral. Oh, nope, that's wrong mission. Let's go get some kites. 
to make an offering to Rex Lapis, who's probably dead, but maybe not. Or maybe, maybe instead, okay, so maybe instead of Zhongli being actual yes. Rex, Rex Lapis, you. he's just one of the other Adeptus. Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get... Oh, it's because the, everyone's forgotten about tradition there, Granny. Well, this is We're trying to keep tradition alive. And afterlife, because funeral parlor, remember? I did say that. Tea, perfumes, flora, fauna, it's beautiful. He seems to know Leo's so favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about rescue <sighs> He does. Instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Not like this boring stuff like politics and commerce and the economy. That's for sure. Boring. Obviously. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Okay, tell me more, Granny Shan. Well a toy seller. Children, but this they are. Has been honed over thousands, honed over of, thousands years. of years. I've been crafting toys for thousands of years. No, you haven't. Although I'm sure it may seem like it. You are rather old. I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. Ah, I see. That's what you meant. Passed down through. Been toy makers for generations and generations and generations and generations and generations and generations and generations. Long, long time. We've been toy crafting for aeons, millennia, saga, many times. Needless to say, these are really damn good toys. Or they're really shitty, but shitty in such a respectable way. Ooh. Ah, What's the Golden House? Oh, I'm sorry, you've never heard of the Golden House. displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf electro archon do honor to wisdom in the passage of time this is the first we heard about the electro archon single kite this is the geo archon oh falls across the surface of the waters war rages like a flame as does that which the cryo archon once huh cryo archon which archon are you you've got to be one of the archons you gotta be i i feel like you have the compliments of a learned man truly Maybe you're the Electro Archon. You got that yellowness about you. And I don't see uh I don't see a vision on you. The thing that's the source of your power, you know? I don't know. Maybe you're just the new Geo Archon. I don't really know. Well, allow me. Child, you're back! According to popular demand, he's the hot one. Child, hello. <laughs> I was merely passing through. I'm just passing through. I'm a nice guy. I like to pass through sometimes. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials. Or doesn't know a great deal about money. That's beautiful. Just consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he Poverty is so below me. Look at all this money. Who knows? Child. You are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then. I also got a water jungle. Your eyes are there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparation. There's something special about them, aren't there? And the way you do your eyeshadow. Oh <gasps> chicken nuggets! Did you make some for yourself too? Lovely! Take this bag of money. Thank you! Ah. Uh, oh goodness. I got little dino nuggies! Oh, I love my dino nuggies. And this one's a stegosaurus. Probably. I don't know. Love dino nuggets! I've received a huge bag of Mora. Time to find three workers. And do with them what I wish. Doc worker? Oh, yeah, so we need help, alright. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. 
Adventure. That's okay. We don't need a cleric on this team. Adventure We've already got Barbara. The mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Brave adventurer, we have need of five crystal flies. That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Ah, never mind. I'll only charge you fifteen thousand mora. What say you? Is that fifteen bucks? That's probably bucks, I guess. No, let's negotiate. No, that's fine. A pleasure doing business with you. Oh, but a pleasure doing business with you as well, senior dock worker. Mm. What else we got? Who else can I harass? How about you, Tack? Another dock worker. Tell me more. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. <laughs> Eugene sounds like Eugene, and when I think of Eugene, I think of funny characters from television shows. Like Eugene Krabs. Mr. Krabs, first name is Eugene. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Yeah. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. We'll pay in full. Let's talk prices. No, let's not negotiate. You got a shit ton of money. Give it to the people That's who need it. That's a good price. Anyone would work for this much, Mora. Naturally. We're not trying to haggle here. We're just trying to make you do it. Hi, Catherine. Other Catherine. Catherine of Liwa. Who's over here? <gasps> Another dock... Wait a minute. If that guy was Tack, this is Tick. Was the first guy I talked to named Talk? Oh, help. Help. Sure. sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. You are so extra, I love it. Let me see. Here's money. Fine yeah, stuff. 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber. No That'll be 20,000 more after a single trip. How does that sound? Done. Done. This is all you got? Then no can do. Go look for someone in child. He's got money. Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Now oh, still no. Wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How then pay more. This? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now. Okay, and then? Get me a single chinks and single and I'll consider chinks and flower. Detour to find this. That's fine. You got no choice. Here, here's your flower. I definitely have some. I most definitely have at least one. That's pretty good. Pretty rare. I find them on the top of mountains. Didn't you know I'm mountain climb? Like literally all the time. I'm always mountain climbing. Talk to child. Oh child! Come over here. I need to talk to you. Or rather I'll come over there. Don't worry yourself, man. <gasps> String of pearls. Add it to the archive. What am I? Oh, there's water there. Oh. Hey, look at that. All finished then? Splendid. Yes. I'm all finished. But not with my dino fries. Do you think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way. I say dino fries. Dino nuggets. <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information. Love dino nuggets. And maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. Tyson Brand, chicken nuggets. Who do you need? No! Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? What else could I want? Yikes! Uh, evil. You're right! Senora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. Um, you tried to kill the animal, Arkham. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy Boo -boo. in the world. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Just keep the rest of it. Keep all this more. Up. Tick tack and talk. Yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, let's head over in this direction and continue on with this quest. More Liwa World quests, story quests, I guess. Not world quests. Keep on a going, Barbara. As I take another bite of the Stegosaurus.
It's a good dinosaur. <laughs> Children playing, fish swimming. Ah, what a beautiful town. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Go up here. Hello. Where are you? Reception is deserted. And it seems it's very spooky. spooky in here. Hello. Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? Oh, who are you? Did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. Check it out. And Zymon will Is she just too short to come up to the counter? Because I get it. I'm pretty short. Hello. Hello. <gasps> A child! But not the child. Hello there. Hi, small one. Is she a zombie? Why would you think she's a zombie? Joke's on you. Paimon floats, so height is no restriction. This is true. Paimon does float. We don't know why, but we're not going to question it. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing? Yeah, their eyes are pink. It can't be. And they've got a vision too. A zombie? Welcome no. to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, oh? Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Oh? Alright. I'm just gonna accept this as true now. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? What is up with this? Sure, Chichu. Your prescription is needed to purchase everlasting Hello, Arp. Incense. It's not a I'm just enjoying substance. some chicken nuggies. Chichu can get your medicine. Some chicken nuggies but shaped like dinosaurs. Chichu your prescription. These are Welcome. Chichi's orders from Chichi. Chichi's orders from Chichi? Zombies what does that mean for the rest of us? The Do you have any Chichi orders from Zongli? Or Chichi orders from Cameron? Issues her own orders to and why are you so nonchalantly talking Chichi, about the fact that you're a zombie? A prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting Oh, ah, good chicken dino nuggets. I'm great. Thank you for asking. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. It's been a lovely day so far. I started, let's see. I started my morning off helping my dearest with her schoolwork. I was able to also have pumpkin chocolate chip muffins for breakfast. My mom popped on chat for a little while. That was awesome, I guess. And chicken dino nuggies. And tea. It's it's really been a... It's really good. It's been a really good day so far. And I'm glad your day has been good as well. I'm very good. That's very good. I'm Mount Tianhung. The ballista. Hunt the cocoa goat. I'll hunt the cocoa boat. And now I'm going to hunt the cocoa goat. So I guess the day couldn't really get any better. In terms of what's currently going on wrong around here. In addition to that, the week has been good. I've been very productive. I managed to get my 3D printer working. And it, everything's just working out really well. Everything's, lurking, everything's turning up daisies around here. I like that. Things are good. I can 3D print things again. I don't know what I'm going to print. Actually, I have a friend who has a couple of requests, so I'm going to start printing those for him. But I'm going to start printing them tomorrow. So it will take about 10 hours, and I want to keep a watchful eye over this thing. I know that there's a problem with the thermistor, so it might be blah. Yeah. Saw me on the co-op mode thing. Yeah, yeah! Oh, so you saw the link! That's wonderful! Yeah! Is co-op mode on right now? I'm doing story quests, so maybe I popped on for a hot second. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm doing some uh, story quests. Otherwise, I'd be happy to have people on and whatnot, but I think you can't really do the story quests, some of the story quests on co-op mode, so I'd feel so terrible just kicking people up like, uh, oh, sorry, story quest time. But, uh, yeah, I'm on pretty often, so 
Very well then. Pop around a bit. Let's I, I'd right be happy to play some time. I love playing games with people. Perhaps we will find some. Yes, we'll continue on that. I play. A, let's see. I played Genshin once on co-op mode, and that was really fun. I was playing my, with my buddy Matt and his girlfriend Meg. Who's also a friend of mine, naturally. Not just relation by girlfriend, but relation by also friend friend. So now, I have to go to Guizhong Ballista. Which seems to be... Oh, and the co-op mode is on, so I guess... Interesting. So this world quest... Some world quests allow it, and some world quests don't. That's confusing. Well, welcome to the party there, Arp. In recognition of your follow, I put on party hat for you. So this is what we'll do. I'll remove this regular hat... Don't need that, no problem. Don't need that. I'm put on the regular party hat. This is what we do around here. Because it's always a party. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see. Oop. Have to adjust my headphones. There we go. On to Guizhong Ballista. Going up the mountain, I suppose. I have never heard a place referred to as Ballista. Oh, there's a quest over here. What's going on? Is somebody, uh, is somebody in danger? Is somebody in danger of enemies and stuff? Oh, no? What's going on? Hello? Oh, a whopper flower. Oh, a couple of whopper flowers. Well, I guess that's the quest then, isn't it? Yeah, let's take care of you. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do this with my better party because I've been having issues. Nope, no, no, nope, nope. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Switch party? Switch party? No, stop. I want to switch party. I want the other guys. Okay, fine. I guess we're doing this. And that's just how it's gonna be. I have yet to optimize the artifacts of this particular party, so they're, they're not very good for fighting. It takes a long time for these level 33, like, uh, enemies. They will be defeated, but it will take a while. It'll take a little bit. Come on now. Come on. Let's use Ventability. Come on, Ventability. Yeah, you're the, you're the powerhouse. Come here, Venti. Yeah! Swirl ability! Get him! Yeah, do that. We like we, we like seeing that. We like seeing that around here. And now, let's get your fire up. Where'd you go? Oh, you're gone. And you're over here. Where'd the other one go? Did I go too far away from where the location was? Yeah, maybe I should... Okay, well, you're gonna follow me anyway. So come back in here. Okay. Nope, still can't do it. Okay, so we're back now, and everyone's fully healed, but that's okay. I'm prepared to fight the good battle now. I'm prepared to fight the good fight. Okay, come over here. Out of the... Come on. Out of the water. Come on. There's one of y'all. What about the second one? Oh, you got long range. My god. I didn't realize how long a range you had on that thing. Jeez. I've broken your thing. All right. All right. And ventability. Think you can get away? And then let's go over here and attempt to do good things. Firepower, 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 fire. everything's on fire. And now this one. Yes. That's the way we do it. Perfection. Yeah, I got them down to like half health. That's okay. Let's, uh, let's do the freezy breathing now. Might as well. Oh, that's, that popped up fast. Well, I know you're icy, but you know what? It'll work nonetheless. And let's get some heals in here, because... Jin Yang is looking a little down on her luck. Yes! Melt them. Melt them good. Melt them. Melt them good. Da 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 da. Melt that whopper flower. Ow, meow. Firepower? Yeah, firepower, firepower. I'll take care of this one, and then Chong Yun will take care of the other one. Yep, did I do it? Yeah! All right, do your thing. Do you th nope, don't freeze yourself. I, no, that's not what I meant when I said do your thing. Chong. Chong, buddy. Buddy. Chong, come on. Kids. What are you going to do with them? Venti's going to have to clean things up. Mr. Anima Archon over here. All right. Okay, that took more effort than was totally necessary. Oh, back to the other party. I forgot to switch. Forgot I was going back out to the adventure of the world. Same level, just better character combination, I think. Oh, wait, I never actually looked for... Oh. Well, apparently that wasn't enough to open up the chest, so I guess I need those sealies. I definitely saw a sealie around the corner, but there's probably... Whoa, this is cool looking. 
Hey. A little crevice. I like that. There's the ceiling. And some mint. Mint is good. Mint very good. Alright, take me to your home. Take me to your home. Yes. Follow you through the crevice. What a cute little area. Whoops, okay. Come on, you got it. There you go. Yeah. Take me to your home. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? That's probably... I see... I see little... I see little towers up there. I gotta set shit on fire. It's one of those quests. Alrighty then. I see what's happening here. There. And whatever else is going on down here. There's one. And there's probably more. There's one up there. Could probably use amber for this, but you know what? Nah. Wait for that stamina to recharge. And then... Oh, that might be a bit of trouble. That's okay. The quest is above? Oh, what? Oh! Thanks for that! I'll check that out after I get this quest, this uh, chest then. Nice. Interesting. That is exactly like me to be like, Oh, quest must be over here. Look at the, all this fun stuff to do. I'm gonna do that instead. And then the quest will be something completely different. Let's see, let's unlock this other one. Oh, chest, look at that. Where's this other thing, though? Where are you? Where's the other totem? I've decided, I've, I've resorted to calling it a totem. Oh, come on. Come on. It's a show, a little arrow if it's above or below. Oh, it's a, ha, I see the arrow now. You're totally right, look at that. I forgot about that. That's convenient. Did I do it? No, there's apparently more. Is there more? There must be more. Hey, look, a tablet! Nice. The Guizhong Ballista is an intricate machine of divine conception, and it can could only come to fruition by the hands of mortal craftsmen through a tremendous degree of toil. Likewise, only through painstaking maintenance can it remain a truly mighty weapon. After centuries of peace in the land, should that ancient evil rear its ugly head and plunge the world into war once more, these spare parts shall be needed, and a craftsman of suitable caliber and character must be summoned to collect them. A note to the collector. The structural parts, namely the beams and bow limbs, will all be found folded and stacked in the storage room, robust and treated with lacquer. One may rest assured that they will remain completely intact for a millennium. As for the finely crafted parts, such as the trigger, fasteners, fletchings, bowstring, and so on and so forth, these will be found in a dedicated container. Please take that which you need. This machine is integral to the defense of this land against its most formidable foes. Cherish each part as if it belonged to your own body, and perform your solemn repair duties with the utmost devotion. Cursed be you anyone who disgraced the history of this great machine by taking shortcuts in their work. That was a lot for that small tablet. There are not a lot of characters on there. Damn. Alright, well, where's this other... There must be one more totem thing. Well, where could it be? And we'll find that before going to the quest down below. Perhaps it's in these little corridors. Or perhaps not. Hmm... Perhaps it's over here. Perhaps it's outside, and I just missed it. Oh, there's a the joculus around here. Hmm. Maybe it's up on top. Oh wait, I see a little entrance over there. Hmm. I do like me a nice puzzle. Okay. One, two, three. That apparently wasn't all of them. Maybe there's one in the little area that I came in from. I didn't exactly take a close look at that. Uh, I don't see any. Alright. But they're good. That or I'm heading in the complete opposite direction of where it's supposed to be. Which would also not be surprising for me. I don't see it outside. No, I don't see it. My goodness. Well, you know, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I've got a questy thing to do. Do, 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 do. Wha? Huh? There we go. Go get him, Xiangling. You got this. Up the slope you go. Up the slope you go. And it's over here. Oh, looks like there's enemies? Probably. Oh, hello, you. Ooh, a lily. Day's lily. Hello, childish Jiang. 
so bored, need someone to play with. What are you up to? Mom and Dad don't have time to come home and play with me, so I have to play here all by myself. But it's so boring playing with only one person. Also, I can't stray too far from home, otherwise Mom and Dad wouldn't be able to find me when they go back. And then they'd start worrying. Do you want to play with me? We can play hide and seek. It's really easy. Anyone can play it. Yes. Let's play hide and seek. Let the game begin. Um, but give me a second first. I haven't thought of where to hide. Okay, I got it. Ha! Huh, you'll never find me. Want to bet? I'm ready. Get ready, set, go. Okay, where is... I got the sweet flower. Okay, find Childish Jiang. Okay, I have to go down there, I guess. Oh, that's for the other quest. Okay, never mind. Alright, so I have to find him up here. Where are you, buddy? Are you hiding in the bushes? It'd be funny if you're hiding in a bush. I have a minute to find him. Oh, found you. <laughs> this is fun. Hey, little buddy. Oh, you found me. Was it that obvious? Yeah. Really? How could that be? When I hid here, even my father couldn't find me. Oh, we've only just begun. I haven't used my full power yet. Your full power. Oh, let's play. Excuse me while I plug in my headphones. I must plug myself into the matrix such that I don't run out of power. Oops. There we go. Okie dokie then. Let's do it again then. Hide again. Start. Pick up berries. Then continue. Oh, uh, where are you, buddy? Oh, you're hiding behind a tree. That's that's cute. Hey, buddy. You found me! Huh, was I well hidden or what? This is my secret hiding place. Even mommy can't find me here. This does not hide you completely. No offense, bro. I don't believe you. I'm tiny. This tree hides me perfectly. Even daddy said so. My dad's really tall and it even hides him. There's no way it could hide from him but not me. Anyway, I guess you're really good at this game. Let's play again. This time, my daddy's a Millilith. That's wonderful. Bet you won't find me this time. All right. Let's do it again. Bet you won't find me this time. Oh, I see another one of those totems. Oh, I've been here before. And where will I find him this time? Are you up here? You're behind a bigger tree? Uh... Bro, where are you? Uh-huh. Well... I don't see you doing pretty well this far. Alrighty. Oh, I don't see him. I do not see him anywhere. Hiding behind a pillar, perhaps? No? Oh. Alrighty then. Try it again? Couldn't find me after all. Well, it's a pretty neat hiding place. Even mommy can't find me. There's no reason. So I'll have to give you a clue. My hiding place is nearby the house over there. Okay, let's do it again then. I was just over by the house. Alrighty then. Alright, I'll go towards the house then. Nearby the house. Perhaps it's behind the house. You little scamper. Hiding behind the house. You behind my behind the house? Nope, not back there apparently. Nope, stop. Go to the ground. <laughs> Alright. Is it over here? There you are. What's up? Hi there, child. Just j no, talk, talk, talk to person. What do you think about daddy's specially chosen hiding place? Pretty well hidden, right? This is where he hides from mommy. <laughs> Maybe. And there's a bunch of cool stuff that happens here too. Ultimate hiding place. All right, let's let's do this again. Let's let's keep it going. Okay. Super special secret hiding place. Where are you now? Oh, is it perhaps over here? I feel. I feel for chance it's over. Nope, that was not the right one. Oh, then that's just a wall. Alright. Uh, in the graveyard? Um. Well, those are... That's disappointing. Alright, give me a hint. Where is it? This is the ultimate hiding place, I guess. Oh, by the cliff. Look carefully. Let's give it another go. Alright. Yes, sir! By the cliff. By the cliff. Alrighty then. I just I guess I just head off in this particular direction. I saw tombstones. Are your parents dead? No. By the cliff. Look carefully. Where is where are you? Oh, there you are. You found me! Haha! <laughs> Looks like this was kinda hard work for you. I managed. A little tough. Yeah. 
This is the ultimate hiding place. Normal that finding was a challenge. Even mommy's never found this place. That's that's cool. Getting all her friends to look for me, so I hid even further inside. Oh. <laughs> she still hadn't found me. Eh, but she didn't find me. Would have found me by now after such a long time. Still, I thought mommy and daddy would have found me by now in such a long time. But anyway, thanks for playing with me. Oh. That's terrible. I think your parents are dead. Ready player zero. Nice. I have a strange feeling your parents are dead there, pal. And I'm so sorry for you. Anyway. Where'd the, uh, the rest of the thing go? Where's that other totem? I feel like I will find the totem now. With newfound appreciation, I shall find. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, totem? Ah, eh, clearly not. Well, I must... I shan't stress too much about it again. To the weapon area. But I will be on the lookout for it. Oh, I have to be... Oh, there's a little joculus over here somewhere. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey, time to take care of business. <laughs> Woo. There we go. Firm arrowhead. Nice. Alrighty. All right. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye then. Fire, 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 fire. Love my, love my jungling DPS. Very good. Taken care of? Oh, taken care of. Nice. How about you? Take care of you too. And did I do it? Oh, I gotta take care of you. You're on the bottom now. No problem. Death from above. Classic. Oh, it's in there. Look at that. Oh. Now, how does one do that? How does one get inside? Hmm. Oh, stop. Yep, there we go. And up we go. Where are you? Where'd you get? Well, I unlocked the chest, so. Oh, is that not what I needed to do? That wasn't a part of the mission at all. Where are you? Where are you? Where'd the enemies go? Oh, let's see it open. Uh, okay, so they there are some, but where are they? Oh, maybe I have to go inside of this building somehow. Yeah, I bet there's an entrance somewhere. But where? Where is the entrance? Where might you be? There we go. There must be an entrance, perhaps, on the other side? Aha! Yeah, look at that. There. There it is. You added me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll accept your friend request. Absolutely. I don't mind at all. Oh, no, click the right button. Did I do it? Yeah, I did. Nice. Arctical. Arctical. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the friendship. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the friendship. I don't mind at all. Not at all. Let's see. Okay, so it wasn't able to get in from over here, per se. But that was... I think I got the right idea. So not that. But perhaps up in the window. I can go up in the window. There we go. Maybe I can get in that way. Yes. Uh, no, that wasn't... Okay, I just... <laughs> Whoops. I merely just entered into the other side. <laughs> okay. That's silly. Okay. Uh, so maybe maybe there's a window over there as well. Or perhaps there's some other thing here that I've yet to unlock. Hmm. Oh, there's a little hole. Oh, I should have... Aha! Inside. No, let's do this the fun way. With the debate club! Yep, 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 yep. Bam. Exquisite chest. How did it take me so long to find the stairs? <laughs> really? I, I usually have much more faith in myself than that. Incredible. And now if I go downstairs, I'll get... Oh, wow, tons of chests. Cool. Oh, wrong person. There we go. And there's some down here, too. Oh, goodness. Hi there. Hi there, everybody. Wow, you're just, just going for it. But first, let me mark that on my map. I can never tell either. I could be talking to anybody, really. <laughs> the world is listening. Potentially. Let me go out and do the guy. 
And then this guy. And then the other guy. Lol, indeed. I agree completely. Technically, I don't know. Technically, I never know who's listening. The world. Didn't you, didn't you just say that? The world's always listening. There are many in the world who listen. All right, let's, let's go. Come on, burn that chest. Burn it open. Yeah. There we go. Unlock all these chests. Unlock all the chests. All right, cool. Now to actually continue on with the meat. The meat. The meat of the story. That's what I meant. It's, duh. <laughs> Let's see. If I go over here, look for Ujong Ballista. That's probably that big gun that I'm currently moving away from. Nope, nope. Go up the... No, stop. Oh. Oh, I found a firm arrowhead. That's good. Gotta climb back up this over here. The landscape of Liwe is so blocular. It's very interesting. And sometimes rather difficult to traverse. But alas. Oh, okay. It seems... Okay, go around here. Uh, up there. And then... That was the ballista mound. And then I think this is the ballista, right? Big old gun thing? Big old gun gun. Actually, that thing was off. But I'm gonna go in through the window. I bet there's something inside. What do I find inside? Wow, a bunch of chests. Nice. As a dutiful maid would. I'll take everything. Oh, wait. Didn't the sign specifically tell me only to take what I need? Mm, well, I think I'll open up all these chests. These chests are just asking to be opened. And now I'm standing on this, and the door should open. Door is open. Perfect. Anyway. Time to touch the ballista. T time to b touch the big gun! I wonder what kind of great evil- It's a giant crossbow. Check. 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 It is huge! It's a big old crossbow! Um, I don't know. Why don't you pull back the thing, and then- It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, sorry, crossbow done broke. Come back next time. I believe it. I mean, I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really look like... It doesn't really look like something an Adeptus would build. I mean, there's no, like, fancy glowing auras and stuff, but maybe it is. You almost make it sound like some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. That is indeed what I thought you to be. Let me think for a moment. But yeah, tell me more about the. Ah, yes. The Spare ballista. parts were made for the Guizhong ballista when it was first built. Guizhong, that's how you pronounce that. that. Guizhong. As I recall. I thought it was Guizhong. Military supply post from Guizhong. That somewhere inside the past. Yeah, we just have to go to the. You know, we have to go to that place that the stone tablet was telling us about. We may be able to Mike, repair the Guizhong. And find all the pieces and repair the device. I'm not sure why we're repairing the device. I mean, somebody did kill so, Rex Lapis. So there's definitely an enemy around here somewhere. I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. Smattering of knowledge. That's a very interesting way to put that. <laughs> I have a smattering of knowledge, so to speak. Retrieve spare parts. The military outpost. Look for the quest objective in this area. Was I just in the area? Supply post. Here, it's right, it's right here. Take materials. Repair the Guizhong Ballista. I shall. Guizhong Ballista Maintenance Material. How are we supposed to build it? With the, with maintenance material. Repair. All right. Pew! Right? These parts look useful. Do they? One moment. I will try to repair the device. I will try to repair the device. Does that mean you're an Adepti? Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Is it so? It's not just, you see, it's not just pieces of metal, wood, stone and string it's magic it even has a scope that's cool what are you looking for what do you think you're doing over there we have nothing over there we have nothing and over here is oh people who have been standing there the entire time exactly not a turret i don't know a guizhong ballista also, 
Kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. <laughs> Hi there, my name's Freckle. Uh, these are my pals, and what are you doing with the gun? Old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasure. You're calling him old? Look, he doesn't look that old. He doesn't have a freckle on his face. It's beautiful. He's more well dressed than you guys are. Oh, yeah? What is those? Their fingers are all like grimy and stuff because they're probably taking their hands in the dirt. Which amazingly we managed. Absolutely and then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it. Yep, we did. You'll be repairing is your faces. And that's if you get out of this. Oh, box. oh, that's clever. The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces. Like, all oh, right, dude. Could you come up with anything better than that? Disgraceful behavior. It is very we who need reprimanding, but you. You're coming off a little patronizingly there, buddy, but you know what? It's okay. You're defending the glory of the Adepti, which I'm pretty sure you're one of them. Get out of here. And let's send the rest of y'all flying off the edge, which I'm probably going to have to come by and... Oh, stop. Probably going to have to take care of you later. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, off the edge. There we go. Yeah, they're still on the ground. I gotta take care of them. Lame. I can't just let them fall to their doom as their necks break, crack, and arms and bones are all just nothing but sand and now. Apparently not. I have to come down and take care of them myself. Gotta do all the dirty work. All the dirty work. Come on. Oh, there was... Where's the other guy? Where'd you go? Where'd you... Where'd you go? Stop. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with you. Set on fire. Okay, and, and the other one? Wh where'd you go? Where'd you... Oh my god, I knew it. <laughs> Alright. How did you not fall from that height? That was like three or four stories. <sighs> Maybe there's something over here that's important. Hey, a chest, look at that. Okay. Who's it gonna be this time? Oh, treasure hoarder. But of course. But of course. I must leave no stone you were so annoying. Okay, chest time. Then go back up to the top. Yes. And then we'll, I don't know, take care of that. Back up to the top. Back up to the top. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Ah, jeez. I'll catch up. Let's try to go to the top again. Nope, stop. Stop. No, well. We talked about this. No, stop. No, why would you do that? Oh, my goodness. Breathe. Just breathe. Breathe, Noel. You'll make it to the top. The pain and suffering that I do for quests. Jeez, the thing I do for world quests. Story quests. That's the duty of the the duty of the protag. Duty of the protag. Hey guys, yeah, I finally made it up. Surprised to see me. I am. Come on, just, just do the. Yep, just there. There we go. Yep, just like that. You know what? No, no, you guys can come over here and fight me, so I don't have to come down and fight you again. Stop that. You know, just fire. Swirl ability. And swirl attack. Just just die, everybody. Die. Die to die to die to die die die. Die. You just throw fire at me? You insignificant worm. Is what I would say if I were evil. Have a little taste. Have a little taste of what? What's there? What is there to taste? Come on, no, stop. You have some. I, I gotta say, you got some fiery kicks there. I gotta say, that's that's impressive for you for a treasure order. Very impressive. All right, wave three. Right, wave wave three. More enemies incoming. Yes, yes they are. Alrighty, go get him. 
Go get him there, pal. Yeah. And the other guy. Two with the hammer. What's up there, Thor? Can I call you Thor? You're weirding a hammer like Thor would. Messing up my business. Alrighty then. And Zhongli, would you mind sending some fire out while Sucrose takes care of the rest of the business? Would really appreciate that. The power of swirl and fire and brimstone. Yes, that was lovely. Well done. Took a while, but it's there. They didn't. They really didn't know who they were messing with. But now we do. ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. We should. Let's focus on our contract. So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's the... the Coca Goat? Hey! <laughs> Gotta get the coca goat. A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby. Save for no significant usual life forms. Dude! Those those treasure hoarders, no, not significant. They were not significant enough. What's more? For the purposes a contraption of this. built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> oh? Which means What does it mean? What did I say? <laughs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo <laughs> Pharmacy. Let's Explain not rack our brains about that. And review our next step. Good idea. We did our best. We did our best. That's true, Paimon. You're absolutely right. Back to Chi Chi. Back to Chi Chi to tell her the news about the Coca Goat. Coca Goat. Coca Coca Goat. I kind of want to give this challenge over here another try. There's got to be another one around here somewhere. Another, like, little totem thing. But I know not where it is. Maybe if I just look more creatively, I will find it. Got the ceiling, and that wasn't it. Things on the walls. There was one up there. That one's already activated. Is there one over here? Like, oh, there you are. Look at that. Hanging in the corner. Is there anything secret over here? Oh, I would have found it eventually. I was just hiding in the bushes. Oh, well, now it's not hidden by the bushes at all. Sweet! That makes me feel happy. Another quest. Another special thing completed. And it looks like I might reach Adventure Rank 30 by the end of the stream. Yes! Hashtag goals. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Oh, Coca Goo? Something happened. I don't know what happened. Screen went black for a hot second. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Chi Chi! I couldn't find the coca goat! Help me! Help me, Chi Chi. Hello, buddy. Hi there, little girl. Tell me. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. Maybe you are the Coco Goat. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Oh, Do you though? Chi -chi? Why, <laughs> Why do I feel so guilty all of a sudden? Well, maybe because you just let down a little girl. Coco Goat Hopes and dreams shattered. So... Tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. So it was all about the taste of some milk. Only an adepta beast could make such tasty all right. milk. I'm sorry. Alright. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I The name of the milk? Down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut, Coconut milk. Nut milk. Huh? Oh. I owe That's you funny. Both an apology. I hastily <laughs> Alrighty then. I needed coconut milk, which obviously comes from the cocoa goat. No. No, it doesn't. You didn't know. As the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and And so how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. <laughs> Literally nobody could have seen this. Nobody would have thought, oh, Excuse coconut me, comes from the cocoa goat. Oh, no! Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave 
would be the coconut goke. That's funny. <laughs> it's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. Impossible. No! It's impossible! There's no way that coconut milk could come from something other than a cocoa goat! Oh, you poor child. It's okay. It's okay. We forgive you. Someone learned Yo, who are you? Life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Oh? Might I ask who? Ah, oh, who are you? Baiju? Boss of the Boo Boo Baiju. Nice, dude! You've got a little white snake. That is so cute. Oh my God! Look at the snake. That's such a cute little snake. It's like it like reminds me of Ayame from. Fruits Basket is like my favorite character from that anime. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, it's so cute! That, that, that cute little snakey there! Oh, I love small animals! Oh, talking. Oh, the talk snake talks. I prefer to stay silent, but and it talks! They must speak. Oh my god, it talks! It's a talking white snake! Oh, it gets even better. I didn't think this could get any better. That's so cute! Wow. That's great. I love that. She's a good girl. Really. Chungshan. Chungshan is a good girl. And she's a good girl, too. Oh my god, it keeps getting better. White snake. Talks. Cute. Good girl. You've got it all. Chungshan, you've got it all, man. Girl, you got it. You, I, I can see you win. You've won Genshin Impact, Chungshan. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Three million? Yeah, go for it. Child's probably get that money. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What do you do? Innocuous number. Innocuous, number Innocuous, that's a big word. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. Three million more? Yeah, I think I've been walking around with 200,000 for a while now. I'm spending it all on various different objects, such as goat, milk, cheese, <laughs> This rocks, uh, among other things. This is correct. No shame. What no shame. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Crawl back to child. Twenty minutes later, as I crawl back to child. <laughs> that was comedy. That was good. Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, let's laugh. Fell for it. What do you mean, fell for it? It was an honest mistake. She didn't even mention coconut milk. She just said cocoa goat. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get That's so stupid. Ha! I can't believe you fell for cocoa goat. I mean, matters of the adepti. How? How could I know? Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk. The Patui could help by setting up a robust and speedy that. distribution network. Just cannot believe that. It is absolutely incredible. I this whole Coco Goat scandal. With seductive deals, but seductive deals. Oh my god. The snake has quite the vocabulary, too. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. Can give, give you a discount. A discount on that incense too. I'll save Let's you ten thousand mora. mora. It is. It is a rather small difference, Paimon. You are correct mm -hmm. about that. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically. Speaking, That's a whole ten thousand less than the original sum. The original That's sum. pretty odd, huh? Now that this is settled. We must head back to Mr. Yuji Child, Dr. Baiju. Mr. Child, Baiju. Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi. See you soon. See you soon. Bye bye, I guess. Well, that was a lot of money. But I'm sure the Fatui's got all that. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, oh, well, that's good. Eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Oh, I'm sorry? Yes, Master Child. Ekaterina. 
Well, well, well. Maybe they were collecting information. They were spying on us. You, you sneaky, 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 sneaky. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Neo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Well, I mean, yeah, Paima, you were warned already to stop talking about that stuff, but eh, whatever. Put the everlasting influence in place. So let's do that. Put it right up in place. Teeth squirrel. That's interesting. Well, then, time to go put it in place, I guess. <laughs> time to go put the incense where it belongs. This is one big, crazy treasure hunt. I suppose I'm, inter I'm learning interesting things, like... Teapots can have entire dimensions on the inside of them. Um, incense can be everlasting. And cocoa goats are, in fact, not creatures of Tevat. So, there's that. I learn new things every day. Alright, Zhongli, tell me how to do. As it stands, we've hired help. Tell me how to do. I want to know. I want to know how to do. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Not far off at all. Finally. Have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Well, this has been a rather odd adventure. Odd. I'm not sure if we'd be living the high life. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Rays are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. Leave you to ruminate it over as yourself to as, to your re as to remuneration for your help. To treat you to a meal. Treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, yes. Don't worry. I will remember to bring. I definitely did not have a chance to click a click an Tonight, auction that time. I shall take you both to an old hole like, in the wall. Old hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. It's a hole in the wall. It's a dirty fee for all. Where they take it off when they t or. They turn me on when they take it off, when they take it off. Everybody take it off! That's a Kesha song. World level increased to three. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Glenny boy tells me he's free. Oh. I gotta let the boy, gotta let the boy know. I gotta let my Glenny boy know. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Call around 6.30. That's one of my bros. We're gonna play some more Soul Worker tonight. The gang's coming back together. Wait until the appointed time. Oh, okay. I forgot I could wait on this. Wait. Wait. How do I wait again? Uh, how do I wait again? I know there's a way to do that. Feedback quest. Oh, there it is. Time. Till like 8 o'clock, I think they said, right? Wait, what was the time I need to do? Wait until 18 to 23. Gotcha. Gotcha. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Now we go. Adjustments must be greater than 30 minutes. Alright, cool. I have waited. I've waited for this. Uh, third round knockout. Let's go get him. Let's go get something to eat. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Let's see. Gotta consider what the last thing that I'll do is. I'm gonna probably keep working on some story quests for maybe like, maybe like another hour. Because I gotta make sure I have even enough time for dinner. Anna and I are ordering Domino's tonight before we do our little soul worker soiree with Glenn and Matt. That'll be fun. Oh, time to sit down. Time to sit down. Time to sit down. Let me sit down. There we go. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. I've already got all the good stuff. Knockout is not for lightweights like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here. The owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. <laughs> unorthodox orders? We only serve the finest stuff here. You come here and you there are three items on the menu and you pick one of them. That's how we do our food over here in Liwe. Interesting. Fermented rice... Wine fermented rice balls. Nice. If it is to your liking, dear customers, 
I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Jade Chamber? There's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Yeah, tell me about the story. I want to know about your story. Ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tibet Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. Tell me more. Tell me more, Iron Tongue Chan. Lies a pavilion in the clouds. That's true. We've seen it. Oh yeah. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This. Lady Ningguang's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. What? What Imagine, is? Is that the big palace? The weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. I like the storytelling aspect Behold, of it. The Pretty good. The glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. Is that supposed to be the view from the top of the palace? Oh, it's big old story time! Look they at that. Say that when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs. She retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why right. brings she these trusted three to sit to talk politics in a speakeasy manner? Documents looking for information. Piece Pretty by cool. piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. What have you got? Having made her call, she has every last document shredded. And whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Uh, oh, look at that. And then what happens? Billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. But that's As literally. the fragments fall. Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. Paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. And that's the story of Lady Ningguang. I'm pretty sure she was an event character at one point. These I definitely recall the names. Of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely Where are these pieces of paper? One or two I want to see them. them. Will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom, enough to stay a step or two ahead. Could you imagine reaching up to the sky as things fall down and like, I'll grab that piece of wisdom and I'll grab that piece of wisdom and that one. Now I'm so smart. Now I'll surely pass my exams. Surely, surely. She's most likely the one who hid the exuvia, and we saw her at the rite of dissension. I guess we did, didn't we? I forgot about that. That was a few episodes ago. That was a few sessions ago. You who returned from Juyun Karst. I'm sorry. Pama, we gotta go. Excuse me. I am not with the Millerith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name Ganyu. is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion. Nice to meet you. And I have come specifically to meet you. Okay. Secretary? In concrete terms, I am the corporate, corporate secretary. secretary. Aha! That's completely moment, different, yet very similar. Special emissary. Oh. You we mean the person of stories that we were just being told about. Well, that's My pretty cool. Apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She That's invites cool. you to her palace in the sky. Hey, I was wondering how to get up to the seventh palace in the sky. Lady now I know. Said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. <gasps> he can only meet me. Snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Snip, 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 snap. Wow, pretty cool. Farewell, Archaic Lord. Quest completed. Pretty cool. The emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. Yo, what's up, Lycos? I was just talking about you. As I always do. I'm looking forward to our soul worker in tonight. It's gonna be fun. 
It's gonna be real fun. Uh, best manners. I always mind my manners. What are you talking about? To visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best oh, what kind of exam way. was that? But don't what class was that for? Right I, I hope you did well on it. At the Jade All of my positive energies in your general direction. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Now, now that I'm at Adventure Rank 30, my world level went up. Oh, available from rank to rank 35. Well, there's at least one other quest that I can do. So I'm going to wind up doing that. Financial management. And you did well. Yes, Glenn. High five. Nice. I'm happy about that. Rank 30. Yeah. Celebrate time. That's awesome. I know I have at least one other um, story quest that's still being be done. And I want to check the Adventurer's Guild because I think my world might be able to go up in rank and i think there's a quest that i have to do for that so let's let's talk about that claim adventure rank awards yes ta-da favorite story stuff is at 35 i am looking forward to it i love it 30 is oh auto level okay thank you for that i i see that okay wardrobes upgraded max rank rank increased to 35 level increased i guess venture rank too low how can i tell when it's like a story rank quest i mean i guess there's somewhere for that that's cool good to know that i was i was literally about to incessantly like check around to see like where's my level up quest where is it so thank you for warning me <laughs> here you are i can see you've been on quite a few adventures recently as it happens i do have some matters that require an experienced adventuring hand to resolve if you're interested go look for tian shen i've delegated the task of distributing commissions to her what about you? Me? Nothing's come up that interests me so far, and at a time like this, the Adventurer's Guild needs someone to hold the fort. All right, then. If you'd like to take this task on, go look for Tian Chen. She needs to grow up sometime anyway. Gotcha. 35 is test. 40 auto. 45 test. 50 test. 55 test. Nice. Next test at 35. I look forward to it. All right, well, there's that thing, but I want to do this other world quest instead. Or this other bookworm swordsman. Calm before the storm. That was the other one. That's the one about Gentry Maokai. Excuse me. So let's head on that way. Head on into that direction. That's what I have to do. I have to purchase all of the core lapis from the chasm. That's what I have to do next for that one. Looking forward to it. Let's do that. Let's go over. Let's go over there. Bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum. I wonder if I can complete that before, uh, like... Four ish, four o'clock ish. Maybe I'll go full to. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll go up until like four thirty or so, because I want to make sure I have some time for dinner before uh, Lycos Final Rhapsody Disney Queen and I go have a wonderful, wonderful time. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Uh, the report also mentioned that zipping. Do you need anything from me? I'd like to ask you to head to Chiangqui Valley, investigate a huge cavern in great numbers, to the guild, and more guilds, and oh, right there, and this, that, and the other thing, and Drio Geovichaps, and wow, there's so much going on! Rampage, and stuff like this, and deep slumber, and I've defeated a Geovichap before, that shouldn't really be difficult. That shouldn't be difficult. Oh, did I do it? No restoring this past land of beauty. Quest completed. Oh. Well, uh, look at that! Sweet! Looks like I did exactly what he needed me to do already and defeated the Geo Bishop. If that's indeed what it was that it was about to ask me to do. We shall see. Oh, there's a Sealy up there. I'm gonna go investigate. Investigato. Hello, 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 Harry. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Oh, what are you doing down here? It's a woman! A writer. Oh, woo you in. I thought that said woman. Time to talk to Sealy. How dare I not be doing sparked work? Oh, curses! It's a s Friday! Goodness. Curse me, I guess. Guess I won't be paid. Or, I mean, I will be paid for the stuff that I have done. So I'm happy about that. How dare you not be- Were you doing sparked work? How dare you not be doing sparked work? How dare, how dare, how dare? You certainly don't have anything better to do. Oh, you are doing sparked work. Are you doing sparked work? Well, you are my superior, Harry. You, you deserve that. You deserve the work to do. I'm sure you enjoy it. You're learning so many new things. It's great. You get paid for it. You have such a reputation. And you're bored, so. Might as well pass the time some by. 
I was rather bored too. I did a, I did a lot of stuff throughout this week, including quite a bit of sparked work. So uh, this is a, one of my ways to reward myself. That and I have been at Sparked for longer than you. But remember, remember, there was that one week where everyone decided what rank everyone would be. And you certainly did better than I did. I had finals that week, so I really couldn't do much anyway. That's why I'm still at a lower level. A lower support level. So that's why. You, uh, you came in at just the... You came at literally the perfect time. Like, that was the time to get that promotion. So, good. Good on you. Honestly, people like you deserve it more than people like me. I mean, you probably got more time to spend on that stuff. I remember starting there, and I remember during my interview, I was like, so I'm doing schoolwork and stuff. So is there a lot that needs to be done? Like, what kind of level of stuff is expected? Like, and, and the way it was put to me was like, well, you do what you can, but you try to do better each month than you did in the previous month. And I think I've been able to do that. So I'm definitely checking all the boxes on my employment papers. Uh, Chasm. I have to go to Chasm. Continuing on to Chasm. And I enjoy it. I really enjoy the work that I do. I like offer- I like to help people out. I love all that stuff. It's good stuff. GG. GG. It's good stuff. And I really enjoy the stuff that I do for there. So, it's a- it's, it's fun. I like to help- I, I honestly- I love to help people out if I can. I love to kind of find more things about- Find out more things about the stuff that I use on a daily basis, for example. It's a lot of Minecraft work and stuff, and I learn new things about Minecraft. So much to the point where I'm finally, I haven't touched the, the mod pack that I've been playing on has remained more or less untouched for the entire time that I've been playing it. But as I've been becoming more and more comfortable with like mods and stuff, as I work more with them for the Spark, stuff that I do for Spark, I'm more confident to be able to modify things on my own, and I've actually made a few tweaks to the server files and stuff. And the mod pack itself to add like what I want to it in the game. Because I'm like, oh, this is missing. I can add it if I just put in X amount of effort. And I've been able to do that. And it's been actually kind of fun. So like, you know, you learn something new every day. And uh, I think that's the best part about it. <laughs> Becoming the big brain. Yeah. I mean, I'd consider yeah, I got some pretty big brain already. I mean, huh. I'm going to college after all. I must have some sizable mass inside my inside my head. That or daddy's money. But no, daddy's money is not the reason why I go to college because daddy doesn't have that much money. I have more money than daddy do. <laughs> Took a look at your GitHub a couple of days ago. Oh really? Yeah. Passed out. Honestly, so I I, I gotta say the don't let the repositories fool you like. A lot of that stuff is, it was done in a three-month period and just all the work I did for those classes. And I more or less put them up so that people who come after me can have a reference point. Because uh, one of my other buddies, one of my fraternity brothers, also has his work up on his GitHub. And it's so funny. It's all for, it's for one of the classes that we both took together with uh, actually the advisor who we have for my senior design project. And people are always looking at that repository because the, 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 the assignment in that class was rather difficult at the time. It's since been, it's since become a lot easier since then. But people would, every, about the same time, every six months, three, six months, there'd always be spikes on that repository of his. And people were always finding help for things like that. And they'd be asking him questions and stuff like that. And I thought to myself, well, you know, what I usually do too is I take, anytime I have like tests and stuff from classes, I put that stuff up on a, like a private, um, on a private little Google Drive somewhere so that my fraternity brothers and I can take a look at things if necessary. And I would happily give it to anybody who would ask for those because I want to help out with stuff like that. And so I hope to do the same with all that code stuff too in case anybody struggles. What area of MC are my most confident at? Like, area? Uh, playing the game, I guess, honestly. That and being able to look at, um, like, uh debugging stuff like if there's if there's an error somewhere i feel relatively confident that i can take care of it or see what the the problem is like ah yeah when the work stuff i'd say it's honestly let's see regarding that i don't know i'd say i feel confident doing modded stuff more so than i guess other people would and i enjoy doing that stuff the most part i like being able to install mod packs and to be able to see like what other mods are out there to get ideas of my own for what i might want for mine and what the hell with the oh there you are found you oh, gotta get the gotta get the balloons that's what i think and honestly i wouldn't say that i'm as good at mod stuff as other people would be like other people who also work for us but 
I would say it's definitely better than where I was previously, and that's why I, that's why I'd say that's my specialty. That and like I can code in Java, I guess. So if I ever needed to make changes, I suppose that I have the proper resources to do so. But I've never, act to be perfectly honest, I have no idea how I would even go about changing the Java of a Minecraft file anyway, because I think it's all just compiled in jar files. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know how to decompile those or where to find the source code for it. But I'm sure a quick Google search would reveal that to me, like, pretty much instantly. Did I not get that waypoint up there? Wow, didn't I just go to there? Oh, that's incredible. Let's unlock this thing. Let's see. Ah! If you ever want to learn, fire a DM. Let's see about that. Yeah. Oh, uh, current party is lower than recommended. All right, well, I won't do that then. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to drop you a DM at some point. I'm curious about that. Because, like, to my knowledge, any time... One of my buddies, actually, from college, um, actually did some Minecraft-based things for his senior capstone project. And so he used something called... Uh, oh, my God, what's it called? I don't remember. MC... MC Modder or something like that, maybe? And that's how he developed a mod for his, uh, a mod for Minecraft for his Cedar Design project. His project was actually pretty interesting. What he did was, he was with a, uh, a professor who loves to play. This professor loves to brag about the fact that he gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning and plays Skyrim on the regular, so that's a little bit of context there. But so his project was to be able to connect renewable resource stuff like tiny wind turbine or a tiny little hydroelectric generator to your computer and then have it like build a house in minecraft that the equivalent wind power source would be able to power so it's uh, pretty cool that's like using scratch i guess coded mods before all right that makes sense i don't like is scratch a block coding language i think or is it is it uh, thinking something completely different perhaps but i'm not i've never been a fan of block coding if that happens to be block coding i have never been a fan of that the only time that i've ever had to do that was for like the lego mindstorm stuff that i did my freshman year of college and and like i don't i don't really like it and the reason why i don't like it is because there's a certain level of control that i don't have over the code so i love doing the mindstorm stuff i wish i wish i would have been able to like in the class i tried to do the c development stuff but i just never got around to it callus wrong chat oh no problem art don't worry. No worries about it. Callus! Callus like the calluses on my feet and hands from doing pull-ups when I go to the bathroom. I have a little, a little pull-up bar over my bathroom door, so I tax myself before I go in there with a couple of pull-ups. Python, Python, you're a Python fanboy. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Python's cool. Python's cool. Python was really, really... I actually did not know how to code Python for the longest time. I mained Java, and then... Then, so I learned Java in high school, uh, and I really didn't know a lot about it, but it was the one language that I knew, so I stuck with it. And then I got to college, and they started teaching me about a language called MATLAB, which is cool. It's very math-based. Unless you needed to do, like, intense mathematical calculations, you would never need to use MATLAB. And then, spontaneously, our college decided, you know what, we're going to stop teaching people MATLAB because you have to pay for that stuff and you're not going to use it in the industry anyway. We're going to teach people Python. And then I learned Python. It was very easy to pick up. And if I ever wanted to work on a project, hit you up. Oh, sure. Yeah. Honestly, the biggest problem that I have, the biggest problem that I have with anything is motivation. And what I mean by that is I just, I may think of something and unless I really have a reason to do it, I'll just be like, eh, but I won't do that because I don't really want to. So, like, Discord bot would be something cool, but then, then the question becomes, like, what kind of Discord bot would you make? Like, what, what would I have use for a Discord bot for? I've never made one, personally, uh, but, you know, that'd be a pretty cool project one day. It's, the, it's, it's always a question of, like, oh, well, why am I doing this? Do I want to do this? What, what's, what's the reason for doing so? So, usually it's a matter of, I usually need somebody else to let me know, like, hey, we have motivation for this. I want you to help me out with it. And I will be the person who's just like, yes, I'll happily help you with that. I would love to develop. I'd love to help you with that. So much to a point where I've been helping, um, uh, I've got two friends of mine as well, uh, Pepper and Matt. Matt's popped on here a couple of times and he asked me to help him, him uh, with a game that, that they've been working on. And so he's got a mock-up of it in Tabletop Simulator, but I've been trying to do some back-end work in Python to get that thing running. It's called Solace, and we've been working on it for a little while now, and it's, it's fun stuff. 
I've never made a Discord bot. You can code them like in any language, Java, Python. You use Python for the Discord bots. That's cool. That's cool. I figure it's one of those things where like you could code them in anything and you just have to find the correct API in the language of your choice. And that would probably make it easier for you, I'm assuming. That could be cool. Python, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I always thought actually because, I, I always thought like Python, no, sorry. I always thought that Discord bots would have to use something like Node.js or something for a web server backend because the Discord bot has to be hosted somewhere. And I suppose you'd need some sort of like web API for that, which I'm, I know that there's stuff in Python and Java and all that stuff for being able to do it for you. But then the question remains like, oh, well, where can I host the Discord bot? I believe we have just, you know, I thought that we had bot hosting services at Spark. And if I ever wanted to, I'd just do it there, honestly, because it's easy and accessible. Java Discord bots before, Python bots are easy, yeah. Or just run them on the PY file, I figure. But then I have to, like, manually start the thing. And I would need... See, you're lucky, because you've got yourself a server that I'm guessing is always on. Um, you've got a server that's always on. I don't have a computer or any sort of device that's always on, per se. Though, I've got... Honestly, I've got a Raspberry Pi around here somewhere. It's That's no excuse for me. I could literally just plug the thing in, get that started, and I just keep that running. It's incredibly low power. Like, I have no excuse for that. I totally could. And technically, I can open up a ticket, or <laughs> you just hook me up with one. I love that. I love that. Well, I might. I might. You may be receiving a DM from me. If I ever have an idea for a Discord bot, which I currently don't. <laughs> It'd be something like that. Yeah. You need a Discord first. I need, I need a Discord first. I guess. I would need a Discord server for that to run on first, anyway. All six of them are like 1% usage. <laughs> nice. Six servers? Nice. Awesome. So, may as well put them to good use. I, I totally, I totally agree with that. I hate the idea of things just laying around doing nothing. That's why... <laughs> consume! I shall consume! Let's see, I don't have any... These are the remnants of my ginger tea. There we go. Oh, that was, that was spicy. Oh, that was spicy. That was a spicy one. Yeah, because it's ginger tea. So it's very spicy. Oh, I was just about to go on to something. No, I totally, I totally feel you there. I hate the idea of things laying around and doing nothing. It's, it, this includes myself, by the way. Idle time? I'm not a fan of it. I don't like being idle about things. I'm not with it. And Disney or Queen, consume. <laughs> Work that body. Exercise 10. Exercise 10 is side leg lifts. So let's do that as I continue. I need to unplug myself for a moment. Side leg lifts. One two three four anyway i have to do 15 of these on each side. i know i know on each side i'm aware let's find this geoculus somewhere inside of here i don't know if i did 15 yet i haven't been counting where is this thing i don't know i just gotta make sure you're not doing bad form i'm not doing bad form are you investigating me and now there's the other lift See, I get to do this on, yeah. get to do this on camera. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the quest area. I can't seem to find where that geoculus is. Try and hold your body cares. still. What's that? Try and hold your body still. I'm trying to hold my body still. Right there. All right, one. It makes it more difficult. Uh, five, four, three, woo, two, one. All right, those are my side leg lifts. I worked my body. Not really. I kind of worked my body. Oh, I guess I have to fight these buddies. Oh, never mind. No, why would I sit still all the time? That'd be sad. It's been completed. She's doing the strong. Aren't you in charge of the core lapis here? Yeah, I want to buy your core lapis. I thought you might come. I hear the the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis. What do we do about that? I do have a batch of core lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours. If you name the right price. Oh, the right price indeed. I have a bad feeling about this. The price was already quite high, so... The best I could do is 7 million mora. I want... I, I think 1,000 mora is about a dollar around here, I'm guessing, because people tend to kind of throw around the whole... Oh, 15,000 mora. Like, oh, that's no big deal. It sounds like 15 bucks. So, like, $7,000. Existing agreement. Oh, shut up. Gotta be worth your while. You can take it or leave yeah. it. So if you're not buying, take it or leave, leave it. me alone. That's what I'll do. All right, all right. 
Whatever, I'll pay your price. No problem there. No problem there. Ooh, it seems I got a couple of DMs. I'll have to check that out in a little while. Oh, one swim. Aha! I see. Woohoohoo! You cheered! I'll party. I'll party hat to that. I'll stick this one on top of my existing one. I've upgraded. Let's see. Party hat upgraded. It's shiny. Shiny for money. Yeah. The party hat gets bigger. Please. Show you all you'll think it's twice. It's not even your money. Why be so funny? Only because you wanted to be first on the leaderboard. Yeah, that's right. One up Esteban and Jake. They're not here to fight with you. You are number one. Praise be. Praise be to number one. I understand. I understand. I'm sorry, please. Uh, I don't want any trouble with the guild. I don't want any trouble with the guild. There won't be any trouble, you stupid, stupid man. Several carts were ambushed by he girls. I don't know that's so. Exactly, but so hey, really, enough, enough talk. Give me the core lapis. Give me the lapis. You're worried. Why did you spend three dollars on that? I don't know. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? <laughs> to support your favorite content creator. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Search for the cart loaded with core lapis. Uh, I guess it's down there. Hmm. Support, support me. My friends support me. My coworkers support me. Ah, uh, it feels it feels good. You know what that's gonna go to? That's gonna go to my dinner with Anna tonight. We're gonna have Domino's pizza, and that'll can your contribution will not go unnoticed there, Harry Dev. Will not go unnoticed at all. It'll be put to good use to be going to a dinner. What pizzas? I don't know. Anna, what kind of pizza do you want? Yeah, we're gonna order pizza. We're ordering Domino's. Oh, we don't have to do pizza. We can do anything else from Domino's, but I think they're known for their pizza. Yeah, they are shit. That's exactly why we're ordering from Domino's, because it's a sh it's shit food. It's down the street, and they deliver, and we can't go outside. <laughs> That's why we're ordering. I don't know. Do you want to do like a meat lovers? You don't really want pizza. Well, pfft. what happened to all the shit food thing? What about chicken nuggets? They probably have nuggets. I wonder if they do like a stuffed crust thing. I haven't ordered from Domino's in a while. Yeah, but it was only three nuggets. Mind you that. Do you want nuggies tomorrow or not? Like, you no. gotta, you gotta... We have to conserve. We have you to conserve. Have if we eat all the nuggies now, then there'll be no nuggies for later. Oh. Hello, XBP UK! XBP UK has popped on to the chat. <laughs> nuggies. Freaking love nuggies. I had three dino nuggies before. It was great. This is three dino. I love it. I just, I absolutely love it. Oh, is your class not over? What are you doing over here? Oh well, I had. Okay, so the way we're working it is, I have makeup labs. Oh yeah. So like, I have to go in later on. To oh, it's the makeup stuff. So I get because you. I can't put. Uh, no offense, I can't put a hot pack on you here because I don't have the hot packs. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we don't have, have, we don't have a hot pack. We don't Nor have do I here. have an ultrasound, so I can't do that on Well, I mean, the closest thing you could get to a cold pack is, I don't know, get a plastic Ziploc bag and take some ice and put it into it, so... Uh, yeah, that would count. Uh, that would count? also do a bag of peas, which is actually colder than a typical bag For a hot pack, how about, how about, instead, what you do is you take just... Okay, so I got this. This is my idea for a hot pack. You take a Ziploc bag, fill it up with water, cheer time! And then you put that in front of a heater, and then you use that as the pack that's hot. <laughs> Cheer time! It's a party hit. It's one of the silver party hats. Okay, so you want to know how to make a hot hats. pack? Yeah, or no, sorry, it's that's nice in pack. the back of my head. So as we've been oh, told goodness. from our lovely professors, you can make a cold pack by putting, <laughs> I think it's three... Uh, Love it. Oh, three fun. parts alcohol and one part water, I want to say. Oh, no, yeah, you're totally right. I forgot about the yeah, alcohol so and water we thing. It makes the gel. That, yeah, we were joking around that we were going to bring Everclear Search to class. Search for parts loaded with Core Lapis. 
Really? Nice. Well, that my professor was, was like, yeah, I've heard it works really great with the college students. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, like the whole alcohol thing? Yeah. You well, they don't, mean, they don't mean alcohol is in, it's like, it's like drinkable drink. alcohol. Yeah, they said, no, actually, you can use drinkable alcohol. Oh, okay. You just have to know, like, your proportions. Anna, if XBP UK ever gets stabbed again, I'll catch up. Hmm. Yeah, you call can, me. Yeah, you can call Cameron. Yeah. Call me. Um, I don't know call where me. you are in the world, but he'll try and help. I'll try my best. I will offer you moral support over the phone. Yeah, that works too. That, you wouldn't be the first friend to call me in a terrible situation. I've had a lot of friends. Too. And be like, and be like, help me. <laughs> yes, Harry, yes. you can obviously, we'll run right He's over to the UK. He's from the UK, UK. Dude. yes. He's from the UK, dude. It's kind of obvious. It's kind of obvious. I mean, did you see the name, XBP UK? I don't know what XBP stands for, but I bet it's his name. Javier Wait. Bompo Paloma. It is a UK. UK, yes. I don't get these things. Isn't that right, Javier? With an it's X. Javier. It's it's not Javier, I was joking. I have no idea what does XBP stand for anything? I thought it was just like punk or something. Have, maybe X like X XB. stands for X, B stands for body, and P stands for patrol. Extra, Extra British, British Petroleum! You <laughs> oh I love that. What are these That's cards great. for the check out this cool I like them. Card. They're amazing. Extra okay. British Petroleum UK. I love that. Is that a company over there? I'm losing my party hit. There you go. Oh, I'm not. Hey, that was that was pretty slut. That was pretty clutch. Did I say sludge? I meant slut. Ah, clutch. Okay, bye, babe. <laughs> yes, you are more than welcome to call me in your time of need. I will not guarantee that I can help you, but I can guarantee that I will answer. <laughs> Jake is not amazing. Really is, but not now. You are an anger. You're amazing, Jake. Yeah, I'm sure you've done a lot of good for this world, and that's that's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, and for that, I commend your service. See, look at that! I commend your service. I commend your service. Oh, let's put another part. Ah, I threw one of my party hats out. Let's do another one! There we go. There's another one! Because they can't- because why not? You've got bits to throw around. This is exactly why you throw around bits. If I had bits, I'd be doing the same thing. I was actually completely unfamiliar with how bits worked. I thought, my original thought about what bits were was that, oh, if you throw bits at somebody, they will be added to their wallet. And I was like, I can't wait to become affiliate because then people will throw bits and then I'll be able to throw those bits at other people. But yeah, it's exactly what Harry said. It's just money. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I thought bits were more cool than that. Oh, just currency? Pfft. Pshaw. I don't need currency. Who needs this thing called currency? Where are these other things? Stop! There's too many! There's too many bits? Nah, there's never too many bits. <laughs> See, this is one of the ways to do party hits. But they're the shiny ones. Oh, there are enemies coming after me. Now it's on the back of my head. I don't know how to... These are big party hats. There we go. They're one on top of the other. I repla I replaced the color of one of them. And now there's more twine wrapped around my head. I only like six of those party hats. Well, I gotta come up with better plans. Like, I gotta come up with that. This is a competition. This is absolutely a competition. Where were you at? I'll just go and buy more... Uh, yeah, I'll just buy more party hats. Okay, I have been... Where are these other... <laughs> Order party hats from Domino's. I'll take the pizza box of Domino's, right? And then... I'll make it into a party hat. Because, like, party hats are just basically cardboard. Anna out here actually buying party hats already for me. <laughs> it's still going! <laughs> it's still going! Let's do another change of... <laughs> oh goodness we've got so many party head options yeah no wait don't touch me where is the other oh i'm in the total wrong area where are all these things of lapis there's five of them i found only three so far this is ridiculous this is ridiculous goodness gracious oh hello salamander come back here salamander no come here salamander yeah get the salamander okay okay where are these other things? It's not this cart. 
Is it that card over there? I must find more carts of gems! It's the gold that everybody craves. Where is the Why other ones? You? Okay. That's that's just another rock. That's just a regular rock! I want a different rock. How about over here? Oh, look at that! A little thing. A little challenge. I'll do that challenge. Yes. I'm the favorite employee... Favorite employee at Extra British Petroleum UK. We're rebranding, right? Spark tree branding? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Spark just didn't have that ring to it. I get it. I get it. Now it's Extra British Petroleum UK. The, the, the certain genuflection of the voice, that's a part of the trademark. I'm sure. Now where are these other carts? There's around here somewhere. There's two per car. Oh, there's another cart. Perfect. Another core lapis. Wonderful, wonderful. Where's the other one? Where's the other other one? The other 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 one. What's the other 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 one? There's so many. Where's this? Is it up on top of there? Did I check on top of this little cliff over here? Because I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Who would have a cart up here anyway? Like... Why would you push all the gems up to the top of here, only to be like, oh, guess I gotta take it down later. Where's this other cart? What the hell? Why can't this be easy? I say. Oh, well, it's certainly not down there. Maybe it's up on top of here. Frantically finding carts. Jeez, where is down here? No, I've looked all over the place. It's not this card, is it? I swear I've been to this one at least three times. Oh. Over here, perhaps? How about over here? Is it down here? Is it hidden underneath this? Nope, guess not. All right, I've definitely already been over here as well. Consume! Water. That's to remind me to drink water. Or literally anything else around. Okay. Oh, okay. Nope, it says to be over here. Salamander! Give me the salamander. Wonderful. Let's see. Okay. Is it this one? Nope. Oh! Perhaps it's that one that there are enemies currently sticking around. Do the thing! Get out of my way! 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 Rock and roll. Rock and roll, dude! What are you level- You're level 45? Oh my god, I'm underleveled for this. I need the better characters. No, 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 run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Nope, don't come after me. No, stop. Stop! I don't have the right party! Better party? Nope, can't be configured in this current state. Nope, stop, stop, don't come over here. But I know where you are. Don't let me cheat. I will not hopefully leave trap. uh, keep- No uh, words. I can't- Jeez! That spooked me. Oh my goodness. That really spooked- No, stop! Get away from me! Arr, let's see, which party had to replace- No, it fell off! Okay, that one, and then- Party heads. Highly dangerous. Okay, now I can switch my party. Nope, I still can't. Duh! See, secretly what I've been telling myself is, Oh, after these battles, I'm going to rearrange my party heads so that it's not incredibly uncomfortable, but the battle hasn't ended yet. Yes, reading party information. Yes. There we go, back to the other party. <laughs> I've run out of... No, I haven't. I still have three more metallic party hats. You know what to do? You know what? This will be the time to rearrange. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's rearrange these, right? That's right. Rearrange these, right? Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, it's wrapped around. Oh my goodness. You probably want to see this, don't you? Little crazy stuff. Goodness gracious. Okay. I've dislodged some party hats. Dislodged a couple more party hats. Thing to the side. Make sure my hair looks okay. Then. This was for the follow before. This was for the first set of bits. This was for the second cheer of bits. This is for the third cheer of bits. This is for the next cheer of bits. This was for the next cheer of bits. 
This was for the next cheer of bits. And this was for the final cheer of bits. There we go. Wow. This is a sturdy party hat. Alrighty. It's beautiful. Time to go find that stupid thing. <laughs> Back to the matter of hand. Of hand. At hand? At hand. At hand. Back to the matter at hand. Very wonderful. I am a mighty unicorn. I'm so unicorny that it's going out of the camera frame. Bitch, I'm a unicorn! Perfect. I like that. I am a pretty, pretty unicorn. And if I had my tiara, I'd be a pretty princess. Wait! I just had an idea. Quick, somebody else do something party hat worthy. I have an idea. I have a wonderfully, wonderful idea. Where's this? Oh, there you are. We were here. Yeah, it's this one. I have a wonderful idea. I have a wonderfully evil idea. Can't do that action during combat. That's fine. Let's take care of these little assholes first. That's what we'll do. Wow. There's so much. There's so much pressure from this party hat that I can feel an indent forming in my forehead. I used to think, oh, there's nothing fun about stacking party hats on top of each other. Oh, this is this is fun. My head feels so top heavy. I feel like I could kill someone with these party hats. I'll headbutt somebody and that'll be it. They'll start bleeding out all over the place. I'm like, that's what you get for messing with the unicorn. That's what we get. And kill you off. And finally, 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 DPS. Finally, grab the other one. There we go. Cart. Cart. That's a big old stash of coral lapis. I did it. Tell Shizhuang and the Strong where to find the coral lapis. Oh, so I wasn't even. Okay, I wasn't even collecting stuff from it. I was just going around being like, okay, well, that's over here. That's over there. Pretty stupid. This is your job. Why shouldn't you be counting your own lapis? Get some workers to help you out. Pay some people to help you out or something. Like, come on, bro. Can't be performed during combat. You suck! Every single one of you guys. So I'm going to conflagrate you. As in, set you all on fire. And then do that thing. Yeah. Get out of here. They'll suck. Get swirled on. Stupid, stupid treasure horrors. Y'all suck. Y'all suck. But you especially. And you too. What are you doing? Get swirled on. I hate you. Fire, fire, burn! That's how we do it. Okie dokie. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Kill you and then. Alright. Patrol the chasm's perimeter. Excuse me? Was that a mission? Was I supposed to do that? Can you sell us the core lapis now? Sell me the core lapis! Give me what I came here for! Done and dusted? I've never heard anybody say that. Never heard any of this. Business malarkey, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Core lapis crawl. That's a, that's a fanciful bit of alliteration there. That's an anticipatory bit of alliteration. Uh, and now I gotta go over here. Buy more core lapis. You see what we're doing around here? It was we're buying up all of the core lapis. <gasps> you just made a wish. Five dollar donation! Finally, I can implement my idea. You see, I have a little crown. And I'm going to put this crown on top of the party hats. Wait, wait, I gotta take this off first. <laughs> now I'm the king! And the king consumes! <laughs> oh, wow. What a moment. What a moment. <laughs> now I'm the king! Because I had the hat. You know, there's another one around here somewhere, but I think it fell behind everything, so unless I, unless I absolutely need to... 
Yeah. See, now I have more money for Domino's. Anna, we get to eat tonight. I made enough money for dinner, baby. We can eat tonight. I haven't had food in days. Okay, well, technically I had food last night, but really it's felt like days. And I also had a sandwich earlier, but it's it's felt like days. <laughs> so, that's why stream, Streamlabs tips are better than bits, everybody. So make sure to click that donate button on the... Don't do it! But I can't stop you. I mean, I can stop you, but I won't. Okay, so I got that thing up here. Defeat treasure hoarders and obtain the key. Oh, did I need to do this too? Look at that! Ah, look at that! I'm fighting that good fight. Was that your impression of you? No, 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 no. I would never make fun of you. That was just me. Oh, I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. I don't know what I was thinking there for a moment. Whoa! Whew. I blacked out for a moment there, guys. Seems that some... Some dark force came over me. Did I miss anything? Did I insult somebody? It seems like I am insulted somebody in the uh, chat. I'm sorry, it must have been my alter ego. The part of me that's sarcastic and mean. What'd you say? Yes, that's what I did. I was making an impression of Anna. That's what I was doing. I can only bear you hear you. Barely hear you when you scream behind the door, dear. You should scream in here. The microphone's set up for screams. I can scream and it won't sound so bad at all. Oh, Adam about to slap me. <laughs> she, she won't. She would never. We don't use fisticuffs in this house. Instead, we're going to have a stern board game that decides the fate of who has to say I'm sorry. To which I will lose, because oddly enough, I am not very, very good at these board games that we have. <laughs> who knew? I hope she doesn't hurt me. She won't hurt me. She'll never hurt me. She loves me. She'll never hurt me. She would never hurt me. Animo test 6308! I love you, Sue Crispy. You gotta stop. What are these treasure holders? It's really powerful in this area. Wow, I should really consider upgrading my characters. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So I'll set you all on fire. Treasure hoarder key? I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Am I gonna get a treasure hoarder key for this? Wait, I need an item in order to unlock that cage and let that poor woman out? That's fucked up. <laughs> Game said, oh, you want to do good things? I won't let you. You'll donate $10 if Anna runs in and slaps me. <laughs> I'm not going to tell her that. But you've already said it in chat, so she can definitely see it. So that's... that's on her. Uh, who am I to tell her to do something? I'm not her mother. She can do whatever she wants to, and I'm sure she won't assault me like that. She's so nice. Okay, so I got the treasure order insignia. Now I open up this chest, and is there... Oh, thank God, there's a key on the inside. I can let this woman go. There we go. Okie dokie. Alrani! Really? I thought I was her... No! That's weird. I don't think I can even give birth. Or act as a mother figure to anybody. I could sure as hell try, though. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Well, I saved you, woman, so... Collect treasure. Oh? Collect, collect treasure where now? Where is the treasure? Hmm? I don't know. Where's this other quest I was doing? I can do that quest later. And this treasure goes to... Nobody cares! Back to the calm before the storm. And go back over here. What time is it? It's like 4 o'clock. Wonderful. Well, there's still more to be done, so I shall continue. Is that what happened? Oh, I guess I have to... I had to go down there. There's a bunch of treasure down here, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. No, I don't.
I don't even feel like collecting that Sealy. I want to go back. Oh, hello there! Where'd you come from? Silly. Silly Majigger. Crazy, crazy, uh, evil, evil of this mage thing. Person trying to mess things up and trying to make me have a bad time. Bad times indeed. Alright, I'm gonna wait for my stamina to pull up. I'm gonna bide my time. Who is this? I do not know who you are. But if you pop on and say hello, perhaps I will. No, just kidding. I'm doing story quests right now, therefore I would hate to have you on and then kick you off as I attempt to go do my quest. So I shall deny your thing for now. keep happening that's so stupid my goodness I cannot believe that F's in chat I don't even know what keeps on happening I blame my internet provider anyway yeah Genshin Impact yeah we're playing Genshin Impact I really like this game yet another wonderful recommendation by my buddy Matt who was like, you should totally try this game. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. He's like, no, 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 you should really try this game. Consume! Ah, I have consumed for you. I have consumed for you. It's a good thing. Hey, it's a good thing I set up that disconnect protection because, man, OBS doesn't like me today. It's the fourth time it's crashed. That's crazy. I was able to bring it back up, though. And hey, you so dark but cool. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Good to have you. Love Genshin Impact. And then then the stream went up. I apologize about that. That was crazy. That was pretty crazy. But I think, I think, it looks like we're back. I don't know who Dark is, do I? <laughs> I know who Dark is. His name's Garov and he works for Sparked. I'll catch up. Um, he's, he's also very good at tickets. Very good at tickets. Hey, buddy. I've got all my Sparked pals. Did I pronounce it right? I think so. I mean, that's what I would think. Tockets. Tockets, right. I have to censor myself. I must censor myself. Goodness forbid if the world knew. <gasps> Tickets. Tickets. Tockets. Tickets. Tockets. Tick tock on the clock. DJ, blow my fingers off. That's not how the song goes. That's not at all how that song goes. But Kesha is wonderful. <laughs> Smoke those pistols. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, <clears throat> I had a little cough there. Ooh, there's a big old monster over here. Ooh, I don't want to fight the big old monster. Wait, I want to fight the big old monster. Big, big monster. Big monster. Who just blinked? No, not over here. Get out of here. I don't want to fight you. I want to fight bigger. I got bigger problems. I got bigger fish to fry. I want to touch the big boss. What happens if I go? Nope, I already solved that puzzle. Big boss? Big boss? Big boss? Get away from me! Stupid Electro woman. Not stupid because woman. Stupid because Electro. Or perhaps stupid because Electro and woman. Dummy. Let's fight you. How do I fight you? Oh, that looks pleasant. Alright, time to fuck shit up! Hello! My name is Cameron. You're a Pyro Regisvi. Wow, you are terrifying. Look at that. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Swir oh fuck. Swirl ability. I'll just I'll just swirl you. Yeah, do the swirl. Yeah, swirl ability. And I'll electro charge you. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Yeah. I'll fight I'll chop you down. Whoa. The first time you've heard me swear. I'll swear as much as I damn well please. No. It's a, it's a, it's a moment. It's always a time. Whoa! You really kicked my butt there! I must, I must fight. I must fight. What are you doing? Get this fire shit off the ground. Get out of there. I'm sorry, yes, these videos are not rated. They, these are not for, for people who would be otherwise afraid of bad words. The stream may be continuing to die, and I do apologize about that. It is absolutely on my end. 
it's a it's a it's a problem on my part. I don't know what keeps on happening to be perfectly honest. It keeps on dying and coming back up again and I don't really know. I think it's an I think it's a thing with my internet today to be honest because this is not the first time that this has happened and it has been doing so all day long. And I may take you Oh my god. I'm going to give this a shot for a little bit there, Arp. But if I do require assistance, I will I will I will shout for you. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa there's a lot of shit going on here over here. Oh my god. Whoa. 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 Oh, stop that. You almost killed my character. Let's see. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to give you a little bit of food. Everyone's going to get some food. Everyone's going to get some food. Let's see. Who wants some food? You want some food? You want some food? Take some of this delicious northern apple stew. Mmm. Wait, 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 wait. I have other buff items that I can use for this. Let's see. Oh, I don't have defense against fire potion. That's great. But you know what I do have? I can do this. And... That's for animo damage. For swirl powers! Yes. This is beautiful. I don't know. That, that'll work. That'll work. And I'm currently in a pot of flame. Wow, that almost killed me immediately. Wow, it? Wow, it's just continuing to go. And yes, rules will become necessary. Rules will become created as necessary. Wow, you're just going for it. Wow, you were just... Big old plant dragon thing. <laughs> what happens when plants... Meet Drago. Okay, let's try this again. Oh goodness, you were just, you were just going to tell you, slapping your face against the ground. You look unhappy with that. <laughs> Rule number one. Have a good time. Rule number one, no Harry, so that's terrible. It's reformed near its roots. No. Oh my god, stop. Well, I'll fight you then. I will get you with my gear. And then I will do that. <laughs> number one. No Harris. Number two, Spark throws his best test. And if you argue, I will fight you. What's rule number three, Harry? Huh? We've got to have a rule number three. That's why there's a reserved spot. Because there had to be a rule number three, and I couldn't come up with a rule number two. Oh, fire. Fire, 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 fire. Woo All right. There we go. That, that'll help. I get, I get up to my electro. Whoa, there you go. Incredible. No breaking <laughs> NG inks on production. That's a good one. It's a good rule. Don't break shit. Try try not to break shit. All right, you need some helps. You know what I should do? Right, let's do all attack damage up. Let's do all defense up. Not that that'll help. Uh, stamina's, I guess, okay. <laughs> you are CFO of camera with an X. Yeah, I'll agree with that. You can be my CFO. You, you can be my CFO. Everyone's got buffs now! Gifted one sub, 700 bits, subbed yourself, and donated $5. Second major shareholder. Yes, you are. You are the you are the majority shareholder. Look at that. It's a hostile takeover! We're actually rebranding. It's now... Oh, now I forget what XBP stands for. Extreme British Petroleum. Extreme British Petroleum! With an X. But it already had an X. It's time to consume! Oh, I love to consume. I love to consume. I fixed the limit on that, by the way. I hope everybody noticed. There was never supposed to be a limit on how many times you could do that. Just a countdown so that, you know, if my drink were otherwise a little inebriating, then I wouldn't be totally enamored and breaking various forms of terms of services. Oh, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Whoa! You did that pretty good. Let's do some heals. Crystallize. Extra British Petroleum with an X. The X is silent. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Let's swirl. Let's get that swirl power on. Yes. That swirl power. It's electrified. Oh, that's... Wow, that's working very well. I don't think I've ever been able to pull off a swirl like that again. Working that baddie! Exercise number five! It's cross-side crunch! Which means I gotta do this. Oh my god. Oh. Two. Ten each side. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
ten. Let's do some swirl to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. What? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did it. I did it. I worked my body. That's good, and I'm dying. Nope, don't kill don't kill her just yet. I've stopped the timer just before you had a chance to kill me. I, I shan't let it happen. Let's get everyone to eat some cheeseburgers. And you guys ever see that movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Something about the way that they say, cheeseburger. That shit's good. That's like something else entirely. Come on, you got it. You got it, Sucros. I believe in you. Oh goodness, you uh, you just came real loud. You just came right at me with that one. Overloaded. I'm gonna hit you at the roots. Do enough damage to make you go. Ouch. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I need my stamina so I can do this. Hit you from the bottom. Hey, look at that. I'm halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa. Exercise number six. That's high knees. You've got some randomness aspect to it. High knees for how many seconds? I don't know. High knees, 15 reps each side. So we'll do 15 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, that, that was it. That was it. That was it. There we go. I completely lost count of myself. Man, this is intense. I'm like running out of breath over here. Ooh, let me be your muse. And exercise thing. The things I do for the internet, you're definitely right. I'm just trying to have a good time over here. Why do you keep doing this to me, Anna? You're, you're like, you're cashing out now, aren't you? You're out of here after this. Number seven, the LED one flexion. Um, I think that's that's a that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight. Nine, ten. Alrighty then. Did that one too. Complete on. This is fun. And she's doing it again, as she very well should. I told you, Anna, if you abuse this power, I'm gonna take it from you. You are already abusing it. I'm gonna have to do this. I have to. I have to do it. I'm gonna have to nerf this somehow. Yeah, I need that electro power. Are you trying to tell me that, like, I'm not fit or something? Anyway, that was exercise number four, which is hopscotch. Which I honestly can't remember how to do. Oh, how do I do hopscotch again? I'm unsure. Uh, I think that's... Yeah, that's it. It's like, kick my legs up like this. And that's... I don't know. How long is that for, hopscotch? 30! Da-da-da. 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 Da, 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 da. I haven't been counting. I really don't like this exercise. Ow, fuck! <laughs> Ouch. I whacked my foot on the chair exactly like I thought I was going to do. Anyway. Back to not being hurt. Yeah, alright. That's hopscotch. Oh, my foot! They look like butt kicks, but they're not. Oh, my foot. I've completed it for you, dear. Oh my god. Dude, I'd love to play Wii Fit. I have Wii. I have Wii. Oh my god. I'm like exhausted. Can I have a break? <laughs> have a break from that? That's crazy. And I'm still doing- I'm still doing the boss fight and I'm doing okay. That's pretty good. Start a poll for a Wii Fit stream. I mean, clearly the people want it. There's no need for a poll. There's no need to vote. Clearly everybody already wants it. 
I'm gonna be able to shift weight better if I had it. Yeah. I also need my Wii Fit board. Oh wait, I have one at my parents' house. I could totally come across one. I could totally do that. I actually saw I actually saw somebody streaming Wii Fit the other day, and I was like, that looks like fun. I would love to do that. Just needed the right time. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think I'd be able to do this boss fight, to be perfectly honest, but alas, I'm seeming to do okay. With the power of exercise on my side, anything is possible. That and protein shakes, which I don't particularly drink, but I totally could, but they taste all right. I like the ones with the chocolate in them. They're good. They make me feel all kinds of wonderful. Oh, don't, please. Nope, don't do the thing. I need veggies. Okay. Well, if Anna says I need veggies. That or I'll just eat a bunch of eggs. Oh, don't kill her. Oh my God, don't kill her. Don't kill my girl. Uh, here, drink some of this soup. Yeah, eat that soup. And then, and then d d do that. Oh, you're too full. Gotcha. Well, ripperoni in peace there, Noel. Oh, I know you're coming down for the fire ability, but nuggies and veggies sound wonderful. Oh, stop. Oh, jeez. Well, that's that. That's okay. I'll bring her back to life with my special abilities. And hopefully not let anybody else die. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, the roots are growing back. I should have been DPSing. Should have been DPSing this whole time. Oh, don't come after me like that. Whoops, hell, you got me with your face slap, you freaking flower thing. Don't face slap me again. <laughs> face slap. Let's try to let's try to do some heals while I can. There we go. Whoops, uh, what are you doing? Oh, don't do that thing. Ooh, fire time. Nope. I don't seem to be doing much damage at all. Holy cow. Oh. This is going to be working. Man. Oh, like, I'm taking some down. I'm taking some down down. Oh, dear. Well, that was truly unfortunate. Do that. Oh, and then that thing. And then we'll do this. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're gonna get in there. Okay. Let's do that thing with the powerful lightning ability. I need to change my artifacts for these guys to increase the... Oh, what is it? The elemental mastery is the recharge rate on that elemental ability. Because, like, they don't charge fast enough. And the character talents. Yeah, I have been doing that. I have been leveling up the character talents as I, as I, as I ascend through the levels and whatnot. I need to get everybody up to that second, um... Oh, cool. Youngling's dead. Alrighty, then. That's okay. Oh, whoop. I can't do that yet. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, it's okay. We'll just do this, and that's taking a little bit of heat there, but that's okay. I'll just heal you up afterwards. Oh, I, apparently you've died too. That's incredible. Okay, well, I'm not going to let you die, so... I'm going to get you some foods. Oh, did all my buffs wear out too? That might have happened. Here, protect yourself. It's okay, I've still got Swirl Girl! And that's okay. Swirl Girl and Electro Meister. And they're the important ones anyway. Swirl! Swirl! There we go. I just needed a little bit of swirl girl in my life. Golden shrimp balls. Wonderful. Woo! Well, that was something. There's a fly over there. I'm gonna kill that fly. Everflame seeds. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Now time to continue with the rest of what I was doing. How do I get out of here? Where do I get out of here? Where is the way to get out? Do I have to climb all the way back up there? Oh, I see a little wall over here. Aha, there we go. It's late, but this is a hopscotch exercise. Yeah, I wasn't really doing it very well. I will admit that. That was bad fo bad form. What you gotta work on first when you do exercises is... is to do good form. To do good form. You're not gonna get in trouble, Disney Queen. I'm just saying, if you abuse this power... And technically, everybody has this power. I'm gonna make that a chat rule. Abusing these powers. That'll get those powers banned. I might have to put some limits on that. Maybe I'll have to increase the channel points. Clearly, clearly I have to in increase the channel points amount on that because Anna somehow has amassed to be able to hit me with that four times in a row. I've been saving up. You've been saving up? Yeah, well. 
Maybe I should include a cooldown on that. It does take a little while to get PPPHs. Properly plaid party hats. As you can clearly tell. They are party hats. And they are proper. And they are plaid. Well, okay. Well, perhaps... Perhaps they're not proper. But... They're positively plaid. They're most definitely plaid. Positively plaid party hats. Oh, yeah! Cool down, Anna! <laughs> That's my... That's the thing. Good stuff. In the cooldown. Exercise is needed. Still playing Genshin? I am still playing Genshin! Welcome back, Neko! This has been some crazy stuff. <laughs> you need to save the last few points for tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be back on again tonight. We will be back on again tonight playing something completely different. Wow, this is a really cool looking area. Whoa. It is good for the blood to be circulating in a four-hour stream. Actually, it's been even longer because I didn't have disconnect protection with my screen. My s computer actually blue-screened. Like, like, my like computer blue-screened about four and a half hours ago. Oh. And no, I don't think I'll be doing any more... I won't be doing any more bosses now. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to uh, the area where the quest thing is so that I can complete this portion of the quest and that'll probably be it for now for genshin because then i'm gonna order some pizza from domino's i'll work off i'll gain back those calories that i just worked off and then we'll be back later tonight me anna glenn and matt we're gonna play some soul worker and do some raids which is always a fun time like if you thought this was entertaining come back when the gang's all here probably gonna get on around like seven it's gonna be great it's gonna be great today's been a great day why was 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 work really that good I hope it was. Oh, Zhongli needs to come back to life. Come back to life. Bring me back to life. That's great, that's great. Oh, what kind of workouts do you do? Now, now, I, I understand. I understand that you probably have a high work ethic, and I've had friends who are the exact same. One of my good, good buddies is currently in the Navy right now, and naturally, throughout college career, he was training to be in the Navy. And I worked out with him for a few weeks, honestly, and that was a caliber of work that made my entire body, like, ache in pain. Like, it hurt just to exist, but, like, afterwards, it felt... felt great. Ugh, that's great. Well, I could just go to the Statue of the Seven if I wanted to. But nah. I've got all the things for the heels. But I've got all these food that I have to use. I've got all this food that I could use. It'd be great. Required to leave arms free so there are no arm workouts, just jumping base. This is true. I have to be able... This was my run rule for the workout. Naturally, but, uh, by the way, if you have a problem with the workout, talk to Anna. Okay, Basically, the one rule... Consume! I gotta fix my gotta fix my posture. Why don't you give me more water? Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. Oh, you've dropped it on the ground. That's hilarious. There we go. Complete on. Am I sure I want to mark them all? Yes, I do. Easy mode. Easy mode. Consume. Oh, but the yeah. What was it? The one of the rules that I had on those exercises is the fact that I need to have my hands available so I can continue playing the game now. When you do side crunches, oh uh, what? You're not tilting halfway across because that really doing? defeats the purpose. Oh, I thought I was supposed to do that. Well, yeah, but you're going like whoosh and then winging back to use momentum. Don't do that. I'm trying not to. No, you're trying. We'll, to we'll discuss this. Boy. We'll discuss this after I finish the stream, right, and you, you can give me the proper criticism that I so absolutely <laughs> need because of my terrible and form. terrible form. Yes. You don't use your core on anything. I'm trying to use my core. So, like, core. half of these exercises are core -based. Why are we discussing this now? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Why didn't you slap him? Why would I slap him? What do you do now? Oh, there was money on the line. Oh, there was money on the line? There was, there was money oh, on the line. I was in the middle of lab. I yeah, there was money. There was money on the lab. Two hour run. Well, I can't go outside right now. Yeah. Used to go to the gym after the one or two hours. Now, instead, exercises at home. That's wonderful. 
That's, That's nice. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll do two hours. I can't run that long, actually. What am I lying? I yeah. used to dance for about. I've two been hours telling every myself day. I really want to go outside for like a run or at the very least a jog when the weather got nicer because I do not like the cold. Don't get me cold. wrong. If I just ran outside during the cold, I wouldn't be very cold. But even still, I've been trying. I've been wanting to do that, but I've just been waiting for the right time. Spring is upon us, but alas, it's not very, uh, not very happy. Not a very happy spring. Yeah. yeah. Policing is intensive work. Can't be a fat police officer, can I? No, you cannot. Oh my god. You can't be a fat police officer, or else, well, I think, I think that'd be more funny than anything else. That would be more of a else. stereotype of, like, the mall cops here in America. You could, you, could be a, you could be an American mall cop, like Paul Blart. Oh god. Paul Blart, mall cop. No. Pretty crazy. Anna, would you mind turning the light on? Oh, the light on to the room? The one in the back or the one oh, over the, the big, big light. Big light, yeah. Yeah, that one? <laughs> You're about to say what Anna said. <laughs> nice. What? She, she's in all of our brains. I was about to say. I'm just really... She knows compelling. what's going on. She knows what's thinking. See, think me and Harry, we got this connection, even though he lives all the way in the UK. It's like, yeah. I think huh. you mean classic American. <laughs> Um, Classic America. Yeah, you know what? I'll admit some of the. I wouldn't admit to that mainly because I have a lot of cop friends. I don't have a lot of cop friends. I haven't and seen a lot of cops. They're extremely buff. They probably beat up Cameron. Of the cop. Hey, why would they beat me up? They wouldn't beat me up. I wouldn't be on their bad side. I'm a. Sorry, I'm gonna, you're, you're a tiny little white I'm girl. a small. I'm you're a too small. Too tiny for that. Babe. They'd all think you're a little child. Babe. Who was it that thought you were 15 the other day? Oh, the Census Bureau individual. There was some guy from the Census Bureau that stopped by at my door and was like, just confirming, you are over the age of 15, right? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Don't worry, I get asked yes. if I'm 18 all the time. I and am over 15. And then I have old men hit on me. So, I don't know if it's a legal thing or if they just want to ask my age. Well, that's okay, I've had old men hit on me before, and by old men, I mean men that are my own age. No, and their name like... is and, and his name is Glenn and he's hit on me because we're, we're he's, my, he's, my that is only in he's my boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. My boyfriend. No, so oh, no, you're dead. Oh, is that what happens? Well, I could just go to the statue of the seven to get my heels, but I'm apparently too stubborn to do that because I have issues. Purchase Chang, the ninth ore. Oh, was I supposed to be over here? <laughs> Please don't. <gasps> you hit on me? Banana doesn't even. Anna doesn't know about the vast array of suitors that I have lined up. She doesn't know, because she doesn't want to know. She's not in the know for that. Figure out what you want from Domino's. Oh, when are we ordering? Uh, after I'm done streaming. Which will probably be in like, pro probably within the next 15 minutes. Oh. Yeah. You're gonna deprive them of your beautiful face because I'm gonna get rid of you for another hour if you still have an hour lecture. Yes, I will. I need, I need breaks too. I need a break before Are you gonna I get up later. and actually stand. I'm gonna get up and actually stand. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. I never get up and stand. You all I do is sit here at my sit desk all day. I don't sit here for almost 24 hours a day. There's at least eight hours of those days that I'm actually sleeping. Who knew? Who knew? One of my favorite parts about living with Anna is the bickering. This bickering! You don't call this bickering? I love the bickering. And it sounds like I have to take care of the idiot. I'm I am very motherly or I'm a five-year-old, so I'm that's where we're at. I'm an idiot. Okay. Hey, don't speak about my mom that way. She's on this stream too. She's not on here right now. Well she's not on here right now, but she randomly pops in every once yeah, in a while. It's, kind of funny. it's it's hilarious. No. His mommy watches him. My mommy watches me, yeah. <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> You'll sit there for 24 hours of the day like a little punk doing nothing but playing your video game. Why don't you get up and move somewhere? You only play as Minecraft all the time. Why don't you do something productive with your life? Why don't you go out there and get yourself some money? What's the matter with you, Cameron? You're sitting there like that. Hey, I've become Italian because that's my family. What are you doing there sitting like that? All you do is sit there on your fat ass and you play video games and you think you're doing something with your life. Why don't you finish each your degree? And that's that's my thing. At least do some sparked work. But I'm trying to, Harry. Do I not do enough for this country? I walk in here. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED talk about the way that I talk to my mother, or rather, the way that my mother may or may not talk to me. I'm sure as she was here, she'd be like, "All right, maybe." Someone needs assistance. What are you doing? I found my car to 
Oh, okay. You found your birthday cards. Well, no, this one was graduation, and oh, this one, one is the epic. We have a couple of. Not only is this house filled with party hats, we also have party cards, birthday cards, if you will. The classic is the happy birthday princess. Oh, uh, this was my 18th birthday. It's a five-year-old card. It is the best gift I've ever gotten. It's classic. Yeah. It's classic. If you send me, like, cards that do this sounds, they get played all the time. Ouch. You hurt me. Don't make me hit you with my unicorn horn that's now regal because it has a crown on it. Because I received so many cheers today. Anna, stop! Stop! What are you doing? I'm removing your unicornness. No, oh, don't yeah. remove my unicornness. I wanted to know. Don't re don't remove my unicornness. It's the only thing I have going for me now. It's the only thing I have in this world anymore. Says this when he's about to get three degrees. Yep. Yeah, but I haven't gotten those degrees yet. Okay, well, you've had work to do for a little while now, and all you do is, uh, maybe she should spend more time doing her work instead of coming over and being on my stream. I am indeed about nothing, you on the internet. <laughs> Damn right I am. Nah, I love her. She's very nice to me. Usually. We prefer Anna being on the stream, though. Well, duh. That's because she's the girl. She's got what I don't got that the internet wants. Who's actually watching the game pay? I am. The only reason I'm here is to play video games. All I want to do is play video games for the rest of my life and be an absolute degenerate. That's all I really want to do. I want to drop my education right now and just become a streamer for life. My parents will be so proud of me. And so will my fiance. Maybe I'll do a spontaneous career change. You asked who's actually watching the gameplay. Now it's literally no one. Now I'm not even watching the gameplay. I'm just randomly mashing buttons. Who needs eyes anyway? I have at least last, I, to at least last until you're a doctor. I hope you don't actually think that I would consider just dropping everything you do in this for a living. I have way too other things that I'm interested in life than to just do this. There's so much more out there for me. Besides, I have to finish my college degree for it. You never know, I'm always keeping you guessing. I'm always keeping you guessing. Yeah, what if streaming started putting in $50,000 a month? Yeah, I'll be... I don't know, who makes that much money? Actually, I did the math the other day. In order to gain as much money per year as I received on the last major job that I held before Sparked, I would have to have around 3,200 monthly Tier 1 subscribers. That's what I would need. And I'm... Whatever, 3 divided by 3,000% of the way there. Let's see, 300 would be 10%. 30. I'm 0.1% of the way there. Thank you for supporting me, everybody. You are all appreciated. <laughs> the classic OnlyFans model makes around 50000 a million dollars per month, so I could always whore myself out on the internet. I mean, really, how is it any different than what I do now? You see, eventually, eventually, like, I'm the kind of guy who, I'm, you know, I'm very proud of my body. I would take my shirt off on stream, but that's not allowed on Twitch. So, I'll have to start streaming on OnlyFans, and then stream completely naked. But you won't be hearing about it from me, because I will not be responsible if I know, first of all, if I even had started doing that, and if I saw Harry show up, I, I, I think I'd have some, I think I'd need to start paying for a therapist. Tell me about your job. Well, you see, I whore myself out on the internet. Okay, well, think of the children. I am thinking of the children. 
I feel terrible for the children. That'd be a whole slew of problems. For the record, let the record be known. I do not currently have an OnlyFans. That is with 100% truth. I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to tell lies or try to hide things. If I had an OnlyFans and you asked, you'd know. You would. I'm a rather confident man, but I wouldn't say that I'm that confident yet. How can we tell if I'm saying the truth? Harry. You can't. <laughs> you can't tell if I'm the truth. You have an OnlyFans? Well, how can I tell if you're saying the truth? I'm just gonna say I believe you. No harm, no foul. Oh, is there something to be over here? Oh, there's something to be gotten over here. Okay, well, I have other... I have missions to attend to, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll come back here later. Top 0.06% of models. That's, congratulations! Is that where you pill in most of your income, or do you police for that? Or is the workouts that you do for policing actually a front for you working out for your modeling career? Because if so, yo, good for you. Oh, sit. I don't want to sit. No, I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit. Whoa, okay, things are happening. Whoa. Whoa. Wowza. Who says that I'm only a single faceted human being? Perhaps. Perhaps I have layers. Layers like an OnlyFans layer. You never know. See, see, I'm... I go to college. I'm the smarts. I can put the pieces together. I I see. I pick up. I am picking up what you're putting down, so to speak. And I get it. All right, time to talk to you. What's up there, Chang the Ninth? Just who I was hoping to see. What were you hoping to see? Me? Gentry Maokai is an asshole, and we all know it. So I came to protect you, Chang the Ninth. Know anything about that? Would you? I wouldn't know anything about manipulating the economy so that you could have an easier time. Oh? What, what happened? I want to purchase your core lapis. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, I see uh? now. You're, you're in this Chang the ninth. He's the ninth Chang. Him to the post, eh? okay. Before him came Chang, 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 and Chang. Is simply impossible. Who knew? The maximum I could do is forty percent off, and even then, I'm I'm only breaking. Harry, I really wish I could answer your question accurately. Um, but being that you asked the question, I can at least give you an answer. And I think you've been doing this your whole night because you're enjoying it. But who knows if I'm telling the truth? I mean, this is the internet. Gentry Maokai does core lapis and harassing me. By the way, for context, there's this asshole Gentry guy who's been harassing this man about his 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 gems. So we in the game, the story quest, decided wouldn't it be a great idea? Here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna buy literally every single gem, every single one. Consume. I made that one a big one. We'll send someone to collect your goods. Thank you a million times over. I really don't. Know You're so welcome, say. Chang the Ninth, who came before you, Chang the Eighth, Chang the Seventh, Chang the Sixth, Chang the Fifth, Chang the Fourth, Chang the Third, Chang the Second, A.K.A. Chang Junior, and Chang Senior. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. Absolutely, that's called karma, Paimon. And of course, you would know something about that now, wouldn't you? Apparently we have a show to watch at the We have the show at the Feiyun Commerce Warehouse. Is that far away? It shouldn't be very far away. So I will do Nope, that's extremely far away. That will be something that I will teleport to. I will teleport over there to where I need to be as I'm running out of time. Not really running out of time, but there's a Oh, there's so much to do. We'll do over there. Give it a little warp. I'm warping! Maximum overdrive! You should add a PPH reward. It's so funny saying that. Called Mega Consume when you just drink the entire bottle. That's encouraging binge drinking. So I'm not gonna say 
Nah. I may have been raised in my college career in a fraternity house, but I'd say only a little bit of it rubbed off on me. I was never good at shotgunning. Speed drinking was never really my thing. I was the guy at the fraternity parties who'd someone would come up to you and be like, Yo, Cam, do you want a beer? And I'd be like, No, I'm going to sip on this cocktail because it's superior to your wheat water. Welcome. And they'd be like, the final act in this Can I have a cocktail too? This, it is kind of shit, audience. this beer. And then I would make them a cocktail and we'd all be happy and merry and drunk together. I miss the days. I exchanged the fraternity life for the homely life, you know, living with my fiance, who doesn't really drink a lot, which is totally understandable. I don't drink a lot. I don't. Why would I drink? I have no reason to drink. Unless I'm being told to consume. But aside from that, I have no reason to drink. I mean, there's the countless reasons of I enjoy it. It's a hobby. And I like the flavors, but aside from that, there's really no reason to drink. Did I mention it's fun? No, that's not a, that's not a reason to drink. Don't drink. Alcohol is bad. If you drink too much alcohol, your humors will become diluted, and then we'll have to bloodlet you to get all the evil demons out. That's science. Paimon, what are you talking about? Big dramatic showdown. Sinkwi? Sinkshui. Sinkshui. He's not gonna get anything. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract! He can't fulfill his contract. He's no good standing with the Fatui and Fatui, Fatui, Fatui. Stop talking. Nobody cares. Panic and disbelief. Gentry Maokai is hugely powerful figure in the Mystic world. Oh, is he? Oh, is he? So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution revenge that swift resolution revolution whatever you were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the night and you're damn right we did sing shui because you are an asshole you and your little fatui friends you're not fun the Feiyun commerce guild had been on an been on an see we bought up all the goods it's hardly a rare mineral and yet suddenly the stocks dry up just like stocks dry. oh my god explain yourself you've manipulated the economy what's wrong with you how dare you buy all the stock of game style i mean core lapis that should be illegal it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged yeah we're all about the karma of it all don't you know w weren't you the one who said this isn't over indeed indeed Bush. Master, would you please seize, seize your core lapis. lapis? Nah, you won't. I won't let you do that. You're not. I'm actually going to defeat you. I'm going to defeat you. Oh, look at this. I get the Shinchi. Nice. I get to test that water ability. Time to take care of the rest of you. Oh, 45. I can take care of you. Easy mode. Help Gentry Maokai defeat the attacking Fatui. Help Gentry Maokai. Wait, help Gentry Malkai? No, he's the enemy. Don't, don't you mean help Sinkshui? Weird. Uh, let's do this. Everybody's currently all watered up, so... Vaporize, vaporize, vaporize. Vix Vaporize Rub. Oh, man. You're pretty powerful, Sinkshui. Nice. And your ability just unlocked. And the, the, uh, take care of you. And then the big, big guy with the red motif is going to come by. No, oh, stop. And then where's the other guy? Fend off the agent. Where are you? Hey there, pal. Oh, you're just one of those guys. Oh, I fought you before. You're you're hardly a big deal. I'm gonna cut through the rain. Rain outlines your face. Oh, that's cute. Where'd you go? Yeah, I don't electric charge yet. Yeah, just like that. As a good night but don't bomb. Hey, we did it. Fend off the agent. I did it. Woo! He's dead now. Impressive. 
You are no commoners. What if I partnered my That's Twitch with Spark, then had a really high PPP H reward that gave you a free one gigabyte budget server or something? I, I don't know. Is almost spent. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to ask somebody about that. <laughs> I feel like that'd be pretty stupid. <laughs> I mean, technically, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. You'll encourage people to watch. You get a free Minecraft server. Woo! Keep talking. Keep, keep talking. Wouldn't that be funny? That'd be interesting. I'll say this. I entertain the idea. The king... The king entertains the idea of the thoughts. I got to make a very <laughs> One stone, something about handwriting, goofball geek, martial artist, toast. You're talking about stuff. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. There's a lot of stuff going on here that I just genuinely don't care about. I would have cared about it a little bit ago, but I just... My lord, I'm tired. I gotta take a break. S skip to the I mean I'm the one who's doing story quests so like this is this is obviously on my head. You're very welcome in advance. Legend of Shadowed Halberd. Return the Legend of Shadowed Halberd to its rightful owner. Yeah, nope. I'm going to do that another time. Wow, this was fun. Oh my god, I'm really I got to order pizza now. It's almost 5 o'clock. I got to have enough time for the pizza. I'd like to thank everybody for coming along for the ride, enjoying some Genshin Impact with me this morning and through afternoon. I'll be back in a couple of hours if you want to stick around. I'm going to play some Soul Worker with Anna and Glenn and Matt, where you thought this was fun. Think of that times four. Consume. And now I really have to pee. So that'll be that. Yeah. Oh, howdy well, then. Well, in the meantime, let's see if there's anybody hanging around and see if I can raid people before I come back in a little bit. Um, not really. You. Not really that I can see. Then is anybody else doing Genshin Impact? That's what we'll do. Who else is playing Genshin? Probably a shit ton of people. If I can find somebody with a low enough count on Genshin. Ah, yes, there's somebody with four people watching. I like that. Genshin BSD, who seems to be playing Genshin, which makes sense. Genshin is in their name. I'm going to send everybody off for a raid. Uh, I'll be back. I'll eventually be back. I'm going to be back at 7 o'clock. That's the plan after I eat my Domino's pizza. So I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the next couple hours. Uh, maybe see you later. Maybe not. I don't know. Peace out till then, raiders. Off we go. And then to everybody sticking around for the VOD at home, uh, I'll get it up eventually. Peace out, y'all. I'll see you in a couple hours. Bye!